chat. We yeeking out chat. You yeeked out of your mind right now. You ready to yeek all over those dudes? Ready to say it's yeeking time? Cause I am. Let's yeek. Um. <laughs> All right, chat message of the stream. Paul Blart Malkoff says, It was nice while it lasted. <laughs> That's the most encouraging thing I've ever seen at the start of the stream. <laughs> Thank you, Paul Blart. I appreciate that. Um, and if you ever talk to Adam Sandler, please um, get, get his autograph for me. Yeek fanfic stream when? Don't put the cart before the yeek. Um, I should show the title screen, by the way. This game looks like fucking Petscop. So, uh, yeah, yeek. Yeek heads in chat, we like yeek. I like yeek, I don't like yeek. I, I don't actually know what yeek is. Um, that's what I'm trying to convey, really. Is I don't, I don't really know what yeek is that much. Um, I was originally asked to play it, like, probably half a year ago. Then I said, fuck that, that sounds stupid. I'm never going to play this game. Why do people want me to play this game? Chat says, it's pronounced yeek. That's good to know. Thank you. It's important to know that the title is pronounced yeek. Um, but yeah, uh, then the, so the origin story, um, oh yeah, Toby Fox worked on this. Don't worry. Like, in case we were worried that Toby Fox somehow, like, was not involved in this, put your worries aside. Toby Fox, like, he senses when a, a quirky indie RPG is going to come out, and then he just T-poses out through a wall. And is like, I made this. And he d he does one song or like he doodles a cock and balls on like an in-universe bathroom stall, and then he gets in the credits. That's how it works. So Toby Fox is in the credits for this game, yeah. Uh, but anyway, the origin story for the stream is that I saw a video essay, as I often do, um, about the the best worst game ever. All right, they were pitching this game like it was, I don't know, the room or something. Um, and it was Yeek, of course. And I watched the very beginning, and I was like, well, I guess I might as well learn about what Yeek is, since I said I'd never gonna stream it. And, um, after watching a couple minutes, I started to get more and more curious, and this panic started to set in, which is... Wait, if I watch this video now, I really am never going to be able to stream it blind, because I'll- it'll spoil everything. And if this game really is, like, a cinematic disaster piece, like people were saying, um, then I should probably play it before it's too late. Because I didn't realize it was like such a colossal anomaly. I thought it was just kind of bad, but people people go on about this game, you know. And um, and there's lots of text to read, which you know, as I appreciate as a guy who reads text on a screen for a living mostly, so. This could be fun. But also... Um... Word cell game, says Outsin, yeah. Uh... This game didn't really have an options menu. It, it came up with one of those weird, like, default Windows config things before I launched it, which is like, do you want to play in full screen? And it had this really janky keybind menu. I hope there's an in-game options menu, because I kind of want to fiddle with some settings. Like, I've heard that they released a big update for this game, which may or may not patch out some of the tedious monologuing, which I, I want the tedious monologuing, that's what I'm here for. So I, I looked, I, I did as much research as I could within, you know, the last uh, day since I thought of it, um, into how to actually play the original, but I couldn't find any decent answer. The closest I got was a fucking Reddit thread saying, 
uh, the original version appears to be playable and guides exist for how to do it, but didn't link to any of the guides and I couldn't find a single one. So that was helpful. Um, I looked in the Steam forums and all that, and there's nothing. So... Oh, you can keep on or turn off monologues in the start. Okay, that's good. If it's just an option that I can toggle, that's ideal. That's what I was hoping for. Full reduced or no monologues? That's so funny. You can just patch out the game's content. It's like if Elden Ring had an option for like full reduced or no catacomb dungeons. Like do the pander to all the, um, the video essayists and have an option to just remove every duplicate boss from the game and leave an empty room. Who would do that? That's part of the fun. What's references? Oh, this is fascinating. I looked at this earlier. I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be conveying, but I think it's a sort of an indicator of what we're getting into. Um, it's some sort of like ironic list of shit that really doesn't count as a reference. Or I'm not sure how to describe it. You can you can look at it yourself. It's referenced Kafka. Um, that is the the author, not the uh, Final Fantasy VI antagonist. Um, Wonderwall by Oasis, but maybe the game off. That's cool. Is Persona in here? I got Persona vibes looking at this. Oh, it is Earthbound inspired. Infinite Jest, that book that Outsen likes, I think. And it's written in English, which is a... This is basically just the um, the Epic of Gilgamesh bit from my narrator video. This is um, disconcertingly close to my own sense of humor. Which, I don't know what that says. Uh, oh shit, I just noticed there's like Beck Noir in the middle of the, the screen there. He's floating there. I didn't know they had a Homestuck crossover. The desert bus crew demands satisfaction? It's not my fault you're streaming desert bus against me. You know what time the streams are. It'd be funny if I ended up liking the game. Well, from what I've heard, it's like a lot, a lot of the parts of the game are good. It's just the story and the writing are just this huge dead weight that drags the whole experience down. Because like obviously the art's pretty nice. The music's pretty nice, so let's see. It's gonna be a big old mixed bag. Oh, Doc is streaming with me, not against me, that's good. The gameplay also kinda sucks. I mean, it's an RPG. We, we fuck with RPGs. It just comes with the territory. I played Earthbound, right? I, I know how this goes. All right, um, there's nothing to do but start a new game. Why do I have PS4 button prompts? Please select a controller type. Oh. Um, how? How do I... Wait. How do I advance the text? Enter doesn't work. Z doesn't work. Down doesn't work. Do any keys work anymore? Is the game crashed? I don't know. This is a good start. It's K? Oh fuck. Why why did enter work on the title screen? Um Should I just play this on a controller? Is it going to make me suffer if I play on a keyboard? It would be weird to play an RPG on a, a controller. It's not RPG Maker, no, it's a 3D game. I do have a controller. Um yeah, fuck it. I'll just use a PS4 controller. Why not? Would you like to view a content warning? Uh, the stream might. What kind of content do we have in Yeek? We have... Uh, let's see. Missing persons. I heard about that. I heard about that one. That's weirdly um, local. Uh, I think that was the girl from UBC that references that's referenced in this game for some fucking reason. Unsolved murders. Racial inequality. Characters, uh, oh, it's got suicide. 
Disable player consequences. Fucking Kara is the diegetic narrator. Immediately. Get out of here, Kara. I love consequences. Uh, do not disable consequence. Sensitive content has not been disabled. All right. So gouge your eyes out now, Chad, if you don't want to see that. Yeek your own way. Select the dialogue style. You can change this later at any point in the story. Um... Oh, it's the fucking... the D-pad doesn't work? It's just the analog stick. That is fucking cursed. I can't access the question marks. For those seeking a deeper understanding of the storyline. Right. So for those whose IQ are high enough to understand the subtle humor. Um, yeah, of course we want the original edit. I love that. Yo, yeek, yo, way. <laughs> Number 15, Yeek Foot Lettuce. Uh, difficulty can be changed. We have, why is the text so fucked here? I'm assuming that's like, the weird stylistic clash is somewhat deliberate on the game's part. It seems to have a pretty good grasp of aesthetic in general. <laughs> yeek and advanced yeek. Am I yeeking yet? I'm yeeking really hard, yeah. Oh, it's an unfinished silent protagonist mode, so we're patching out the monologues with such a huge update that they've been working on it for years and it's still not out. That's fascinating. An easier difficulty. I'm tempted to put that on just because I really don't give a shit about the, the combat here, but the only chance I'll be able to have any fun with the combat is if it's somewhat harder. So, I don't know, what do you think? Go easy, one says. Coward. Hard is just grinding. The fights suck. Go easy. Normal mode. It can be changed. Okay. Well, I'll start on normal mode and then change it to easy if the grinding pisses me off. How about that? Um. Oh, it's earthbound, kind of. I think it's just the music that's making me immediately think this is earthbound. Um. It's a bird. Hello there. Welcome to the wonderful world of Yeek. Oh god, that voice sucks. That's like Tickle Me Elmo Smeagol. I hate that voice. Whatever. Welcome to the wonderful world of Yeek. That said, Y2K, in case you were confused by the font choice in the logo. Um, oh, I misread that. The bird actually said, That said, Yeek, in case you were confused by the font choice in the logo. The developers thought it would be a cool idea to make the two a Roman numeral for some reason. Grab your tinfoil hat and prepare your eyes, as they're about to be opened wider than could have thought possible. This is gonna be a wild ride. I'm gonna ask you a few questions, if that's alright. Would you please pick a favorite color scheme? It's a... oh. This is Earthbound, okay. Uh, which is the most yeek? The blue just makes me think of like... It's probably like Final Fantasy or something, but it makes me think of Epic Battle Fantasy. Uh, brown. It's a bit drab, isn't it? This is the, um... Raving Crimson Blood Ghost or whatever from the Halloween hack. I don't want to go back to that trauma. Uh, this is a mini golf course. I'm not really into it. That's just browner. -er. Gray. I kind of like the purple. This has got a funky vibe, you know? It's, it sort of matches the, um... The title screen, the yellow art. I'm kind of into that. This is bluer. -er. And Black Liquid Sorrow. Purple's the best. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, so despite the... There'd be a big prompt to say, like, X is confirm. I have to scroll down to the other confirm button, then press X to confirm the confirmation. I see. Great choice. Purple's the objective best one. We would have said it to this anyway if you picked anything else. What is the name of the person behind the screen playing? What do you go by? This is super serious. Have you played Earthbound or something? You know the drill. God, the, the text input sound sounds like the, uh, the anime. Wow! And, and Q. That, that's a new, new version. How do I go back? Cancel. There we go. What if I'm now Andreek? It's a little known variant of the name.
This game gives off, how do you do fellow RPG lovers, vibes. Yeah, it is a very uh, direct Earthbound homage, I mean, but what else is new? And 2K. <laughs> Uh, said it was super serious, so let's be serious. Let's go. Andrew, is this name okay? Yeah. Beautiful name. Wow, I wish I had a cool name like that. That's a super hip name for a super hip cat. My parents named me Marlene. Oh, can you believe that? Yuck. Anyway, back to the question there. What do you look like? Um... It wants to know clearly if I have that dumpy ass. Um, unfortunately I don't. I have a thin and bony ass like Hank Hill. Is this correct? Yeah. Body type A and B. Elden Ring reference. Great. A few more questions and we'll be on our way. Those things first. These are questions about real people in your IRL life. So, do your best to answer truthfully, as it'll hurt my feelings if you lie to me. And I've had enough of that, but you already know about that, don't you? No? I I've never met you before, sir. So, the uh, real people, to be honest. Uh, give thought for a response. First question, what is the name of the coolest girl you know? Hmm... Well, for obvious reasons, I can't use actual names, I think, <laughs> in this context. Hey, Mooks nominates Regan. There we go. Chat members are going to get added now. Halloween? <laughs> Kim Wexler. Is that the true name? Chet really wants Halloween. Oh, those are eyes. Very confusing. It's on brand, though. She's very cool. How did I ignore the wall of Susie's? Deliberately. That's played out, you know. We all know Deltarune here. Get up on the election trucking lore. <laughs> this is an advanced level stream. Oh, Dork is here. Do you know Halloween Dork? She's the canonical uh, first name of Mayor Holiday now. Um, according to, to me. Halloween, is this name okay? Yeah. Do more devlogs for Ram. You can't rush it, dude. I, I gotta do another uh, non-devlog video before that. That's how it works. What about a friend who is smarter than you, but wouldn't ever draw attention to that fact? Hmm. Do I know any really smart people? <laughs> oh, it's sin. Unfortunately, you're disqualified by definition. Uh, JD is also disqualified by definition. Oh. Oh yeah. I got it. <laughs> I saw the only suggestion that mattered in chat. Jaru, is that name okay? Yeah. Name a friend who is the polar opposite of you. The yin to my yang. Hmm. Who indeed is evil Andrew? <laughs> also Jaru. <laughs> Andrew Unningham. Gasoline. They can't both be Jaru, okay? 
Thomas Edison? Alright, let's go Thomas. Or, or Matthew? People want Matt Pat? No, I think t uh, Thomas showed us to Edison. Oh, but JD wants Matt Pat. Bill Clinton. All right. For the memes. Matthew. Perfect. That's how you spell Matthew, right? Weird ass name. Is this name okay? Lame? Bruh, I can't please everyone. No. Are these in game characters? What are their canon names? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what these fucking names are. Matthew fucking sucks. Uh, Alright. Tough crowd here. Jesus. <laughs> this doesn't come up until the end of the game. Okay, so like, who cares? Okay, this go. We're going- get on with it. Play the game. Play the game streamer. Okay. What about the nerdiest guy you know, who would go on and on about stupid things like video games, anime, comic books, and crap like that? Also Andrew. Oh, that one's easy. Andrew, is this name okay? Yeah. Name a friend. Oh my god, this goes on forever. Name a friend who's always there to talk to when you're feeling down about yourself. The kind who understands existential quandaries. The kind who knows what it's like to face crippling student debt. Knows what it's like to not be anywhere near as attractive as you'd like to be. And who can always make you feel better when you realize you're a complete waste of life in the middle of the night. Um, so what I got from that is pick a friend who's really ugly. Uh... <laughs> Germa? <laughs> Bill Clinton. Gaster's always there for me. I think the most accurate description is Germa, you know? He's my, my e-clown friend who makes me feel better about myself. Oh, should it be Nahu? Hey, Nahu with 500... Ar Ar Argentinian somethings? 500 ARS. Thank you, dude. It's me, I'm really ugly. <laughs> You know what, Nahu gets the shout out for that, that killer donation. Very clutch, Nahu. For old time's sake. There you go, you're canon now. Nahu, is this name okay? Dude, that's 500 ye killian Canadian dollars. <laughs> Shit. I had no idea. I'm rich. Lastly, what's your favorite piece of technology? Something you feel a connection to? A piece of technology close to my heart. Well, my pacemaker, of course, but um, I don't think it meant that. A piece of technology? Yeah, I guess the Godot game engine. Laura, it's a joke. I don't have a pacemaker. Bampton is a piece of technology. Godot? Yeah, let's, let's go Godot. For better or for worse, I'm very close to link closely linked. It's also a sick reference to that one blacksmith in Berserk, maybe. Godot, is this name okay? Oh, Godot, Godot 4. Point well, there's no options for numbers here. It just has to be normal ass Godot. Yeah. Also an Ace Attorney reference, probably. I played the first game. I don't remember a good though. I feel like I know so much about you. I can tell we're going to have good luck famously. 
No, pretend I didn't ask you any of this. Play along now. Do I get to play the game? Oh my god. Dude, it's April 4th, 1999. Oh, that's... Wait, no, it's not. It's April 2nd today. I was like, it's using today's date, but no, it just happens to be two days in the future. A wild cat chase. Dude, 1999 is like 1997, dude. Look at all these characters. Look at how much in the 90s it is. Look at the Zelda characters. Look at Futaba from Persona 5 in the fountain there. Nahu with a 2000 R's, dude. Dude gives it five things he knows. Bird is like, yeah, man. I know you've been sad enough now. That's, that's how Facebook works. It, there's like a powerful algorithm at work here. Thank you once again for the donation. Oh, here he is, dude. I'm yeeking, I'm yeeking, I'm yeeking. I arrived home from school. Wait. I just graduated. There's voice acting in this? Oh. I'm kind of sad. I, I thought I'd get to voice the characters. Can I turn off the voice acting so I can do it myself? We, we gotta listen to Alex for now. It took a few semesters longer than I originally planned, but I was proud to be done. This reminds me of Petscop. The visuals are very, like, PS1 kinda. Every line in the game is voiced. Oh my god. The voice acting is what makes it good? People like the voice acting, eh? But also, then I, I don't have anything to do during the cutscenes, which is unfortunate. I had no idea what adult life held for me, but it was optimistic. Ideally, I'd like to lower the music volume and increase the voice volume, but again, I, I haven't had access to an options menu yet. Oh. Oh, I'm him now. There's no camera control. It's got like sable animation, extremely low frame rate. Look at him go. This is gameplay. I really feel like Alex Eek. Dude, I keep trying to flip the camera like I'm playing Elden Ring here. I'm trying to mount my horse. Andrew, did I know Alex is based on the guy who made this game at the self-insert? Oh, that sounds about right. Does he have a... Got a... Pretty small turning circle. Is he voiced by the same guy who made the game? It sounds like voice acting by the guy who made the game. The self-insert thing isn't true. Oh. Why would chat tell me something that isn't true? A YouTuber did the voice acting? Well, why can't I do it then? I'm a YouTuber. Snoopy? Can't even voice act the dog. What a world. It's a mohawk being. Oh, the mohawk guy doesn't have a voice. Hey, ain't you that Eggleston kid that lives up on top of the hill? Hmm, tell your sister I said hey. What's that mohawk guy sound like? The home of Mr. and Mrs. K. No solicitation. That's a. Who the fuck has a sign? It's like a massive sign. What is this? Welcome to Frankton, birthplace of the world's greatest CEO, Kenneth Lay. The great Kenneth Height. Um, large hitbox tree. Love it. There's a treasure chest. Ooh. You don't dislike it so far? I mean, nothing's happened yet. The, the bad part of this game is supposed to be all the, the dialogue, so... It's just kind of chill. Oh, it's a save point phone. Not earthbound. Uh, the phone voice. Carry it over from earthbound, I guess. What will you do? Save. It's it's not quite as verbose as Ness's dad. Would you like to save your data? Uh, yep. Fuck, I, it's hard to tell which one is being highlighted. Commencing save. True Andrew. Call again any time. Alright. Hello, it's your dad. 
<laughs> five save slots means five souls in Alex Yeek. She does have a, a last name, right? But I, I kind of don't want to know it. The Wikipedia article for Yeek has the first line saying, Yeek, a postmodern RPG. It's supposed to be pronounced Yeek, but it's more commonly pronounced Yeek. That's kind of redundant. I'm not sure why it says that. Who's the fourth entity? Um, John Yeek. Jump, jump, jump. Um, I'm not sure where to go. I think I just wander until something happens currently. A balding man. Excited fanboy. Going to the movies with my son. Really got a good feeling about this one. What are you a, a fan of? Why do you? What is your haircut that of like a, a samurai? Dad's really excited for this movie. It's just nice spending time together. Isn't that sweet? This man has awful drip. I know he's like a. He looks like a Sekiro NPC. If I move diagonally on the tree on the right and press A, you teleport. Which tree? I'm gonna try every tree in the game now after you pointed that out. Ooh, dynamic flower physics. What if I end up unironically liking the game? It could happen. Zine. Hey man, you got a second? So, guessing by your physical appearance, I think it's safe to say that you're a fan of video games. Holy shit. How, how bad does it need to get before being a gamer is a visible minority? Right? Oh, okay, Alex isn't voiced here. So wait, I still do need an Alex voice. Even though he'll have his own voice in cutscenes, awkwardly. You really... You're asking a lot, game. I was kind of planning on just voicing Alex with, like, an attempt at an English accent the whole time. Um, I just thought it would it would achieve just the right amount of, like, weird stiltedness. Give him the Ralsei voice. I, I don't want to use the Birdly voice again, because that, that's getting oversaturated at this point. do a really bad impression of him, but he just sounds like a normal-ass dude. He sounds kind of like this. I'm Alex Yeek. Like, that's... That's barely even a voice. Make everyone Scottish. Uh, yeah, I am. Everyone is going to be Scottish Andrew now. No more voices. For five years, I've written about video games and game culture, including the art, music, film, fashion inspired by games and the people who play them. Mostly I write about t-shirts and jeans, but that's okay. Anyway, a point of frustration I've encountered in my trials as a writer has always been the medium that I used to publish, the print. This used to rock, but now, thanks to that damn internet, it's starting to be too expensive to justify on the own. Information is so easy to track down and share. Everyone can be a publisher on the internet. Everyone can have a voice, which is great, but online content is utterly permanent. It's ultimately just ones and zeros, yet one day gone the next. 99 is just a different beast from 98. The, inter the internet is... The internet is ruining, ruining print and everyone can beat me to anything before I can get it out. This is why I want to create something really special. Something that isn't about being ahead of the times but capturing them. Something that'll be a historical document in the years to come that really proves how great the 90s were for gaming. And what's a better way to do that than physical medium? So I'm asking you, gamer to gamer, would you please, please, please donate some money to me? Fund me startup. With your harder in dollars and cents, you can help kickstart 90s guys. That's the name of my zine. And get it into stores in the hands of geeks like yourself. So what do you say, man? Uh, do I have money? Please invest in uh, a zine. Yes, invest in the zine, Alex. Holy crap, that's great. How much, to, how much do you want to donate? Donate one dollar, you get a sticker. Donate five dollars, you'll get a magazine. Donate ten dollars, you'll get a producer credit in the back of the book. 
And remember, each donation, regardless of size, comes with a sizable portion of me soul and the right to hold this over me head forever in case I don't ever finish it. Just like Yog Ventures, right? With just a small donation of any size, you can be the reason I'll lose sleep for the next six months. So, how much are you gonna give? Definitely 10. Uh, Alex doesn't have enough cash. Holy shit. Do you get the joke? Uh, no, I, I'm not really sure I understand what's happening right now. The Scottish voice is really, like, making me lightheaded. I don't have enough cash to donate that much. I guess that's how Alex speaks. Is that the creator? What if I try to donate one dollar? Do you have one dollar, Alex? Hey, it's good to see you again. Did you come back to donate some money? Holy crap, that's great. How much did you want to donate? The whole spiel again, eh? All right. The whole spiel. Lots of dialogue. I don't have enough cash. <laughs> Fuck, okay. It doesn't have a single dollar. Alex is a former college student. I already forgot what he said in the intro. Shit, I wasn't paying attention enough. Did he say that he, like, he left a semester early or something? Did he drop out of college? Is he, like, May Borovsky or whatever her name was? This is a cool tire swing, by the way. I like it. Gaming. Finished a semester later. Oh, he's a graduate? Oh, he's just a liberal arts major who graduated. The worst possible uh, role in society. What do I do? Oh, money tree. This mystical perennial tree is proof that all life's problems are solved through agriculture. Would you like to take some money? Oh, that's the narrator. I thought that was Alex. Yeah. Alex reaches up and grabs a handful of money. I took five bucks. Oh, sweet. I can dip into that Kickstarter now. It's the money tree. Or maybe the dollar tree. It's good to see you again. Did you come back to donate some? Yeah, it's great. Oh my god, I'll give you extra if you shut the fuck up. I found this on a tree. Thanks, man. Wow, I can't wait. Things are moving right along. I donated $5 to help fund a zine. You received zine sticker X1. Is that flare that boosts my magic defense? That tree is gonna fuck the economy. Just don't tell anyone. My husband parked here before going on a business trip. I had moved the car, but he took the keys with him. Well, shit. That's a fat ass sedan. What do I actually do in this game? It's like, do I have a home? Do I live anywhere? Kick the ball? Oh yeah. Holy fuck. He's got quite a boot. It's a very interesting non-rotating ball. It just has zero friction. There's probably an achievement for this. Like, kick the ball into the flower patch? No. Oh, there's an exclamation point? Oof. Well, this is deliriously entertaining. Oh! You can just keep, keep doing it? Oh, it has a finite amount of money, okay. Maybe it regrows. One of these is my house. Maybe. Oh, here it is. I hope so. Save. Evas. What will you do? Would you like to save your data? Yes. Commencing save. Wonderful. I made so much progress. I donated $5 to some of the shitty Kickstarter. Uh, shiny. Alex noticed something sticking out of a book. I found a collectible pog. Pog champ, alright. 
I do know what a pog is, but only because Jim Sterling exists. Pianer. Play Megalovania. Toby Fox worked on this. They, they could just put Megalovania in the game. That's how it works, right? Play Megalovania, you dumb idiot. Oh my god. Do I have an inventory? Um, equipment. No equipment. Pog is not an equipment. Uh, it comes with a part of Matt Hawkins' soul that I own until the end of time. Okay, that's good. This game piece could have value to some collectors. Graphic t-shirt. Uh, okay, that's my undershirt. Very good. Can I take that off? Why, why is it an item and not equipped to me? What does Alex have on his t-shirt? It's too small to tell. All the good channels are blocked. Why? Do we live in North Korea? Alex, dear son of mine, please see if you can <laughs> Alex is naked the right now. to walk into town and pick up some groceries. I've included a list below. Why does this voice actor sound like someone off a Discord server? I don't know how to describe it. Not even home five minutes and she's already barking orders at me. Fuck you, mom. Uh, it's been two years now. I mean, it's been, it's been two o'clock for years. We should really wind this up. Five minutes uh, at Freddy. Nice kitchen. Very cool. Wait, there's an object. Toast. Only toast can defeat Bowser, as everyone knows. Two pieces of bread lie mysteriously untoasted in the toaster. I think my Alex voice is going to just gradually turn into Mr. Plinkett the longer we go on here. Mom really needs to go food shopping. Alex, you were just outside. Surely there's a grocery store you could have gone to. Mom always kept the kitchen clean. I should put these away. Okay, do it then. There's no mini game. Okay. Cookies. Mom left a plate of chocolate chip cookies. You need to get the good Alex. Wait, the the message was deleted. <laughs> what? This table is set for six. It's been a while since we've eaten as a family. That's just the murder basement. It's locked, apparently. That door is locked as well. Or is that the backyard, maybe? Nice uh, Google image results. Mom says this represents childhood. I don't know if I see it. Oh. People are trying to spoil Yeek. This game has a story? This one is titled The Colors of Home. I wonder what that means. Yep, that's the bathroom. I'll wash my hands in there at the end of chapter two. Just wait. What is with this shirt? Does it have... It, it becomes a monochrome on the bottom layer of the plaid. Why? That's so strange. It looks like he's wearing a second plaid shirt underneath the over plaid shirt. But it's just the same shirt, I think. Will I 100% the game? I don't even know how many percentage points the game has in total. Oh, dude, that's some sick art in there. Nice. That's just a photo of like a, a boo-pressed beetle or something. This used to be my dad's dresser. What happened to Alex's dad? Mystery. A drawer with my mom's unmentionables. Gross. I hate my mom. Alex spotted something. Obtained twenty dollars, dude. Why? Why pick it from the money tree when you can just steal it from your mom? Sick. There's no option like in Delta. He just takes it. 
Unfortunate. I think it was handled much better with the sock drawer gag, personally. Hot take. Undertale is maybe better than Yeek, but... That's unconfirmed. These, like, random Google images on the wall sort of have Homestuck energy, actually. It's uh, a little bit of the same aesthetic. Look at him go. You wake up at 3 a.m. and you see this at the foot of your bed. What do you do? Ah. Lay hipster bedroom. He's got the PBS Idea channel, like, vinyls on the walls. That's cool. A tiny uh, CRT TV to play Smash Melee uh, with optimal latency. Um, some display artwork bought from Vati Vidya's merch store. The latest hit, He Wants It That Way by the Black Alley Boys is playing on the radio. The plaque reads, For My Little Fighter, Love Mom. Oh, Alex still has his uh, childhood karate tournament trophies or whatever. I need to find batteries if I want to play it. That's too bad, Alex. You really shouldn't have a charger for that. This dude listens to NPR and watches NFB movies. I don't even know what those acronyms stand for. I'm just going to assume they're K-pop bands. It took me seven years to earn my black belt. Oh, he really does do karate. <laughs> I was making a joke about the karate tournament, but he actually did. <laughs> That's weirdly apt. I did karate as like a small child for a couple of years. I never really understood what the point of it was. My father's record player sits on my desk playing music from a better era. The early 90s. Oh, same, same interaction. Um, it's unclear what to do. Like, Alex doesn't really have a goal, right? He's just sort of existing. Um, and, and much, I guess, which is, like, kind of realistic to the experience of a newly graduated liberal arts major. Uh, I feel somewhat directionless. This hamster won't stay empty for long. Oh, fuck it, just... Okay, started hailing outside. That's neat. Not in, like, just outside my window with hailing now. Very cool. In this climate, the hail occurs exclusively in the form of, like, two minute long sun showers and then goes away like it never happened. Very serene music here. Oh, oh. Pick up the phone. I can't explain until you're all. Wait, what does the shirt say? Okay. But more importantly, what does the shirt say? Sick of ordinary colors? Find some new ones. Axe Studios, two brothers. Axe Studios is the developer of Yeek. So is Alex wearing like a, a gamer merch t shirt for the development studio that made his own game? That's pretty funny, actually. Two Brothers was their previous game. Hmm. I wonder about the people that made this game, you know? Like, Yeek is really well known now, but at what cost? Like, it must be a very d trying psychological experience to be the guy who releases Yeek, you know? I hope they, like, recovered from that and didn't, like, completely lose hope. This, this part of the reason I'm playing this game, actually, to be serious, though, is because, like... It's very unusual for a game to have this much, like, indie energy and, like, creativity and passion put into it. It clearly does, but also be regarded as a disaster. That doesn't happen very often. Usually games that suck, are, they suck because no one put any effort or passion into them. So this is, like, a very interesting case. Two brothers had a lot of plagiarism? Oh dear, what did they do? Uh, the music stopped. Okay, there was a spooky voice. I, I distracted myself too much, sorry. Um, it's like... What? The needs of the record player has 
He's speaking in Porter Robinson lyrics. That phone call was surely one of the strangest I've ever received. And no, I couldn't hear the music. Thank you for specifying it's not diegetic. Also, they turned that off for that scene. I couldn't hear anything either, Alex. Um, also, I'd recommend, like, if you're going to record more lines, put up some, like, blankets maybe around your room to reduce the reverb, but, the, you know, that's just a nitpick. You dislike this, Alex? Right, just staring into the camera. Look at him go. Yeah, the voice sounds like a bit crushed Marge Simpson. I ignore the resemblance to Marge Simpson. This game is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to characters real or fictional or pure purely coincidence. Uh, can I play b-ball? Does Alex ball? I have two sisters. One lives in Frankton and the other lives in Windtown. We don't talk to the one who lives in Windtown because she has a real attitude problem. Muscular man. Ugh. One thousand. Ugh. Two thousand. It does a thousand rips at a time. Cool. Pick up the ball. Ugh. I really wish the uh, uh, Gianni Magistrano like Duke Nukem shitting sound effect played whenever you talk to this guy. That would enhance it. So Alex doesn't seem to understand like, the concept of basketball, he thinks that you kick them. Wait, I glitched that one into the air. Maybe if I do that enough, it'll go in the basket? What will you do? Magistrano. What is his name? I always forget, like, his last name. It's something vaguely Italian that sounds like Magistrano. Matragrano. There it is. I'm sorry, Gianni. You can pick up the balls? Well, I hope you can ligma them too. Save, I guess. Alright. Oh god. There. The menus are kind of like sticky. Like you can't advance the text as fast as I want sometimes. Um, okay, surely there's a, a button. Oh, triangle. Oh, I did it. Wait, no, don't place it, Alex. Throw it. You throw the ball at the basket. That's how the game is played. Haven't you ever watched John Boyce? Maybe if I run? He just doesn't get it. It's fine. Alex does not ball. This town is so rich and beautiful. Nothing can ever go wrong here. Spoken like a true uh, Lynch protagonist or something. Um, oh, you can jump off the terrain. Look at that. High tech. You can do it, Alex. Just glitch over the tree. No. Oh, what the fuck? All right, we're doing this. Oh, wait. Go back. A smile appears. Well, we're doing this now, all right. Attack, use, can I show him my pog? Beat down. Where did you learn this, Alex? Which which course in your program is this? Oh, I bet I click them to the beat. Hmm. Hey <laughs> Fuck. He's got like Twilight Princess voice acting. Get ready. God, is this combat grunts are so funny. Kinda loud, eh? I'm gonna turn the volume down here. It got really loud. It's got like YouTube poop audio whenever you get hit. Yeah!
What the fuck's going on? We're, we're engaging in turn-based combat. Don't worry about it. Uh, wait, oh. It didn't give me a tutorial that time. What's it doing? Okay. This <laughs> yeek based combat. I'm yeeking on this monster. Alright, do it. Four, you suck. We have first person combat narration. This is a lot. I bet the red is better though, right? It's like a super guard. Fuck, it, it comes too fast. I'm never ready for it. What? Oh, no. Alright, I'm getting better, though. You swung his favorite record. D what record is that, you think? And why does he just carry it with him? Now you just have to do this one million more times and you'll be done. I'm going back to Faraway Town, okay? Um, I, I didn't want to engage in the turn-based combat. Southton. It's Hot Rats by Frank Zappa. Sweet. And my headcanon, it's just the Tales Gets Trolled album on vinyl. Monster Hunter, maybe. Are you out hunting monsters? There are places known as monster dens where dangerous foes gather. These are great places to train and level up your abilities. Be careful though, some enemies are very powerful. I was kind of expecting like something weird and supernatural would happen and then we'd start fighting like weird monsters, but they're just like around. So that's interesting. I know there's like sort of a, a dark world, like a persona style thing to some degree. Oh, cool grass. Get groceries. Good idea. We used to live in Frankton, but my mom got sick of the hustle and bustle of the big city. You moved to the more desolate suburbs. Cool. Can I break into their house? Oh god, this guy. Why, why do the dudes look so strange in this game? Like, they all kind of look like this dude. Like, why do they look like that? I don't... Lovely day for a walk, isn't it? Make sure you take your time to explore every area. You never know what great items you'll find. Baby face. Yeah, they they look kind of like when um, Hirohiko Araki draws children or something. There's these like weird muscular baby men. Heal thyself. What the fuck? What even is this? Is it a water fountain? <laughs> All right. Heal thyself. Robbeth thy neighbor's treasure chest. Obtain smelling salts. Those wake you up for unconsciousness, I bet. And or read you a sex speedrunning documentary. Pizza pasta! The thousand yard stairs of a customer service worker. Excuse me, sir. Can I use the ATM? Rich entrepreneur. If I can just withdraw another eight one hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars, I could buy this establishment. But the ATM only lets me withdraw one hundred dollars at a time. Oh, uh, I know a zine that could use some funding, sir. Yo, someone in chat drew Tesla in the Yeek fit. Sick. I can't wait to see it. I'll show it at the end of the stream. Underpaid employee. Welcome to Pizza Pasta. Generic water bottle. Name brunt. The text is so fucking hard to read here. Why did they make the font like this? Like the kerning is terrible. It's like a monospace, but also really wide and it doesn't look like a monospace font. Like it's actually hard to read. Slice of deep dish pizza. Shoutouts to Detective Halligan. 
and his 400 pound pizza tab. Um. Wait, I already have two of these? What is the green number? Oh no, I. Wait, the store only has two of these? I don't want. I don't want any pizza now. Come again. It's an Italian-themed restaurant. Can I come back here? Oh hi. I work here now. I get off at five. Can't reach my arm into the fire. Try to find items. Well, that's how many I can afford, I see. How were they able to predict Italy from Pizza Tower? It's ahead of its time. Ask for pineapple? I don't mind pineapple on pizza, really. It's not my favorite. I usually don't order it intentionally, but I'll, I'll eat it. Hmm. Southton. It's another weird, like, old young man. Shane G. Irving. Okay, this guy just has a full name? What's with you? What's... What do you mean? What's wrong with me? I'm like pinker than him, look. He's got like... Gray skin. I'm just sort of like fleshy in comparison. Brawny Bradley. Fighting enemies can be tough, but there's a few tricks that you can help to keep you safe. Be sure you have the best equipment on. The best plaid shirts. What do you mean I don't order intentionally? I mean, if it's like, if you're at a party or you're at a, a gathering and someone orders pizza and there's pineapple, I will eat it, but I will not myself order the pineapple pizza. He's actually undead. <laughs> They kind of look like Zelda NPCs, a little bit, like like Phantom Hourglass Zelda NPCs. That's the closest comparison I can draw. Shops often sell items that'll boost your stats and make you tougher, like steroids and hard drugs. Oh. Have you been making sure to search every area for monsters? Some areas you can't return to, so it's always a good idea to be thorough. <laughs> These guys are really- they're like reverse, uh, um, door-to-door -door salesmen. Like, you knock on their door, and they just open it. They're waiting there all day, and they have a pitch. And you're stuck until they go away. You can't leave. Is that a Kronk impression? I don't really know. Uh, I can't do a decent Kronk impression, so it's- It's just whatever noise I make when trying to, I guess, approximate a Kronk voice. Alex looked inside the trash can. Obtained a glam burger. No, I got a hard roll. I'm assuming those are like bread, like garbage bread. So instead of buying groceries, Alex, he will like eat out of garbage cans, but he will not willingly go buy groceries. Okay. That's a lifestyle. I guess it, he was a college student until recently, so that makes a bit of sense. I wish you could s run. Ooh. A monster den. Uh, no thanks. Oh shit. Ooh, new combat music. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Look at these guys. There's two of them. <sighs> okay. Why does he have the fucking, like, Hylian shield or some shit? Why are these the item icons? <laughs> They're so incongruous. Uh... Beat down! Beat down! Alright, let's beat the shit out of this man. I can do better this time. Fuck. I don't know, it came over me, but I was on fire with anger. Was that still two damage? I missed it. Fucking hell. Alex sidesteps the attack, and also narrated the fact that he sidestepped it. 
I'm unbeatable. That's such a funny animation. <laughs> he just like grits his teeth slightly. Um, oh, it really but Okay, this pisses me off immediately. I'm mashing up and down, but the menu only advances at a fixed rate. Why would they do that? You, you would need to go through extra work, I know is for, for a fact, to program it to behave like that. Like, they had to start with the default option of it going as fast as he wanted, and they changed it to be slow. That's... Uh, why? Uh, fuck, they have so much health. Dude! <laughs> oh my god, it took four damage from that? Hmm, the timing is deceptively hard. It feels like there's a slight delay after you click it, or like a little tiny bit of latency. Which I guess is nothing new from uh, Mother 3. There's a stack overflow thread on how to make the menu faster. The most popular mod. I, I didn't look at the mods on the Steam forums. Hey Andrew, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm playing Yeek right now. That's all you need to know. His voice acting really does give me like uh, immense joy though. He just like gutturally howls. And they got like um the Smash Bros announcer at home to do with the voiceover. What makes the game postmodern? The fact that it uh I'm not well it, it definitely is. It's it does have this uncanny vibe of like there's a million games that do it, this shtick, but this one feels like it's trying to do the shtick instead of just doing it. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe that's just, like, uh, prejudice on my part, though, because I've heard of this game's reputation. It just feels a little bit, like, uncanny, I guess, compared to the usual examples of the Earthbound-inspired RPGs. Like, it's leaning into it too hard or something. Ah, shit. I was on fire with anger. I could feel the rage burning in my heart. <laughs> I'm gonna wreck my voice doing these, like, mimicking his guttural cries of agony, but they're too much fun. Perfect. One million damage. Eleven damage for a perfect hit? Okay, so you just gotta be cracked. The game is easy, you just gotta be cracked. Understood. You looted $1.61 from their, their cold, dead corpses. Franken Maple Street. Even running at full speed, he still moonwalks. That's kind of interesting. Ooh, ooh, treasure chest. Ah, uh, but the wide hitbox trees are in the way. Alex looked inside the chest. Obtained a camo jacket. Aw, oh, sweet. I can be like a military slur surplus otaku now. And leak the US military secrets to War Thunder forums. Why is he holding a shepherd's crook? Shouldn't you be in school, young man? weird men in this town. Mum's gonna be mad if I don't get groceries. Maybe there is no grocery store. I haven't seen one yet. I walked away for 20 minutes. We're still in town. I don't know if there's anything outside the town. Nothing's like... There's been no story content yet. We had one a creepy phone call that hadn't... It wasn't really specific. It's just like, the world will end in seven days, or something like that. Um, but other than that, the only kind of goal I have is to, like, get groceries, maybe. There's something strange about this rock. If you could bomb it, it'd probably explode or something, I don't know. I came to visit your mother, but she seems to be working all sorts of odd hours. 
She works really hard. Be good to her. So wait, my mom- I thought my mom was on like a trip or something. She- she's just working? Alex looked inside of the trash can. Obtained. Dude, ten- who throws out ten bucks? What a dipshit. These are the tricks you need to know to survive as a liberal arts student. No. You don't just walk into people's houses. Do you think this is some kind of video game? Oh, dude, she all oh, fucking- she called me out, dude. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, dude. Like, she- <laughs> She, like, knew the trope and she called me out on it. Holy shit. That's the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. Have you visited the pawn shop yet? Daddy says it was stupid to build a pawn shop here. With this great economy, no one is desperate enough to need it. What's an economy? That's politics, kiddo. It's, uh, induced demand or whatever the fuck. If we build a pawn shop, then society will generate a surplus of drug addicts and homeless people to use it. Oh my god. Scary, scary individual. Hungry man. He looks hungry. Run, Alex. Run. Oh, it's you. No, I'm not disappointed. It's just I thought you were a pizza. Come back if you decide to bring me a slice of deep dish pizza. Never, I'm never coming back. Oof. The traversal is made somewhat more fun by the soccer ball. She looks like Ginger Gollum. Oof. Oh, that was a fucking nail bet. Uh, where are the boundaries of this town? They once again predicted Pizza Tower. Oh, dude, treasure chest. Alex looked inside of the chest. Obtained two lemonades. Nice. Cool to see someone else play Yeek after watching Oni Plays play through. Uh, I did not know Oni Plays played this, but I also don't really watch Oni Plays, so I guess that's to be expected. Uh, I, I'm not sure how many people have played this game before. It'd be nice if it was sort of like a rare let's play, and then I could be filling the niche. But I think a lot of people have probably played it for the lark at this point. Break into the bat. Oh, dude, the double treasure chest. This is just like epic battle fantasy, I gotta say. There's no way that was the first game to do it. It's referencing some other older game, but like just finding random treasure chests tucked into cubbies behind people's houses. I love it. Oh, I found the pizza. I can give to that weird cannibal. Alex looked inside the chest. Toy shield. Sweet. And now I can LARP, I guess. This guy's even scarier. Man, why are you bugging? Don't you know it's my day off? He, he was just like snorting a line of coke off of his uh, door side table. Here's the door open. He wheels around. Hey, man. You updated the Tesla drawing with glasses, and it looks like your father now. Oh. Story. Alex is talking to a cat. Mulling over the strangeness of being back home, I stopped to notice a forest I'd never explored. It's mixed so weirdly. Like, it's it's kind of quiet, but also really bassy. I'm sorry, but... Hmm. This is what the owner of the cat would say? My fictional friend would reply, You talk things over, do you? Would he? Uh huh. Been together a long time so we can read each other's moods. I understand what makes the cat tick. The cat knows what makes me tick. Of course, I didn't know this cat at all. Never met. He was a funny looking cat with a funny resting face and a Salvador Dali mustache. It's very true. I couldn't imagine picking out this cat to bring home from a store. I leaned down to pet him. Without entirely knowing if cats like to be pet at all, his coarse hair ran through my fingers as he purred. Clearly, he liked me. That was a good sign. 
Alex Eagleston, college graduate, friend of small animals. Signing off. Stardate 1999. Oh, shit. What, what, what happened? Hey, give that back to me! Oh, there's some voice acting, voice acting. <laughs> Sometimes it just really sounds like the voice actor read the line. One of those lines. You hate Alex's face. It's rendered with a weird level of detail, isn't it? Like the each tooth is like an individual polygon. Ma, there's a funny looking cat outside. Looks like fucking grandma. What is, why is it making noise? Wait, what did it even take from me? What was I, what was the piece of paper? I don't recall there being a piece of paper. I like his Funko Pop model. It's like, it's like a Roblox model that you squished down. <laughs> That's the grocery list? What is this a, a wheat field? The Windmill Village? Fight the Godskin Apostle? How do I get in there? Oh. Oh, okay. The cat zone. That was his diploma? <laughs> okay. Spooky area. There's a ghost. Nice. Um, how am I going to get groceries now? What, fuck, d doesn't he know what he wants already? You go, you pick up milk, you get some bread, you pick up whatever instant noodles you want to eat over the next three days. It's first grade, Spongebob. Uh, that is a Gengar, I believe? What is that? There's, um, the one girl from Teen Titans is over here. Oh, she's gone now. Alex looked inside of the chest. I got Ambrosia. Oh. I hope that refers to the um, the weird pulpy mixture of marshmallows, sour cream, clementine oranges, and coconut, and not like the actual mythical liquor of the gods. You're not supposed to be back here, you know. What? You're looking for your cat? Oh, it's not your cat? Well, be careful around here. Make sure this cat is worth it if it wandered into that abandoned building. She's also gone, okay. Um, is that the earthbound cave ambiance in the background or does it just sound similar? More trash? Oh, I found a hamburger in the trash. We're officially an earthbound inspired RPG, we did it. It wasn't until now, but now it is. It's mysteryman.og. Actually, the sound is, uh, M-U-S underscore S-T underscore him dot og, but close. He tried. Oh, Raven's over here now. Never mind. It's locked from the inside. What is this, mother two? Look at the rest of the trash cans. Oh, okay, I'll do that. What will you do? Save. Would you like to save your data? I wish I could mash this faster is my one complaint. Oh, that damages me? Okay, they have environmental hazards. That's good. When do you think that is? Just like pure asbestos arsenide, chlorofluorocarbons? Hmm. Literally Deltarune. Oh, it's Pepto-Bismol. Oh, it's the trash. I thought it was a dumpster, but it's each trash can is its own thing. Obtain some moolah. Obtained a fountain soda and a pog. Poggers. It must have taken a lot of care and deliberation to put that whole soda into the trash can without it spilling. Unless Alex, like, siphoned the liquid from the bottom, like, the, like McDonald's trash bags. They just end up full of, like, liquid at the bottom. There's no treasure chest back here, really? I love pogs, says Regan. Nice. You sucked the liquid out, yeah. Uh, 
They sold milk caps as toys. Is that where they came from? Were they milk caps? Really? I, I don't really know what a pog... Like, I know what pogs are, but I don't know, like, what they were for or where they came from or how they were used or, or anything. Like, they're really just props in Jim Sterling videos to me. There, it's the riff is in this song. What is that like? Da 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 or something. Fight Gengar. All right. There's three of them now. This is gonna take an hour. Uh, and my health hasn't recovered itself. Shit. Uh. Restore all H. Okay, that's a lot of HP. Um, I need to, I need this for the guy. Hard rolls are shit. Restores your PP. <laughs> Earthbound reference. Also a reference to uh, penis. PP. It's funny. I guess lemonade? 30% isn't much when you have 10 health. That's like 3 health. They're Actually, no, wait. This is stupid. They're going to deal that much damage to me in one turn. I have to run. You're right. I could also dodge every attack, but like, much smarter to run away. <laughs> He's running! Oh, wait, what? Nice. I too have played Flappy Bird. Why is the skull so floppy back there? You know, I, I prefer it to mash in. <laughs> it's like completely blank face just charging at you. No way, skeleton! Yeah, I like it not being random chance. I will say, the battle seems to be skill-based. Like, you can dodge every attack so far. It's just not... It's not quite Superstar Saga, you know, but it's it's something. Uh, hopefully there's, like, a healing station around here somewhere. Oh, dude, the whole cinematic for climbing the ladder. This is the exact moment Yeek became Wario-we. Oh, there it is. You can tell because of the hovering diegetic text. Ooh. I guess I'm not going this way. The police tape. It's- oh. Is there like one of those weird camera loops here? Can I get it to- Uh, not- not really. Fire extinguisher? Nope. He's pissing in the fountain, that's how he recovers himself. You think he's drinking, but nah. A slice of regular pizza, not deep dish. Um, do I... I guess so. I stepped into the elevator, expecting to find the cat. He sounds vaguely out of breath at all times, that's kind of... I scanned the dark floor and found nothing. What's bugging me, maybe? as the elevator began to shake, vibrating with motion. He's yeeking out! He's yeeking! Unexpected stop. But he hasn't broken character. He's just like... He, his face is completely impassive, but he's just like... He, he's been afflicted with a flame of frenzy. A smooth but unexpected stop. I cringed with anxiety as the lights flickered. Oh, I missed the vibrating with motion. So I'm not reading this in the mindset of like riffing on every line of dialogue. Maybe I should be, but... I cringed with anxiety. It's, um... I agree, the, the, the prose isn't the hottest I've ever seen. Please don't die. Please don't die. I pleaded with the mechanical gods to keep the power on. My prayers weren't answered. Praise the Omnissiah, sir. He is yeeking out. I need to find the stairs or a fuse box. It's really I, I get the um the appeal of this is enhanced by the fact that his narration is continuing on like relatively deadpan when he's just permanently making that face. <laughs> That's like a really funny contrast. I need to find the stairs or a fuse box when he's just like ah. Uh, so y y we're in the true labs now. Understood. I flipped the switch, but nothing happened. 
That's a Gengar holding a, a shield. <clears throat> Intimidating. Heal thyself. Prepare thyself. Right. All right. Quite a tone shift into the battle, but I can I can deal. Sometimes it. Oh no, that's. You see in this, if you press the button too quickly after selecting the option, it eats the input. I'm pressing like up and and X right after each other, and it does nothing. That's so painful. Why did they do that? You suck. Oh, it's weak to records. Does it? I feel like the um, the thing activates when you release the button, maybe. It feels a bit delayed. I have to test that. Rat. Six damage. No, it's- I think it's just delayed. It's not when you release, it's just a weird latency. Is it too loud? Hmm, the music- the battle music seems to be louder than the in-game music or the over, overworld music. Oh, effect. Brutalized. <laughs> the victory music. <laughs> His smile is so funny. But yeah, I did it. <laughs> okay, let's see some settings. Config. Oh, here we go. Max this out. Really slowly, though. Can I not move it any faster? I can't use the shoulder buttons like in a FromSoft game to make it go faster? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn that down a bit. Uh, what? I didn't even... I didn't even move it. Okay, here we go. We're back. <clears throat> combat! During combat, you can fast forward using R2. Oh, that's nice. You can fast forward as long as you like, but don't get cocky. A key. Oh, Alex was distracted by the trash can. Didn't notice the key. Got a hamburger. Alex, there's a key. Alex spotted something. Obtained dungeon key. Okay. Uh, I hope you see a dungeon at some point. He looks passive aggressive about it. I guess that, that was a battle. It looks like he's trying to smile for a photograph, but he's just really not feeling it. That's the vibe I get. It's just sort of a grimace. Um, I guess I fight the um, Destroyer of Worlds over here. Uh, 720 inside that one. Ooh. Okay, is it like a Pokemon trainer? Is it gonna run at me? No. Hello, sir. Oh, it's like Persona music, hell yeah. This is a better volume. Um, so beat down doesn't seem to actually help unless you're good at it, but I'll try it regardless. It seems to be worse unless you get multiple spins, and also it takes forever. But it also just stops after a while too. <laughs> Only fight. It's not even that good. Let's see. I'm never gonna use that because it's it's so slow compared to just doing a normal attack. Ah, eh. the most apathetic dodge I've ever seen. I kind of prefer it when he gets hit because he makes the funny noise. You can multi-hit on the yellow. Wait, you you can like mash? Oh. oh okay. That makes sense. I'll try that, actually. I love mashing. 
Okay. Okay, I'm not very good at it, apparently. Karate stance. It's marginally more damage. Okay, it's still not very good. <laughs> it just it cracks me up the way he opens his mouth for no apparent reason and no sound comes out. <laughs> Funny noise strats. The rat bears its fangs. I think I am getting a bit more consistent. Unless the timing varies, it's going to get pretty easy over time. I'm assuming it'll get much harder, though. Ouchy ouch. Oh no. I'm just naturally strong against rats, though. It's a blessing. Uh, think I'm gonna stand here and take it? Lean slightly to the right. Exactly. <laughs> That's such a funny face. Yeah, yeah. He kind of looks bashful, actually. And he's like, I oh, don't, don't point the camera at me. Like I know I won. It's not a big deal or anything. Use the dungeon key. Okay. You did it. You completed the dungeon. Um, I can use another water fountain though. I only have 10 health. I'm like a level 1 Dungeons and Dragons character. And or a, a very strong Magic the Gathering character. Uh, that is Bill Cipher. Okay. What is this room for? It watches. It's the big yellow cat. Hello. Uh... Okay, I'll come back later. You need a cat in this room. I don't have any cats. Hey, who's there? D don't come any closer. I'm armed. With a uh, gamer skill. Oh no, that's really bad. Relax. Down. It's me, Panda. Oh god, it's fucking Teddy. That's like the same fucking voice as the as the mascot dipshit from Persona 4. It sounds exactly like him. I'm not looking forward to this becoming a recurring character. Panda? Why are you here? I came here to help you. I'm always there for you when you need me. Uh, that's good to hear. What sort of help did you have in mind? My primary use is as a barrier. I can block oncoming enemy attacks and create barriers between you and many other obstacles. Oh, okay. My metal shield makes me very heavy, so you can use me to hold down switches and to clear small gaps by stepping on my head. What are you, ontologically speaking? You can press R1. Okay, unpronounceable glyph. Remember to press again to call me back. Okay. Also remember that some weighted switches will have reverse effects if you take me off. Okay, I'll remember that. So, press the summon you and press it again to take you back? I think I get it. They really should have dubbed in like a shitty text-to-speech circle button. That would have like been a lot better, I think. I hope so, Alex. It's rather straightforward. However, since you were a liberal arts major... Oh. <laughs> Owned. Again. Destroyed. Kepora Gabora, yeah. I now have the panda tool. Okay, panda is a tool. Arguably sentient, not really relevant. I have a panda. Okay, circle button does not summon the panda. I was lied to, unfortunate. This is extremely postmodern of the game. He was so postmodern for saying that. Alex spotted something. A generic water bottle. What, there's a bed in here. So Okay, environmental storytelling. Someone lives here. They also have a Game Boy. And that's it. That's all I know. But And they drink soda, but not all of it. They throw it out. On second thought, I don't want bed bugs. Again, that's the liberal uh, arts college experience kicking in then. 
Alex knows that it's safe to drink the trash soda, but the bed bugs are a real concern. Uh, you got menu storage for a second? I did a glitch? How did you do the glitch? How is it performed? I, I didn't really do anything spe special, I thought. Alex spotted something. A lucky rabbit's foot. Ooh. Uh, may I ask why you decided to give Yik a go before the big 1.5 update overhaul? Wait, that's not released yet? I thought that was the big update everyone talks about. I, I didn't realize that was in the future. Oh, okay. Um, well, I, I spent a lot of effort trying to figure out how to not play the 1.5 version, because I assumed that was the current patch, and I wanted to play the original version, so I, I guess it worked out. Um, I, I'm not playing Yeek for any particular content, I just, I wanted to see what it was like, you know, because it's funny. Um, he wants it that way. That's okay. We didn't have to guess what the record was. Is, is that the, even the reference? I don't know. No hats. Camo jacket. Oh, yeah. Equip that. Um... Two defense seems better than one luck. Oh wait, I just fucked. <laughs> I was like, why do I recognize that song? It's the So Need a Boyfriend or um, Girlfriend song. <laughs> if you know, you know. There was something just tickling the back of my mind there. I flipped the switch, but nothing happened. Too bad. Oh wait, I can use the switches now. If the game had reduced monologue option at the start, you're still playing the patch version with the scenery works. Yes. That is the version. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's supposed to be pronounced yeek, but everyone says yeek because that's how it looks and it's funnier, right? Uh, yeah. Panda. Press circle to deploy panda. The circle does nothing, though. Oh, it was L1. I remember that one too. Okay. You hold down L1 and select the panda with the circle button? Nope. Nope. Wait, what? Press X. Yes. Equip the panda? Oh, I hadn't equipped the panda. Oh, I didn't even realize this was a, a switch, really. Like, it doesn't move when I touch it, so I thought the panda... All right. Oh, okay. It has a... You can aim it. Understood. Oh, I can push it. What a fascinating... It's like the cane of Patchy in Link to the Past. There's so much nuance. It, it feels like a glitch when I push it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to happen. Um, well, that's cool. Oh. Oh, we're we're in the end now. Uh, okay. There's a luminous deity atop a pillar of IKEA furniture and a tutorial pop up. All right. Huh? Is he touching it? No. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! That was cool. The end of Yeek Vangelion. Yeah. Hold L1 to pull up the tool menu. Use the directional buttons to select a tool and then release L1 to confirm. Is it? Is this an intentional, like, prank? It's, it's giving me this tutorial after the room that you need to pass by doing what the tutorial says to do. 
Like, if I got here, then I know that already, right? It, this feels like it's just a prank. Like, it's it, it's an intentional joke at this point. Ooh, I can walk on that. Cool. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. That's very interesting. The, the ladder has a long, clunky, like, loading screen, but the teleport door is, like, instantaneous. Oh. Ooh. Uh, it's making noise. This is a puzzle moment. There we go. Wait, the panda went away. Why'd the panda go away? If I go through the door, the panda goes away? Why? Okay, that's fine. Now I have a ladder. Over the vaporwave arch. Uh, remove panda. Uh, I've played Portal. It's it's all good. Um, now I'm here. Wait. Oh, look at that. I'm a genius. So, uh, gotta talk to, like, Scott Cawthon over there somehow. Oh. Oh. Look, I'm a double genius. Okay, what's up? It is a proto-woman. She speaks in third person, all right? She narrows her eyes and looks at the young man standing there. He is so tall, she seems to be looking far overhead. Their eyes meet. The young man smiles. What? Wait, she narrows her eyes, looks at the young man. He is so tall, she seems to be looking far... Oh, like upward. For some reason, I couldn't parse that sentence. His smile is meant to show he means no harm. Despite the fact that he is not smiling, he is making the yeek face from the game Yeek, a postmodern RPG. Through the eyes of a high-flying dawn bird, we take in the scene from midair. From above, we see that we are intertwining organisms. What are you talking about? Through the eyes of a high-flying dawn bird, we observe the pyramid of dimensional shift. I don't understand. What's going on here? Through the eyes of a high-flying dawn bird, we pretend to not see the eye of providence. Uh, do you mean that thing? The eye of providence, or the all-seeing eye of God, is a symbol showing an eye often surrounded <gasps> by rays of light or a glory and usually enclosed by a triangle. Yeah, like on the dollar, but what does that have to do with anything? My planet needs me. Well, that just happened. I fell off the building and have to do the puzzle again. Unfortunate, unfortunate. All right. Well, that was <laughs> okay. I'd sure like to meet this high-flying Dawnbird someday. Sounds like a real character. This is the game of all time. Don't fall off, Lamau. I like how the panda has its own, like, summoning circle. Alex looked inside the trash can. A slice of pizza. And money, nice. Uh, I was really expecting the game just to go, uh, Hey, I recognize that from the Illuminati memes. Although I guess those weren't canon to 1999, so they had to be uh, accurate to the the era. I don't know what made me do it, but I poked the giant eye. That, that's a pretty weird move, I gotta admit, Alex. <laughs> oh. The pyramid's tears seem to power the room. What the hell is going on here? It's a good question, bro. It's a good question. It made William Cypher cry. Oh, I'm back in control. I didn't recognize the camera angle as, like, I could control the camera. Um, alright. Would you like to save the game, Ness?
Call again any time. This is an artistic representation of the Deltarune fandom. What? There's a force field. Alright. Why is it? That's the weirdest looking force field I've ever seen, dude. Why is the force field so weird? This is like some. Again, it's like Petscop bullshit. Like, what is happening here? This would be like episode 9 of Petscop, and it would just be like this for five minutes, and then Paul would go. That's kind of weird, champ. What is this? And then the episode would end. Th that's what Petscop is. Okay, so what did that turn on then? What did that actually do? It's powering the room. What part of the room is currently being powered? Oh, the elevator. I didn't even look at the elevator. Okay. You should play that next time, I wish. The weird force field is a reference to Yeek, which had a similar weird force field. If your fun value is higher than 66, I heard there's an easter egg where a uh, ray from Evangelion can appear for one frame in the elevator. Heal thyself. I'm digging the um, the water fountains being voiced by Minos Prime. I just saved. I'm good. I'm good. Saving takes enough time that I'm actually hesitant to do it unless necessary. Um, the lamp post from uh, the beginner's guide. Sick reference, dude. Controls. Oh, there's an entity. Open the menu with the options button. From there, you can use items and check your stats. I knew that. Thank you. Gengar's coming. What the fuck? He's interpolating toward me. Can you body block him for a sec? Nope. That is an aggressive Gengar. Reverse stranger. <laughs> okay. Good, I guess. I guess it's okay. <laughs> Fucking aced. Yeah. 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 My interpretation for that animation changes over time. It's like he's he's aggressively biting at the enemies. He's like baring his teeth like a German bit or something. He's just going, yeah. Gnashing. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, he's acting shocked about like some of this, but he's completely fine with like the um, the monsters attacking him. That happens in the real world all the time. It, it's got a bit of a surreal vibe going on for sure. Uh, fuck, these are tanky. I'm also just not very good at spinning the record. He's fucking dead. Ouchie ouch. It's not surreal or postmodern. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Steam page says surreal, so it's both surreal and postmodern. Alex has never seen a pyramid before. Um, has anything interesting happened besides the fire girl? We, we poked Bill Cipher and he started crying and powered a turbine. That's just the level we're playing on right now. Makes more sense in the plot of Elden Ring. She goes into the fetal position. That sounds really funny, actually. You have like six frames to read that, then the dialogue advances. <laughs> it's really tight for that perfect timing. There's a whole lot of good, but only like a little bit of perfect. I get it. A Caesar salad, dude. Poggers. I'm gonna go back and heal thyself. Yummy. I'm gonna talk to 
the being. Sparkling Entitris. Uh, okay. I choose to interpret the um, the fuzzy bits not as hair behind the entity's head, but instead as a uh, whimsical uh, dryadic twigs growing out like a beard. Hence, this character will be voiced as Treebeard. I've been wandering through these woods for days. I came in through the window there to find my friend, but she's nowhere to be found. I bet she followed some stupid guy here. I'm glad that only one time for two dialogue boxes, because I'm already like extremely lightheaded. I'm actually like woozy right now. Oh boy. Oh, the skull. It's real. You should practice kissing the entity. Skull appears. Defeat. Alex was the stupid guy. Was that the implication? Ah, shit. Quickly attacks. No one saw it coming, except Alex, who dodges perfectly. Bad to the bone riff. <laughs> All the enemies seem to be equally dangerous and equally tanky, which is which is cool. Alex is postmodern, so we could predict the attack. Feel my power, lame ass humans. Yeah. My power is, uh, your power is not being felt, I'm afraid. I'm not in the mood to feel your power right now. Get him a body bag. <laughs> you really did it, Alex. You got a cheese and a burger. Some enemies have different patterns to dodge. That's late game content, though. A Sergeant Salty EP. Uh, I, I'm assuming that's a weapon in context. Yep. A grunge rock album. It's kind of bad. Found in the 99 cent bin. It sucks. Wait, but he said that's his favorite record. Is he only heard one record? And so he knows that it sucks, but it is by definition his favorite? Like, that's the headcanon I'm going to go with. Um, sure. I'll take more strength and less luck. Why not? His victory pose is like his mom told him he can't have chicken nuggets and now he's upset. It's a, it's a very complex emotion. It's like the Mona Lisa. Um, I'm not quite sure how to pin it down. There's a bunch of gold left in there, Alex. Eh? You can you can take that if you wanted. Oh shit, there's a... What? Okay, that, that camera change was confusing. Let's go. Good. It's squeaking. Nice dukes, Alex. Ah. Yeah, three damage? The, so the shield did nothing. I have two more defense, but it still does three damage. Maybe the luck is better in that case if it just... Three defense is actually nothing. It's very unsatisfying, by the way. That there's still one pixel of health left in the bar, even if they die. The worse the song is, the less Alex cares about damaging the record, and the more damage he does. <laughs> That's a way of looking at it. The mechanics here would be good and fun if the battles didn't take fucking forever. Kinda true. I feel like the battles don't take that much longer than in some other RPGs, but uh... It's... There's a lot of clunk in those menus that- why is the- There's some weird collision box here. What is that? Oh, it's gone now. 
A shallow grave. You're too afraid to look beneath the surface. Oh, dude, diegetic narration moment. Um, I also don't have a shovel. I'm not talking to Treebeard again. Um, I could heal myself. Dig with panda? I could try. I'm not sure why that would work. The panda does not appear to have a shovel. Or does it? What is that object? That is a sword. Do it. It doesn't work, unfortunately. Shield? You're thinking of Shield Knight, the one that wasn't Shovel Knight. Literally the one that wasn't Shovel Knight. Okay, what is this? It's the next room, I guess. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, can I get up there? Secret? Out of bounds? Secret? No. Am I going to play Geek again when the 1.5 update comes out? I, I don't even know what the 1.5 update is. Probably not. It's going to add, like, an extra dude to talk to you, probably. Okay. This one is not Treebeard. It's so cold in here. Someone seems to have turned off the sun. The cold is bad. Bad things happen in the cold. Well, shit. Better get a... I don't know. Young cat entity on that task. Oh, hi. Uh, is that the fucking homestuck symbol on the tree? It's dramatic, so I'm, I'm slow walking for RP. Oh, shit. No. Oh, 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 that was a cool one. Do that again, Alex. That was so cool. If you're at, like, the exact value between the walking and the running animation, it jitters out. I can't make it happen again. Shit. Oh, well. What is that? What does that say? Kiji or something? KNN. A news network style microphone with KNN insignia. You gonna take it? Really put in the role playing in RPG. Actually, I'd try to put exclusively the postmodern into RPG. What will you do? Save. Risk. You really don't get the same experience unless I can say frisk. Uh, a tiny cage for trapping small animals. A metallic object emits a foul odor. Alright. Curious. I, these are supposed to be like grass or something, but all I can think when I'm looking at these is like veggie straws. Does everyone know veggie straws? I hope it's not like a Canada exclusive snack food. It requires a combination to open. Oh. Cool. Can I try? Yeah, everyone has veggie straws. Okay. Uh, oh, a shovel for digging up dirt and shallow graves. It appears as if the earth has been disturbed recently. Take the bones. So I can't take the shovel and dig up the grave? That's too bad. <clears throat> the girl. Who's there? Dolly, is that you? Oh, that's the cat. Great, another person. I hate people. Hey, I can leave if you like. You're not gonna open with, like... <laughs> How's it going here in the, the void beyond time? Which, what's up? I see you have a double eclipsed moon behind you and the Air of Breath logo on this tree. I really like what you've done with the place. Also, where are we? No, he just self-deprecates immediately. <laughs> no, please stay. I've been pretty lonely here. 
Where is here, anyway? There you go. I was hoping you'd know. I've been lost down here forever. This is based on the IRL. Is this the one? Is this the girl who, uh... The story... If, I, if I'm not getting it wrong, right? She was a student at the University of British Columbia. She went to, like, Los Angeles for a trip. And then she was found dead in the water tank on top of a hotel. And it's like an unsolved mystery. And there's all this conspiracy shit about it. Very strange thing to reference. It's just strange, like, UBC is the main university in my province. So it's, uh, it's not exactly local, but it feels a little bit, you know? Did you come through the elevator, too? Elevator? I don't know what that is. That's fuck, kind of fucked, actually. Like, in the, uh, in the actual, uh, case of this, this girl who died, um, she was last seen in an elevator going up and having some sort of, like, she was freaking out, but no one else was visible. That's what why it's such a big mystery. The elevator is being emphasized here, which is like, mm, is it getting at something? Then, uh, where did you come from? <laughs> why is that his boat? <laughs> I asked, thinking it sounded nicer than, who the hell doesn't know what an elevator is? Oh my god, <laughs> he breaks off. <laughs> the first person. That's sick. You know what I- the, the vibe I'm getting now from these, um, these dialogue portraits? It's like a, a, a PNG tuber. Alex feels like an in-game PNG tuber. Where the, the the portraits don't quite match the the emotion of the, the dialogue. It's- or it's like slightly exaggerated. That's very much the mental kind of image I'm getting here. Is there anywhere else? Ralsei anyway, type character. My cat Dali. Have you seen her? So the stupid thing was a girl. I just assumed it was a boy cat, seeing as how it had a spindly mustache. Although now that I reflected on it, facial hair was not exclusive to male animals or male humans, for that matter. Thanks for the insight, Alex. Is that the cat who looks like Salvador Dali? Yeah, that's why I named it Dali. You dumb shit. I don't know who that is. My cat just looks like Dolly herself, not another cat named Salvador. <laughs> okay. She didn't know elevators. I doubted she'd know her 20th century Spanish cattle and surrealist painters all that well either. That's a really stupid thing to assume, Alex. I don't know where you'd get that information. I said, right, I saw a cat earlier. He had a funny mustache and crazy eyes. Naturally, my description of her beloved feline was offensive to Why her. is he narrating the scene now? Wait, we- <laughs> This is fucked! Well, he's, he's now like, it's not even just a cutaway to his thoughts. He's like, just describing now what happens in the scene. Clearly, this was a woman projecting a rather strong personality onto this cat. She took a deep breath and said quickly, <laughs> Did they not have lines for this? Like, what? My cat has a beautiful mustache and perfect eyes. I can't imagine we're talking about the same cat. That's a face. Holy shit. <laughs> this fucking screen cap, right? <laughs> it just stops like this. Like, I could leave it, like, here for, like, hours if I wanted to. They'd just be stuck in this ridiculous pose. <laughs> <laughs> They're both yeeking. Like, why, her face is so fucking weird, too. It's like a burger pants face. The rest of the stream will just be me improvising the story like a snap cube dub. Well, well this camera angle just holds forever. I told her I wouldn't mind helping her find her cat. I told her we should move quickly and get out of this dank basement. You're in space, dude. I waited for a moment as she processed what I said. She was a very difficult girl to read, especially without being able to see, see her face. fucking text on screen. I could tell something was wrong. She really projected her opinions and feelings into the room, even without saying them. You've heard three lines of dialogues, dude. How do you have you intuited that? What's wrong? I, I don't have to help. I just thought you could use an extra pair of cat hunting eyes. 
It's not that. It's okay. Forget it. Hey, now, that's lame. You can tell me anything. No judgment here. No judgment? Great lie. I like a good liar. Mm. Hey, I'm serious. I, I didn't mean anything by that. <laughs> this is such a weird conversation, man. It's not you. I'm feeling it now. That was I think a fear I'm... of me. It's just... The world has used me so unkindly, I fear it's made me suspicious of everyone. I'm feeling the yeek setting in. I know what people meant now. Okay. For now, I choose to trust you. But I reserve the right to decide you're just as evil as the rest of the world in the future. But I thought you didn't know about the rest of the world. Like, what, what the fuck do you know about? Like, elevators? Well, not elevators, clearly. Alex is gonna fire his laser if he if he charges this pose for any longer. Sounds like a fair deal. My name is Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm Sammy, but please call me Sammy. <laughs> please call me Grandpa. Um, interesting name. I don't know why I'm trusting you. I guess I always had a special spot for gingers. Oh fuck! You're in. You're in, Alex. That's hey, what it takes. Careful with that word. That is our word. Oh, what do you you're mean, out. Our word. You're out, Alex. You, you Alex. fucked it up. Sorry, lame joke. Let's just look for the cat. I'll toast to that. I got some ginger tea here. I'll toast to that. <laughs> ginger slur. <laughs> ah, fuck. Little does he know, she was actually just talking about the Gengars that roam the area aimlessly. Um, she has no idea what a ginger is. Sammy has joined your party. She's very small and hard to see. Or, or maybe she lives in Alex's shadow like Midna. Damn, I wish we had like the Omori thing where they just followed you around in a conga line. That would be more fun. Or the, uh, I guess it's more of the Earthbound thing. For some reason, I associate it with Amori. She's in his pocket. Do you know the combination, Sammy? I mean, Sammy. It's a strange nickname. It's just like, it's the same length, it just slightly tweaks the actual name. What will you do? Save. Samantha? Sam I thought it, but she said her name was like Semi, like S-E-M-I. Did I read that wrong? She's relaxing in his spacious pants hole, right. Um, Deltarune was a yeek reference all along. Leave through the uh, stained glass. Oh, I'm here now. The Overlook Hotel. With clown music. It was Sammy? Uh, Bill Cipher? Okay. Yeah, it looks like a Scooby Doo. <laughs> it really does. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? The mystery machine crashes, killing thousands. Jerma laughs hysterically. I'm a bit stumped, gonna be honest. Gonna be honest, mates. The pyramid's the clue, but what does it mean? Closed eye pyramid. The eye opened? Or no, I'm in. Wait, what? Poke it. It's closed. It opened. Does it just open when you open the door? What if I break the cycle? Like it's a fucking FromSoft game. I win now, right? I, okay, that's what you do. What? What just fucking happened? That's a guy? Okay. Okay. There was a thing here. Yeah, you can't fool me with that camera pullback shit. Fountain soda. 
A gold bracelet, dude, bling. Alec has obtained drip. 40 bucks, payday. Another 40 bucks. They had two chests with the same thing. That's cool. Uh, okay, the bracelet is not a hat. HP plus... That's a fucking lot of HP, actually. It's not tacky, I swear. Um, Sammy is not wearing any clothing. That's unfortunate. Oh wait, I took my, my gamer t-shirt off to put on the flak vest. And so now I can give my gamer t-shirt to Sammy to wear. <laughs> Alright, I hope you like um Yeek Studios or whatever it was called. Uh unarmed. No hat. Maidenless. Um Sammy only has eight HP. Which means that she's gonna be the more fragile, which means she needs the bracelet. Okay. Sammy is now tank. She's not wearing. No, those are part of her uh, skin. The dress that. Uh, is that the cat? That would be a really funny gag, by the way, is, is have Alex's speed get slower the further you go down. So it's just like, it's like a nightmare where you can like never quite reach the end. <laughs> Dolly, where have you been? I'm so happy to have you back. Oh, who's a good cat? You are, you are. Cat. Oh, I should probably tell you about Dolly. Dali is a tool, much like your stuffed panda friend. Marvin, pick up tool. Hurt when PlayStation on. Use Dali to fetch items and hit switches that are too far away for you to reach. Um, cool. So these, I guess the, the equivalent of these tools are like the, the Mario RPG party members, kind of. Dali is a tool, much like yourself. Row the cat. That sounds kind of fun. Dolly can jump, so don't worry about her falling down any gaps. This will be useful, so make sure you try it. Sick. I'm gonna throw your cat down all the pits. Okay, so shall we get out of here? Sorry about my house. I've been meaning to get someone in here to fix the power, but who has the time for that? Yeah, I mean... I get so busy that little things like that get away from me. What do you but do? That's normal, isn't it? You get used to the flaws in your own home. It's always confusing for guests. Yeah, but what, like, actually, though, what do you do? Like, what are you busy doing? Do you like, do you have a deviant art or something? Like my mother used to have everyone take their shoes off in the kitchen. Who does that? Hmm. Oh no! The cat is the boomer. That really sucks for you. I'm sorry oh, to hear that. One last thing I should warn you about. I've got a roommate. His name is Wilhelm. Um. Well, you'll see. He eats people, doesn't he? I just heard that game, thank you. Yeah, why don't you take your shoes off at the door? That's a good point. I feel like that's a that's going to be a, a deep cultural difference here, is whether people take shoes off at the door or not. Because I like my family always leave your shoes at the door, then you go upstairs in your socks. That's just how it works, but... Um, but apparently Sammy's family only in the kitchen. That's an aggressively wiggly rug. It is... Oh, okay. It, it's wiggly because it's actually a portal to another plane of reality. Oh, they, they move? Uh, oh. <laughs> is that what the game was talking about with depictions of suicide? <laughs> Shit, don't do it, Alex. Okay. Um, how does any of this help me? I can't... Maybe later? I can come... Oh. I can't go in there. Um... Okay, 
Okay, I have to find a way to get onto that other platform in the first place. No. No. I can't interact with the doors. Oh, throw the cat! I forgot I had the cat already. Damn. I'm just dumb. It's okay. Rather a clingy cat. Oh my god. It, it's literally the Zelda boomerang. Um, how would you do this with a keyboard, by the way? Like, this is a very analog kind of aiming here. Uh... Uh, so, when she said it could jump, she meant that it could literally hover, okay. Uh... Oh, oh. Skull is onto my ass here, but that's okay. Boom. Uh, I could fight the Gengar for some treasures. It's three of them. Oh, but we have two of us, though. Um, let's use a skill to impress Sammy, even though it's worse. Oh, wait, I can use the panda, too. Panda HP must be over zero. For two cycles, block the enemy attack. So panda has HP? Where's the panda's HP shown? Oh, it's there. Six out of six HP. What happens when the panda dies? I'm not going to fuck with that for now. I think the skull is tankier than these. So hit them first. I'm not good at mashing. <laughs> 15 is good damage, gotta say. Uh, okay, what does Sammy do? Water element hat attack or something? She also has beatdown. Oh shit, she has a revive. That's important. White mage detected. What the fuck is this? Okay. Alex is tanking with his thick, slightly open mouth technique. Hmm. I don't know what came over me. I was on fire. That's uh, such a weird looking, uh. It's like the Undertale battle bar, it's just this bizarre, massive sprite. <laughs> she doesn't open her mouth, but she just. Slightly shrug her shoulders. It's a different school of martial arts. Uh, alright. Bust out the big moves for the skull here. You only get two... What's the point of pressing the red on the second revolution? If you only get two max. Sammy is scary when Sammy is angry. I am the best, seriously. <laughs> they both look so like unsure of what to do with themselves. <laughs> Jetstream Sammy. Good. I like that. Oh, whatever the fuck he says. Another graphic t-shirt. What game studio is that one for? Uh, like, uh, Polytron, I hope? Alex Yeek may not be the developer's self-insert, but he could easily be a Phil Fish self-insert if he worked on this game. Alright, the cat. Yeah. Oh. Wait. The, these two switches do the same thing? Interesting. Uh. Oh ho. 
What now? Oh, I see. Is that the same Z plane as me? No. Uh... Well, that's a bit of a pickle. Can I get over there and get onto that one somehow? Wait, okay, this goes up and down. And this brings us over here. Okay, I understand it now. So I gotta go here, defeat the skull. The skull enemy is when you use skull emoji in real life. It, yes, that's actually what the skull emoji is depicting. Um, it is not, in fact, the human skeleton. It is the enemy from Eek. Oh, that was close. Let's see if I can get a, a good hit. There we go. Okay. The trick is just to not be distracted by the big spinny square and just look at the small square. It floats like a butterfly, spins like a bee. Uh, it really, really does. Attacks with Poetic Skull. It looks the same as the last attack, but trust me, it was different. Maybe the new headcanon is when Alex dodges, he's actually eating the attack. He's like devouring it with his maw in his teeth. He like catches it. Hey, no swimming. The skull sound effects are like so close to the mic. It feels weird. Cat scratch. He's eating the universe, like the gaster blaster Azrael uses in the final fight. He is indeed casting Hypergoner on those mofos. The cat made a weird noise or something. Something happened. The dialogue is really fast, but I'm not complaining. Found 25 cents and a mini tack, which I guess is a tic tac of some description. Meow. <laughs> There we go. I was rewarded. Have I been... Oh, this one goes higher. Okay, I did it. I solved the puzzle. What's inside the trash? More trash pizza. Pizza. Oh, I forgot that happened. Fuck me. That's a very funny game. Very funny. It's okay, I'm like a, a Dark Souls fan. We're supposed to like that shit. Oh. Oh, off screen, look at that. Why the latter cinematics? They're so strange. They tried adding Alex Yeek to Undertale, but it increased the file size by 50 terabytes. The Yandere Simulator Toothbrush. Input selection. Uh, a pizza dispensing vending machine. Sounds kind of cool. Cheese burger. They're really... Specific. So it's percentage-based healing. That's strange. That sort of implies that healing items won't scale late game. Like the same pizza will be just as good when I'm level 99 as I am now. Even though I don't know if you even level up in this game. Uh, BLT sandwich. Sounds kind of good. Um, oh, I see. Oh, that's how many you're buying. It's a weird way of rendering the UI, but I understand. I guess I'll take a sandwich. Why not? Will that be all? I love that one. Come again. What a joyous interaction that was.
Uh, the best thing Yandere simulator, simulator has ever done was an anime girl gaster. That's not a joke. That happened. Good, good for it. Good, good for Mr. Mr. Dev, whatever he goes by. Dev son. What will you do? Yeah, I'll save. Was he then <laughs> promptly sued out the ass by Toby Fox? Uh, that would be awkward, actually, because Toby Fox, like, suing someone for, like, infringing on Gaster copyright would be, like, indirectly acknowledging the character's existence would be a big embarrassment for him, I think. What happened to Yandere Dev, anyhow? Um, as far as I know, like, nothing. It's just in the same state it has always been. Ah. Well, that's him. That's my roommate, Wilhelm. He doesn't get really like it when I use the elevator, so he's probably in one of his moods. <sighs> okay, well it's about time he and I had a conversation about boundaries. She does know elevators, what? It, plot hole, plot hole. I am Wilhelm, feel my power. I have metal joints, beat me up, win 15 silver points. Um. We're very low on health now. Shit. Luckily, I have just the thing you need. Except I have no PP. That's a unfortunate time to not have any PP, Alex. Uh, what's the play here? Caesar salad. There we go. I assume the PP restoring aspect is garlic. You eat the salad. Brilliant. That's only one PP? Oh, he needs... Wait, how many... He needs all five PP to use the fucking panda? Piece of shit. Okay, do I have any more of that? Only 15% PP. All the PP recovery sucks. Okay, the fountain soda might be enough. That's only- oh wait, it, it somehow counted as two? Ouchie ouch. Wait, I'm not even being given an option to dodge these. That's- that's unusual. Hmm, well so much for the skill-based combat. Let's go... Cast the panda. Wait, I- On- I can only cast it on myself. Sure. He calls out the name? That's sick. Burning sword! Yeah, we've got a tank now. And it has a tunic health bar for some reason. That's sick. Um, That's really good. Holy shit, yeah, use that. Healing song. Wait, what? Ah, oh, fuck, it, it actually wants me to play the song. I, I didn't realize there'd be a mini game. Panda's very powerful, okay. I have no more PP though. Well, that's great. Is this gonna be a gimmick fight? I think maybe. I can't even tap the menu to the, the beat of the music because it goes too slow. That's very depressing. Um, I don't have enough PP to try the song again, do I? No. Oh well. Oh no, it did take some damage. Okay, Panda's already fucking dead. Oh, big crit. Okay, do the... Burger. Yeah, sure, try the, the burger, Sammy. The music is really funny here, yeah. Poetic skill. It looked like a laser, but it was poetic skill.
Perfect. Big damage. One shot it. Nine damage. Big one. Okay, I'm gonna do the QT uh, quick time event this time. Although I'm, I'm pretty bad at like remembering where the buttons are on the controller. Because <laughs> I only fucking learned to use one of these controllers to play Elden Ring. So we'll see how it goes. Healing song. All right. Uh, square, square, triangle, triangle, circle, circle, X, X. All right, it was, it's a set pattern, I think. Sammy somehow resisted that slightly. Um, use a skill? Hmm, can't use the panda again. Try beat down. That's big damage. Okay, beatdown works really well, apparently. Let's try that again. What's her beatdown, though? Oh, she doesn't have enough PP. Very unfortunate. Uh, we have the BLT sandwich. That could help. It's just uh, HP, though. See, if items are percentage-based, that means having a high HP stat is really incentivized. You just get more healing. Okay. Keep doing the beat down, Alex. We're relying on your sick DPS right now. Okay, suboptimal. Oh, fuck, that just killed him. Alright, easy. It's probably some Tetris pro who could get like 10 hits on that yellow bit. What do I think of it so far? It's decent, aside from the dialogue. Um, the the dialogue is not uh, good. See, it, it, it voice acts it sometimes, then it hangs me out to dry here. Other than that, it's hard to tell like what exactly I should be feeling about it. Wow, I didn't think he'd take it so hard. No need for him to blow up like that. Honestly, I expected better of him. This place is weird. Can we go now? Yeah, sure. I was just saying my goodbyes. Goodbye, Wilhelm. I mean, Wilhelm. Just experience. He left all of his GLaDOS components lying. Oh, fuck, they're physics objects. <laughs> That's funny, actually. Only some of them, though. Cat magic. Check this out. It looks like Alex is the one meowing. The cat is actually not making any sound. It's just a sound effect. Immediately the game is improved. Oh. Alex spotted something. Obtained 50 cents. Hell yeah. Oh my god. I guess this is just the plastic casing. It, it's physics box. It's like... A single pixel, but if you hit it, it just goes. Each each couch had exactly two quarters. That's good. Undertale did this. I am so happy we're almost out of here. This isn't really what I expected to be doing with my day. This is like what I said about election trucking not letting characters process the events that happened to them because it would derail the plot. It is actually that, very much that. It's a good observation. Because we, we've gotten a lot of, um, and I can empathize, I've, I've tried to write stuff before and it's ended up like this. So I'm not entirely sure what the solution is in all cases. But um, where it's like the characters react without reacting somehow like they go through a reaction but you still don't get any sense of what they're feeling <laughs> i'm not sure exactly how that happens but it's it's happening here um maybe it's just a case of the reaction isn't naturalistic enough that you can believe it or it feels like they're just reading lines or i don't know it's complicated well at least we found ali imagine how much worse it would have been without her right 
So, where do you live? I'll walk you back home, or maybe I can borrow my mom's car and drive you if it's outside of Frankton. It could be metaphorical and or an allegory. It could be, I guess. Yes, that's why I'm making a game about robots that don't have feelings. Oh, don't worry, the RAM robots do have feelings, or they will anyway, once we actually manage to convey that through the game somehow. The cat is a guy now? The, the cat is accidentally gender fluid? Love to see it. Um, so did Alex not pick up on the fact that she like lives in the void and, and her roommate is a robot? Like, is he not picking up on that kind of? What do you mean? This is my home. This is where I live. Yeah, you said that. What? You live in this shithole? She's not quick on the uptake. That's not very nice. I'd never call your house a rap hole because I have manners. You haven't seen his house. Like, don't speak too soon, Sammy. You haven't seen his uh, um, karate belts. I, I don't know. He, he has a pretty nice house. I can't lie. It's not bad. Ever heard of them, Alex? Sorry. It's just not every day I meet a girl who lives in an old factory. I don't see it that way. <laughs> you could have cut out the last half of that sentence. <laughs> Burned. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I almost feel as if the factory lives with me. As if the factory, just like Dali, is part of me. If I were to be really charitable, I could have called this Lynchian. It's not quite there, though. The factory is part of you? Like, this is... It's, it's, it's almost like... It could be David Lynch, but it's not hitting the note. Of course, the factory isn't part of me. That's just weird. But do you actually live here? Yeah. Just me and Dolly. But usually Dolly is better about keeping me company, you know? He's not always just running off to God knows where. Oh, did you see it? There was Ray in the background for one frame. I'm not sure if that came up on stream. I reflected on her words. A mysterious girl. Who lived with her cat in an old steel mill. Mm. It was obvious to me that her words didn't contain the entire truth. Right. Something about her compelled me. Pieces of her story started to fit together in my mind. Like how I found the 40 foot tall Illuminati pyramid and poked it in the eye to power the turbine. That was kind of weird now that I think about it. Well, at least that's what I thought at the time. Hmm. As opposed to now, which is... When, when are you narrating this? I can admit now that some pieces were pure fabrication on my part. Right, like... In my head, her story went something like this. Sammy was homeless. A runaway woman who was trying to escape hard times. Someone who had found refuge in her cat. Maybe the only thing left from her previous life. Right, so, we, so, the, so the deal is that, like, all the weird bullshit is just not going to be acknowledged by the characters ever. Like, maybe that's just it? Like... It happens, but it's just normal. It's like the the animals in Bojack Horseman. It's just like it it's there, but like no one ever e explains it. Maybe. And so it, it is kind of. It's like I could tell I was missing something. I'm being cut off by Alex here. Can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to speak here. Um. It, it's like relatively grounded underneath the weird coat of paint, maybe. I'll try interpreting it like that. Her clothes were clean. Her breath was fresh. She was much more energetic than any homeless girl I'd ever known. Not that I'd known many. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for specifying. The secret to what I was missing lay in her temperament. Is that your hobby? Is what my hobby? Is she gonna call it the diegetic narrator? Up into space and screwing up a your little face bit. As if to say, what's going on inside my head is really important, so just let me think. Hey, I don't make that. <laughs> oh. Something's happening. Oh. Oh. Got his teeth. Oh, it's Starman. He's here. Well, that's bad. Let me be. You promised you wouldn't move me again. Please don't. 
Oh, uh, okay. Two hours when she <laughs> vanished from my sight. Whoa, okay. That's <laughs> the expression, though, just. That really. Something just happened there. Holy shit, okay. The astounding underreaction from Alex kind of took the window to that scene a bit. Why does he have reverb on his voice? I think he's just recording on like a slightly live room. It just hit his, he's got some hard walls and not enough padding up or something. <laughs> yeah, the, the portrait after all of that is very much like, okay, I'm going to break down. I got to process that. Give me a sec. Like, what just happened? Sammy was gone for good. Swept away as if she'd never been there at all. A door into nothing into a different reality, opened up and swallowed Sammy whole. At that moment, I couldn't think. I couldn't breathe. All I could do was replay the scene of her being pulled into obscurity by nothing. There one second and gone the next. Sammy was taken from your party. It's tapping in to like Halloween hack narration just a little bit, just then. Like when Varric is going through the, oh, it's the light being. Thank you for visiting. We want to thank you for your continued patronage. You are my favorite customer. Please come again soon. I. Oatsen, behave yourself. Why is she naked? She's just wearing a, a very tight um, a yellow Power Ranger cosplay. Alex, you still have to get the groceries? <laughs> well, some you may be kidnapped by interdimensional aliens, but at least I can get a Snickers bar. Slice the deep dish, yeah. Yeah, give me the deep dish. Hit me up with the deep dish. God, there's slightly too many inputs required oh, to leave that. Oh, wind of springtime oh. seemed to contrast the inner workings of my brain. I was moving on autopilot back towards my home. As if being controlled by some dude Don't holding a I dual shot. seen something that wasn't meant to be seen. As if the curtain lifted on reality and exposed the man upstairs. Like I just found out Santa wasn't real. Damn. I couldn't yet put into words what I now understood. But something had changed inside of me. But nevertheless, I was, at Pulsating length. Pulsating through my veins was the energetic charge of irrevocable loss all for a woman I didn't know. Mm. This feeling wasn't pure. It was cut with something I couldn't put my finger on at the time. Irony. I believe now that it was a profound sense oh. that I had discovered something. Only problem was this something wasn't meant to be seen. So you only get to control the cutscene as long as it doesn't go through the moment. Time. I was a child finding a magazine meant only for an adult's eyes. I was both intrigued and repulsed, confused by the images spinning inside my head. That was basically the opening monologue of Control, except kind of not as good. People complained about the writing in Control, didn't they? They should just have played Yeek first, <laughs> and they would have loved it. Uh, I can't, I can no longer fit? Oh no, he just, okay. The path is purely visual. Look at him go. Nothing says yeek like this. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just try to process all of that myself in real life. Um, well, I remember where Alex's house was. Is that a quirky character? This plant looks suspiciously like an Easter Island head. It sure could use a haircut. See, I, just, I don't know. I just had a very distinct experience of like, that's a Toby Fox ass line of dialogue, but it took me like a full two seconds to realize that it was a joke. I don't know if I'm just like kind of poisoned to this game or if it's just there is a difference. You have Vine Boom dot uh, MP3 by the way. Also that. Oh, it's Toby in chat. Hey. Look what you can do in the game, Toby. You can step on the flowers. That's cool, eh? Um. Alex's house was like here. It was the back. With the tire swing, right? Oh, it's Beck Noir is here. Wait, what are you doing? How? How did I not see it? It was already broken. Okay, let's break down the character design. Um, yellow wolf furry creature with some sort of striped shirt. Like monster kid shirt from Undertale, holding the Dragon Slayer greatsword, with eyeliner and demon angel wings with eyes and triangles on them, and he's voiced by uh, bestial clergyman Garank. Interesting. That is just the Dragon Slayer greatsword, though. Why not? No comment, Alex? <sighs> this is what you're not gonna have anything to say about, Alex? Like, of all- okay. Maybe he's just really deep in thought. Like, diegetically, he's too deep in thought to notice the, uh, the golden alpaca. This is Tails OC! <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, Tails at the end of the Tails Gets Trolled, um, Defender's training arc. If only the uh, the Cheeto Man twist did not occur. That guy was added in response to earlier complaints of the game not being serious enough. I have no idea if that's true or not. Reflect. Uh, that's a bit ominous. It's like, come down for a chat, son. Pats the couch cushion. I'll do that later, Dad. What will you do? It used to be a real alpaca. They made it look different. Again, I have no idea if that's true. When I Period. arrived home, tired, confused, and out of breath, I tossed my things on the floor. Made my way to the couch. So the the director here, you have Quentin Tarantino on the set, and he's like, "Guys, I know we had the shot three times already, but we have to have it with the camera at eye level, with Alex's crotch." Okay. It was a mandate. My mother still wasn't home yet. I hope that's how Quentin Tarantino surprised. speaks. She often worked late, right before her company released a new product. My mother, a 49-year-old, short, red-headed woman, was an information systems programmer analyst for Pacific Chime, the West Coast's leading telecommunications provider. So we're not in Vermont, we're on the West Coast here. Maybe even Los Angeles. Her job, ironically located on the East Coast, worked her harder in one year than most jobs work people in a decade. 
This job paid well. Oh, the job is on the East Coast. Okay, uh, okay. My sister and I would have never gotten through college. I left school debt-free thanks to the back-breaking mental labor of my mother. You have mail. Ah. Well, that's cool, Alex. Um, that's good. This game is in New Jersey. She works in Cali. But you said the job... Oh, there's a ghost. So you said the job was on the East Coast, though. So what part of it is actually in the West Coast? What will you do? Let's see the mail. Pacific Chime Compu Favorites. I am Kale. Purveyor of fine goods. Alex, I found this creepy shit. I think you need to check it out. Apparently, it the video is from your area. Be warned, it's crazy. Who is sending this? From missing persons at CKK Studios. Missing persons email address? What? Is this normal? Did this, is this what happened in the 90s? The game is in Connecticut. Sure. That's just like lesser Vermont, man. I don't know. There it's was a moment of apathy where I almost didn't click the link. The last thing he sent me that was allegedly scary turned out to be a picture of two elephants locked in the throes of passion. Oh, nice. Uh, who is this? Is this some dipshit Alex met on, like, a, a forum? Like, whatever arcane mid-90s internet forums they had? I don't know what people did in the 90s. Like, they, they would do long plays of Final Fantasy VII and grind to max level in the starting area and call each other names on weird forums. AOL pals, yeah. I sighed and clicked the link. The file was 2.9 megabytes. Dude, that's like your whole computer's hard drive in the 90s. Damn. In the dark room, the monitor was hurting my eyes. I rubbed them and waited for the file to load. You're not running the Simple Flips bland, brand yellow gamer goggles? Get on that, dude. Eye strain's no joke. I thought of things could be. More animal porn, human porn, cartoon porn. Ooh, scandalous. I really guess with this guy. But it was most certainly going to be pornographic. Hmm. Another model. A girl from my high school was now into adult videos and was doing some particularly unladylike things. Why is that? Is this guy go to your? This is like too much information, all Alex. Video loaded. I thought of all the girls I had gone to school with who might be involved in such activities. Can we just see the email? I don't want to know, Alex. I neither had the looks nor the motivation to seek out an adult filmmaker. I gave up. I just have to wait for it to finish downloading. When the file had finished downloading, I waited with fading patience for my computer to open it in quick time. Is that a... Isn't that a Macintosh thing? This seems to be Windows. I don't actually know. <laughs> Sex pervert argue. <laughs> Finally, it was loaded. Oh, yeah. So this is... Yeah, this is why this is so fucked up. Because this is the shot of the... um. It's, it's been recreated in low poly here. Uh, I think it's the same camera angle even as the actual security cam footage from the uh, the elevator in that real life um, murder investigation. Girl gets onto elevator and some weird shit happens. Anyone know details? I just saw this on IRC. Click here for egg video. I grabbed some screenshots of the best parts. The, the the door to the cosmos doesn't happen in the actual footage. Um, she just leaves. That's that's a good screenshot. Uh, holy shit! Which IRC was this one? It was on anonymous ten minutes before I posted it. Still trying to find its origin. I watched it a few times, and I guess I'll be the first guy to ask. What the fuck is outside of the door? What the fuck is wrong with her eyes? Just what the fuck? 
Anyone know if this is real? Is it from a movie? Can't find or deny if it's from a movie, but I guess it is probably Japanese or something. However, I think the frame rate, stationary camera, and unattractive woman makes me think it is at least homemade. Savage. I don't know if I'd call her ugly. Anyone find a name yet? I need to get some- Alex, shut up! I'm trying to read your fucking email. No! Piss off, Alex! What, what, what am I playing? Like the, 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 the blink and you'll miss it VR game? Are you Morgana telling me I can't go out after 8 o'clock? Yeah, that was a, a very cum jar core kind of internet for him there. Probably period accurate though. I've read all the books already. Shit. He really? Really? That's a lot of... Who, who like, has a bookshelf where you've read every book on it? That, that strikes me as quite rare. My mom has read all these books. So this is the, his mom's bookshelf. This is his bookshelf. Interesting system. Wait, who are these bookshelves for? Just no one, I guess? These are decorative books? I'm supposed to interpret Alex reading that as causing a negative emotional reaction which caused him to prompt me to go to sleep. Maybe? It's kind of a strange reaction. Like, because that's footage of what happened in the elevator with us just now, but that's like an old thing that they dug up in context. So that's like footage of her originally going, getting sucked into the void, even though she claims to have always lived in the void. So I, I don't know. It's just a bit odd. He's casting a shadow on the, underneath the stairs? Really? Oh, sick. I mean, you know, fucking leering is hard. I can't really judge them that hard. Um, I mean, if you have like a 3D map, it's probably, they could have solved this somehow, but. Negative emotional aura. <laughs> I love the moonwalk. What character is this supposed to be even like similar to? Is it just a generic like pirate class D&D &D sort of thing? Or is it like a reference? Go to sleep, Alex. Ah, the panda is here. So, is this what a college graduate does? Spend hundreds of thousands of his mother's hard-earned money to lounge around all day? It's already 2 p.m. Don't you think you should be getting out of bed? So I was kind of right about this being the Persona 4 Teddy mascot, but it's actually more like the Persona 5 Morgana mascot, where it just fucking yells at you for just sleeping in and shit. Keep it down, please. I had a rough night. I can't get that video out of my head. You saw it in in real life, though, Alex. You, you were there. You, uh, yeah, uh. Alex, can I ask you a serious question? Reply no. <sighs> Do you have to? It's too early for serious questions. Are you meant to sympathize with the MC? I don't think you are. Like, I'm pretty sure you're not meant to like Alex, at least. That's the bare minimum credit I can give the game. He, he's being written as an asshole. That doesn't work with me. I'm not your mommy. I don't let you get away with letting things slide. Okay, fine. What is it then? Isn't Morgana likable? Fuck no. Who, who, who thought that Morgana was likable? Why didn't you go back and look for her after she vanished from the elevator? Why did you run straight home? Looking killed, Joker. If you had seen her being pulled out of the elevator, you'd have known she was gone for good, too. And besides, it's... You're forgetting that I was there. I saw it, too, and I get it. You're scared, right? So you ran home. I understand. What is the poster over his bed? But maybe when you've busted up some courage, you can put on your big boy pants and see if you can find her. I don't want to put on my big boy pants. Didn't Morgana get like a 10 out of 10 in the ACDS cat reading form? Okay, one, we have a cat reading form? I wasn't aware of that. 
And two, um, whoever's responsible for that is getting banned. Yeah, maybe. Now get yourself out of bed. Take a shower. You smell terrible. I knew he was right. I couldn't let myself live with the guilt of not going back to look for her. Oh, I thought that was kind of your plan. But by default, you'd assume that was the plan. But why did I run away? Why did I just stand there and let her get pulled into into what? What exactly had she been pulled into? Just the thought of going back to the factory made my stomach tighten. He's got a hell of a cheekbone there. Look at that fucking thing. Not even Iraqi draws cheekbones like that. Yeah, Morgana would never tell you to get out of bed. Morgana would tell you to go to bed because it was past like 7 o'clock at night. And then uh, the, the the mandatory like mascot character Lust Arc, which also occurs in Persona 4. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Like, I don't know if that's every Persona game, but like there's some director on the staff at Atlas who just like sees the mascot. You just check in them with the artist and you're like, oh, this design is great. It's really relatable, really cute. It's going to sell us all the copies. One question, does it fuck? And the artist just look up like, what? And then he gets really serious and he's like, it fucks, right? We have to have the players know that this thing fucks. And like, and then that gets written to the story every time. It's sort of like a now drawn giving birth vibe. But if I didn't go back, I knew I'd never be able to live with myself. Hmm. Hashino was a weirdo who had never had a female friend before. Who's Hashino? Is that Persona 3? I don't I don't know who that is. <clears throat> yes. Now make them have a suck life. That's how that's how that one director speaks. Now make it fuck. Make it last for. missing something some vital piece of information that slipped my mind the whole thing could be explained logically aha uh -huh, now the hogwarts we are we're in inside hogwarts. a room we can tell from the decorations on the wall that it is a female's room the unremarkable but adequate lighting reveals to us that there is someone in the room what the Although fuck are you talking about yet clear to us or the others in the room. Send me the back. The expressionless decor and bedding show uninteresting taste. Although there are the staples of a bedroom, there is something inhuman about the layout and decorations. We get the impression that the room is a parody of a human woman's room. With a quick survey of the interior, our eyes come to rest on a figure unconsciously placed inside the bed. We know from her plastic finish that she is both unconscious from a lack of humanity inside of her vessel and unconscious from a lack of power going to her circuits. The low electric hum of the room detracts from the music playing at a low level from a record player in the corner of the room. As we observe uh. the motionless figure, we gradually come to sense that she isn't well, that she is broken in some way. We feel compelled to refer to the figure in the bed as a woman. However, her exposed circuitry holds our words. We bring the camera closer to her face and ponder what she is. Her face is lined with the most profound solemnness. We Solemnness? And come to an agreement. <laughs> okay, so let's review. Did, you met a girl in an old Did anyone else see that? Or did I, like, imagine that? What happened? What happened? <laughs> Where was that? A borderline experimental. That would have. I feel like so much of this would hit so much harder without the fucking voice acting. Like, because if that was just a surreal cutaway to a bunch of text boxes, I feel like that would have been better. But the voice acting just like 
sucks the gravitas out of everything. I I think that the voice acting has like a quite a large role in how hard it is to take this seriously so far, just in general. Now, with a new sense of bravery, you're running off to the last location you saw her to try and track her down. Voiced by real college kids, right? I have no idea. I, have, I don't know who fucking voiced this. Maybe they let you remove the voice acting. Uh, but chat seems to like the voice acting, though. Exactly. Sounds good to me. I like this Alex with a sense of purpose. Now, if only you could get out of bed before 2 p.m. It's such a solemn pose. Alex is voiced by Chris no no Noisy. Noisy Chris, a real voice actor. Oh, I can lower the voice volume. True. But, uh... I don't know. I've kind of warmed up to the voice acting as a concept. Um, it's at least saving my voice a bit that I don't have to read all the lines. And, like, the fact that there's lines that aren't voiced means that I still get to occasionally voice act someone, which is nice. Um... Do, 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 do. Wait. What's in the bathroom, though? That's the bathroom. I feel like eating a cookie first. Eat, eat one, dipshit. Don't just look at it. Eat it! Stuck in my head. Yeah. Just won't go, 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 go away. Spamton. It's Spamton, guys. Did you ever get that? Check the bathroom. I think call it an earworm or whatever. But this isn't really the catchy tea kind of song. This is that oh sort of thing. Oh, you got like a Vebrin stuck in your head? That's really bad, dude. It's pretty good, but some of the lyrics are a bit weird. How did they go again? Okay, it's not Vebrin with lyrics. Could be Yoko Ono? I think you have the wrong number. Oh, sorry. Pog champ, okay. <laughs> the, the check the bathroom reference kind of caught me off guard there. Just don't want to play the piano. I was the wrong number, the wrong number song. We're really, really sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, there was a ghost again. Ah, uh, the ghost was absorbed by the phone's hitbox. That's unfortunate. Where the devs, hi? What are you talking up on a blunt right now to make yourself high? Just how high do you have to be to do something like that? Um, same narration? Yep. Haven't interacted with the TV yet. I oh, know I did, but the good channels are blocked for some reason. I don't know why they would be blocked. Can I have a shower? Hitty told me to have a fucking shower. How about you do that, Alex? Have a shower? Alex, you need to get the groceries. Have a foam shower, Alex, yeah. Parental control TV as an adult. I wonder what's blocked. Is Maybe it's just like pay-per-view wrestling. And that's all Alex wants to watch. Like his mom was sick of him using her credit card to watch the WWE Super Slam. Can I not kick it behind here? Yeah. No more Fox News? <laughs> she had to cut Alex off as Kevin O'Leary. He was being radicalized. <laughs> Get the red flag in the ball game. Where's the hole? 
can I pick the ball up? Or only the basket? I think you- Oh no, I can pick up the soccer ball. That is against the rules, Alex. His animation is way funnier though, look at that. He's like strutting down the catwalk. Boots, bats, boots, bats. They called him the forklift in high school. Guess why? Hello? I can't talk to humans while carrying the ball. I guess that's fair enough. It's the same dialogue. Okay. Nothing's updated. Is it really a quirky indie RPG if the dialogue doesn't update every time you take a step? Is it really? I'm coming. I'm coming to rescue you, Sammy. I'm coming. Oh shit, it's Alice? Freddy Krueger. You grew a beard. What does that voice remind me of? You grew a beard. What is it? It's so immediate. It's so generic, but it reminds me so distinctly of something. Oh. It's Trip from Facade. This character is Trip from Facade. As the young man got closer, my bewilderment grew. Oh my god, drama queen Michael. Alex. He was a good kid. A bit younger than me. <laughs> Usually worth a laugh or two. My hand covered my eyes to block the sunlight to see him better. Hmm. I thought back to the last time I had seen him. For some reason, I... I couldn't place any memories of him since before high school. None of the town NPC dialogue updates the entire game. Wow. But I knew I must have seen him since then. College makes you into a man. What 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 the fuck kind of reply is that, Alex? What was that in response to? Makes you into something. What a weird looking dude. Why, is, why does this sprite have a slightly like... It's like a slightly different art style than Alex's somehow. There's like harsher... There's less like soft shading on his face. It is, yeah, there's like... There's like a gradient on Alex's face, but this guy is like hard shading. Hmm. What have you been up to? <laughs> Alex is referencing the fact that when uh, when Alex went to college, they were a woman. That makes more sense. Just took the SATs. That's about it. Sounds intense. How do you think you did? I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. But then I realized how uncomfortable it was to sit at the edge of my seat, so I sat normally. <laughs> what? Just a little joke. Anyway, you look good. That's the joke. Maybe a few pounds heavier. Guessing you didn't major in exercise science. Har har, very funny. Liberal arts. Alex is getting owned. Great. What do you do with that? Uh, You're not supposed to ask that, uh, Michael, or, or whatever your name was. Have any fun plans? It's for not flight. Nothing really. Just got back yesterday. It got back yesterday. I missed that. Actually, that makes a bit more sense if you got back yesterday. I spent the day chasing a cat and exploring that old factory by the water tower. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Oh wow, that sounds awesome. I don't think they really sound like Michael at all, either of them. Hey, have you ever heard of urban exploration? There's this great <laughs> music website cuts out. www.onism1999.com. I think you'd really get a kick out of it. It's actually a really realistic way to sell the tone of like that that moment in the conversation hey have you heard of this thing and you haven't and the music cuts out in real life that that was actually pretty good these guys break into old buildings and take photos usually the places they explore have some sort of urban legend behind them or a ghost story most of the stuff is legit and pretty damn creepy did you say autism 1999 <laughs> he's beginning to yeek be careful michael don't make him fully yeek Someone sent me a video from there yesterday. What else do you know about that site? I uh, jack shit, frankly, dude. I was just making conversation. It's like a conspiracy theory support group. People from all over the world post about political conspiracies, local myths, stuff like that. You don't look so good, dude. Everything okay? 
Michael created Onism so he's advertising his site to Alex. 4chan, yeah, it's basically. It's something from that page. It's been screwing with my brain. That's just the brain rot, dude. You shouldn't spend so long looking at that. What exactly did you see on there that has you so freaked out? Elephant porn. But also... It, I don't know if you saw it or not. It was the one with the girl in the elevator. The one who gets lifted off the ground. That... That was supposed to be filmed locally. I couldn't bring myself to watch it, but all those sick bastards made the gif of her being thrown around like a rag doll. Poor girl. That probably would happen, to be honest. After that went up, everyone on the forum started acting strange, like a sort of darkness had come over the website. It was the first time something like that had been posted that people weren't immediately calling a fake. Something about the look of horror in her face. There's a sick part of people that want it to be real, you know? It's got dramatic really fast here. Like, they're both doing, like, the eyes closed pose. That site, but it's a site. Photon readings went negative. Yeah, I, Michael, when I first got to town and I saw that, I oh, there's part of me that wanted to tell Michael everything. The to, to get it all sprite. out in the open. But I couldn't bring myself to say it. There was something that felt personal, almost intimate, about my meeting with Sammy. Like in that moment of her disappearance. We were linked. It was from my eyes only. Her memory was from my thoughts only. Mm. But I needed to talk to someone about the situation, so I proceeded with caution. It is. It's like it's it's like really shitty Twin Peaks or something. I went all over that factory yesterday, and I swear the elevator in there was the same one as in the video. I know that sounds weird, but I really think that video. Was filmed there. Really? Oh. Okay, let's check it out then. What? He moved really? moving quickly you for the post. Go? Yeah, why not? Do you mind if we run to the camera shop in Frankton really quick? Oh, is it just me or is is his head like thirty percent taller than Alex's? Maybe that's part of why it's weird. Look at like the, the ratios there. Like his forehead is gargantuan. I was getting my camera repaired. If we go in, I'm gonna want to take pictures. Photos would be like gold on Onism. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's just go quick. That building isn't going anywhere anyway. Besides, the whole thing is probably a hoax. I checked the paper this morning, and there wasn't a mention of a missing Frankton girl. Yeah. Okay. Let's just not let anyone beat us to the punch. Like the police, or you know. Yeah, Michael. We got Michael. And permanent earthbound cave ambiance. Two D man in a three D world. It he he does look like two D. I can't describe it. Except that he's shaded differently. But I don't know if that's all. Pizza pasta. Oh yeah. No way. They opened up an arcade in Frankton. <laughs> immediately distracted. That's awesome. Wow. How long has this been here? They opened it about three weeks ago. I still haven't gone in. I've been waiting until they fixed my camera so I could get some great photos of the place. I hear they have a bunch of import games. Import games? From where? In Japan, mostly. Game land. Aren't like all games made in Japan? Well, at least the good ones are. Although there are some good RTSs on PC I've been playing lately, and I'm pretty sure those are made in the US. What is that referring to? I don't know the history of RTSs well enough to uh to pick up on the reference. Is there like is, is Warcraft go back that far? Yeah, bl Blizzard, yeah, yeah, Activision Blizzard. Command and Conquer. Yeah? I never got into those kind of games myself. Oh I've my god, I game. don't care. It's like both the characters are Alfies. RPG games are and they're just going to the keep best. talking to each other and it's not going to be awkward. Chrono Trigger, Lufia 2, Secret of Mana. I've those games played are like the that. Holy grail of my youth. 
Well, I, I played Chrono Trigger, you know? <laughs> I seriously don't think I'd be the person I am today if it wasn't for them. Are they allowed to use that name? Like, isn't that trademarked? Uh, whatever. They know what they're doing. Ever play Two Brothers? Oh, that's the, the developer's previous fucking game here. Yo, guys, play Ram. That's play Ram, guys. It's a RPG, although its focus really isn't on combat. Two Brothers? But if they just start talking about Undertale here, they just start talking about Undertale for like half an hour. They just keep talking. Nope. That's a terrible name for a game, though. Sounds like a diner or a pizza place. Those guys really should work on their naming conventions. <laughs> they're, they're not wrong. Anyway, let's hit up the arcade really quick after we get your camera. Two Brothers is like a game from the, the Rick and Morty improv commercials. The creepy music's still playing. Step in to smell that combination of grease and bio. Right, let's not do that. Let's go to yeah, the. Yeah, let's do that then. Okay, let's really? yeah. Grease and bio, dude. Uh. I've changed my mind. Have you heard of this game? It's pretty underground. It's called Undertale. The fuck they take so long to get through. Arcade, pizza, pasta, burger joint, sport, record shop, camera store. Very, um, Spamton value network kind of aesthetic. Tim and Eric kind of. Hello? Are they? Oh, they're goths. I see. I was like, are they wearing clothing? What do you want? Oh, there's a dialogue option? Is this the first one in the whole game? What time is it? What the fuck? Let, let's see if she says, uh, don't flame prep. Psh, really nice. Someday you too will know the taste of unquenchable sadness. Like when your game bombs. Uh, is that a monkey up there? Oh, wait. If I oscillate really quickly, we can view the monkey. It's frame perfect though. It's like uh, doing a super swim in Wind Waker. If Linkus was here, he'd show you. And there's jack shit back here. Oh, I can still throw the cat though, sick. The pizza pasta store. OCD mother. That's, is that a, a title you get? What, what an interesting. How many times am I supposed to look both ways? I didn't get the toy I wanted with my meal. The woes of suburban life, really, truly. Attractive female? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Alex got those awooga eyes. Alright. Let's just be friends, okay? Wait, did she friend zone Alex before he said anything? Like he just approached and looked at her, and then she preemptively friend zoned him just in case. <laughs> she read the prompt, like the caption on her own dialogue box, and friend zoned us. All right. Well, at least the cheeseburgers are here to keep us company. What about this one? Single female. There are no good guys in Frankton. I'm never gonna get married. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't think about you that way. Well, you, you said it directly to my face, huh? Oh, it's Futaba. I, I remember this one. I, I I remember her from Persona Five. Who's this dude? Old people get short in this town. I've been standing here all morning looking at that babe across the street. Think she's single? That's a tree, sir. It's... Do you, do you have glasses? Like, this is this is a tree. Have you seen my husband? Please, if you see him, let him know he really is going to catch it for abandoning me like this. I don't know. 
These, these NPCs are weird, man. <laughs> the, the girl's opinion is fair because the options are just Alex and Michael. Nobody can park in this godforsaken town. Record stop. Oh, yeah. Friend's husband is always going away on business. I'm starting to suspect something. So records in the 90s, like, they were retro even in the 90s, right? They had, like, cassettes and their Sony Walkmans and stuff then, right? So even now, this is, like, kind of a hipster activity. The uncanny music fits the NPC dialogue. Um, did, did Toby Fox write one of these, like an Omori? Where's the Toby Fox song, sir? Do you have any by Toby Fox? Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Can you expl no, explain, go back. What did you just do? What action did you perform? That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I recognize this guy from some screenshots. He's a party member, I think. The non-Euclidean backflip. Into, like, I... The interpretation that I formed was that he keeps, like, a shallow... Like a kiddie pool, like an inflatable pool of water behind the counter that he can flop into. I, I don't know. Okay, Sergeant Salty. Well, these are just the ones I already have. These are trash. See you soon. Sex magic. Are these any, like, good references here? Ugly Duck. I, I don't really know classic rock references, I'm afraid. Um, some of these are fucking weird. Toby Fox worked on this game just now figuring this out. He did one song, I believe. This looks like the um, those enemies that spawn during the Blood Moons in Terraria. And or the the Dig Dogger from Zelda 1? I'm not sure. Apparently it's Jazz, though, whatever it is. Wait, there's a, a customer here. Ever since I heard the new Back Alley Boys track, everything else sounds lame. Down bad for the Back Alley Boys. Which do you think a 12-year-old girl would like more? The Back Alley Boys are 126 degrees. This girl looks... it could be 12, maybe, I just... Did she just dive into the, uh, the nook to escape me? Oh, she did. What a weird thing to deliberately put in... Oh, it's a bit glitchy, though. Hang on. Wait. It seems like she's trying to get out of your way, but it's, like... Slightly buggy? I, I don't know. She smells your beer. <laughs> Here's the vibe. Are these our party member weapon stores by any chance? Camera, record, photo check. I want it, but I cannot afford it. You wouldn't understand. Huh? I'm very familiar with being poor. Oh, this is a guy. Oh, Michael, I have your camera right here. Thanks. What is his beard? I've received an X87 digital camera. Welcome. I could buy a shittier one if I wanted. That's good. See you soon. Welcome. Wait, no, I, I was leaving. Let me out. Okay. I'm not stealing. Go away, hipster scum. So they don't call me a prep, but they know I'm a hipster. But I guess that works. Uh, nice stock photos. Pretty cool. Can I rummage through his trash can? No. Is 
You read that as a quantity. You obtained 87 digital cameras. <laughs> They're one-time use. Sports. It's very aggressive. Sports. You will enjoy sports. Does walk into the burger joint count as cardio? I don't know, man. It's the same guy. Where, wait, that's the same guy outside. Oh no, he has different colored hair. It looks like it's the same guy. Welcome to the burger joint. We sell burgers. The power stance on the girl? See you soon. Where's the power stance? Oh yeah. She's really posing there. I wonder if he knows. He doesn't know. What, what doesn't he know? Oh god, I hope she doesn't know. I wonder if he knows. What are they- what the fuck are you talking about? What's their deal? Is my fly unzipped? Can I- It looks like it's zipped. He doesn't know. I don't. I really don't know. Maybe they're talking about the secret treasure chests behind the store. Oh, I opened these already. Oh, this connects. I see. They're secretly cheating on each other. Is that the joke? It's a weirdly kind of boomer comedy moment. If so, I didn't interpret that as being the joke. Does Alex have a cum jar? If he does, we haven't seen it in his bedroom or his inventory yet. Sports. Crash the game, Alex. Kick the balls until the game crashes. Oh, the fucking camera. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oof. 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 I wish they could dub in some, like, source engine physics jank sounds. Lift it up, Alex. Lift it. Do it. Oh, there we go. Why won't you lift it? Hello, sir. May I purchase this ball? Welcome. Uh, Propeller beanie. I don't have a hat yet. I might as well buy one. What does it do? Five defense? Oh, that seems like a lot, actually. Here, I'll take one. Will that be all? Enjoy your purchase. See you soon. Sports? Oh, it's it's lurping. I can't pick it up when it's lurping. Hmm. It's not a lot to do in the shops. You shop. And throw cats at people. What do you think of this, guys? I can throw a cat at you. He doesn't give a shit. Buy the bike? <laughs> Deploy the cat. They're not impressed. Fuck, run. Uh, Memorial Park. All right. Who is this dude? He looks like looks like fucking I Dubs. If you are not interested, meet me at the park tonight. That's a pharmaceutical rep. That's what my dad does. Um. Oh, is he that kind of pharmaceutical rep? Independent pharmaceutical ventures. If you catch my drift. You just keep the cat? Yep. Why did you give that guy a vine sound still? It's supposed to be Idub's Fafferty Talber voice. My grandson asked my advice for some romantic things to say to his new girlfriend. That's the end of the story. Goodbye. Swing. Swing, Alex. Swing. Operate the... Oh. He doesn't want to. 
One ungrateful brat, two ungrateful brats, wait. Where's number three? I hate my kids. Did my heart love till now? Or swear it sight, for I ne'er saw true beauty till this night. Uh, isn't he so romantic? He wrote that just for me. Sick. Um, oh right, there was the girl in the elevator. I was so distracted by the arcade that I kind of forgot about that for a minute. Let's just head right back to that. Look at him go. He's just vibing for a minute. He said he wanted to go in and huff the, uh, like, the Smash Bros. B.O. from the arcade, but, um, I'm not really interested in that. Wait, let's check out the arcade first. Alex is forcing my hand. What if I just went directly here without going to the arcade? Could I have done that? It's railroading me into the arcade side quest. Oh yeah, let's play some hide lied. Flip the shit switch, crank the diarrhea dial. We got uh, shit. I forget. I forget the quote. Damn it. Oh, that's the girl from Persona Four. Yes, this place is the bomb. He's yeeking. He's yeeking. Back off. Wow, this is a lot better than I expected. Michael's There's miking so too. Beat arcades around. Does that girl live in Frankton? What is she? Does her face just rest like that? I don't think I've ever seen her before. I don't know. She's ancient anyway. She's ancient? How can you tell? Everyone looks the same age in this game. What do you think she is? 26? They're like screaming. Hey now, that's really not that much older than me, dude. Is this supposed to be noisy in here? That's why they're screaming? You're ancient too. Like the voice actors got like this written note that was like scream the dialogue in this scene. Let's come back here later. We should get to the Okay, good fucking idea, Alex. Look at him go. I hope you get like a, you know, seven league boots or something later. I'm missing a run run button. The windmill village. Why is this here? The voice actors got direction. I don't know. Probably some. It's always funny to picture like in those old Japanese like Sonic Adventure and stuff where the voice actors by most accounts really were just given some like lines with no communication, no context for what they were supposed to be saying. Just read them please. That's how you got the good shit back in the day. You missed a lot of yeeking around? I feel like nothing's happened so far. Like we went to the spirit world, we met a girl, she got sucked out of an elevator. But I'm not sure why, and, and neither is Alex, or, and Alex isn't really even sure how he feels about that, or how to react to that yet. It just sort of happened. What will you do? Save. Yep. We got particles. The particles, though. So is this a hotel or a factory? It was a factory, but now it seems to be a hotel. Mel will play Isaac while I yeek around. What character should you go with? Um, I don't know. If you want one off the beaten path... Uh, go for an Eve run. That's Edmund McMillan's favorite character, apparently. We oh, it's something we God. Never could have imagined. A being made of stars. 
oh, I, I, I fucking zoned out and I just walked in here and I just, I just caught up to what was happening. Like, wait, we walked to the door and like the, the man is here, right? Something's happening. The entire galaxy, no, the universe maybe, compressed into the silhouette of one entity. Kind of like the Elden Beast from that one popular game. It hadn't noticed us at first. We were as insignificant to him as the trillions of stars at its core. Combat? Soul Survivor. Good thing Michael's here. Um, show him your record, Alex. It's protected by an unknown force. Uh, Michael knows kung fu, it looks like. Uh... What the fuck was that, Michael? I probably should have dodged that. Other way. Oh, it doesn't do that much damage. Run away. He's going. Oh, there's a custom sprite. Look at that. That's cute. I'm surprised it lets me. Well, that was easy. Alex runs away. Okay, bye. What will you do? Nothing, I guess. I don't know. It's, it was coming after me or something. Uh... Okay, I guess we'll go back. Oh shit, I cancelled it again. I'm getting Cape Horror aboard. Wait, okay. Now go to lobby. Nah, uh, you guys gonna... React to that? Okay, um... Why did that happen, but it doesn't feel like it happened? How does this game do that? Things happen, and then it feels like they didn't happen. I've never encountered that before in any piece of media, I think. Can we go back? Love the thumbnail for the stream? Thank you. Show it to the automatic Animorph cover generator app that exists for some reason. This is just what the 90s were like. How long is this loading screen? Has it crashed? What happened? Hello? Is this diegetic? I think the game crashed. Hmm. Okay. Let me uh, fix that. That's unfortunate. Yeeked too hard. Uh, right. By the way, the it has a graphics quality options on on startup, but there's only one option, and it's post modernized. I guess it's a joke. Just when Yeek was getting good. All right, we are back. We get to do that scene again. Showed us to Jerry, by the way, buried in the sand over there. I don't know what he's doing. And there's like the obelisk, the tormentor to the left. I didn't notice him either. The game crashing is symbolic and postmodern. All right. Let's do that again. They're yeeking the night away. Yeeking the night away. Yep, there he is. Okay, bye. 
Oh, oh, yeah. I feel like I have to probe the boundaries of, like, how breakable this cutscene is, because it's already broken once unintentionally. You take a whiskey yeek, you take a vodka drink, you take a cider yeek, you take a- Oh, I fucked that up already, shit. You get yeeked out! You eek out again! Etc. He's still here, he's just waiting. Uh, this looks like off, which was listed in the explicit list of inspirations. Um, we're in like zone one here. Um, good thing the game said explicitly that it was referencing off so that we knew. We saw something we I thought I could sneak past it. A being made of stars. The entire galaxy, no, what is, the universe. What does this do? Compressed into the silhouette of one entity. Meh. It hadn't noticed us at first. He yeeks the songs that remind him of the good yeek. He yeeks about, about the better. Uh, what? He yeeks about the better yeeks. You broke the flow, dude. I can't read that. Alright, now we immediately run. He's coming. Oh, Lord. What is that? Dude, I thought it would go over me. What's the point of having the bouncy obstacle that doesn't bounce over you? All right, you you run, Michael. They each get their own sprite. Wow. Oh fuck, it's coming. That one went over me. Can I move side to side in that maybe? Oh, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, I wonder if I can like kite him. Let's try. Uh... Oh no, he does not. He's on rails. Alright, this time I'm gonna save and then go back up. In case that's just like guaranteed crash for some reason. Oh, it worked this time. Oh, there he is. Look, I can get past him now. Free loot. I spotted something. Obtained holy water and ambrosia. Nice. And the Zelda pots. Oh. Those are very um, Legend of Zelda minish cap looking pots, if you know what I mean. Unrelated, but I'm, I, I'm a big fan of uh, minish cap, actually, as a Zelda game. I feel it's underappreciated. It has a very nice art style. Probably should have saved in a different spot. It was a, f a fine spot. You can play Minish Cap on the Switch? Oh yeah, they, they released a expansion pack or something. Minish Cap is short and easy. Yeah, but I, I don't play Zelda games for the difficulty. It's just a fun time. I like the... um. It, it's in the sort of Link to the Past school. There's a slight like Metroidvania vibe about it. Very slight. Where you get like items and you can unlock all these things that you saw around the world and be like, oh shit, what was that? There was this funny dirt hallway that I hadn't opened yet. What the hell was that? Now the reaction. See, the, the reaction was it, delayed. What the hell is going on? The voice what? actors are giving it. What just happened? Yeah, like, you. What? Just. Can you even believe what just happened? Oh man, dude! We need to get your photos developed! They developed. took a photo? This thing is digital, baby! Ah. So what now? Do we just leave? I'm gonna go with... Yes! Wow. I think we went uh, too far in a few places. Chapter 2. That was chapter 1! Once again, I had left the old factory. Frightened. And confused. I'm definitely confused. Once again, I didn't have Sammy with me. 
Tip, did you leave the stove on? <laughs> Wait, that was just for a fraction of a second. Since when did this game even have loading screen tips? As I waited outside of Michael's house for him to get his transfer cable, I couldn't help but be uneasy. I still didn't know where Sammy was, and all we had found was more mystery. Indistinguishable, right? Okay, dude, let's go upload these! My mom's on the phone, so if you want to go online, we'll have to go back to your house. Sorry about all the back and forth here. At least now you'll remember where I live. It's the one with the huge sign. Joke's on you, Michael. I don't even remember where I live. I'm gonna become a fucking... Ronaldinho soccer champion by the end of this, though, let me tell you. Nailed it. Hey, Michael, wanna play in my tire swing before we go inside? It's pretty sick. I also hate my entire house's internet cuts out because someone's using the phone. Fortunately, I didn't have to actually be alive for much of the 90s. Thankful for that. Well, Alex Yixoxer! For the photos, we began to talk. I was talking to my cousin about this recently. The lifelong implications of seeing something actually, undeniably supernatural. Specifically, your reflection doing something that you were not doing. He has a six-year-old daughter. She's really precocious. Apparently, she told my cousin that when she looked into the mirror, she was smiling, but that she knew she wasn't smiling. When I thought about that, I knew it would destroy any respect you had for the rules of life or the boundaries of what could happen. I asked him what he said, and he just shrugged his shoulders and said, Eh, kids say weird shit. I pushed him a little bit on the subject later on after he had a few drinks in him, and he said that it scared him to picture his daughter and another version of his daughter in the mirror, smiling when the other looked so miserable. He told me that his wife said his daughter was just confused, that she probably felt sad but was smiling from having fun playing. So inside, she wasn't smiling, but outside, she was. Maybe she couldn't understand what it meant to look happy outwardly, but feel inwardly depressed. Like as if her vocabulary wasn't enough to express depression, but I don't know. She is a smart kid, and somehow I felt wrong. Her reflection smiled at her? That's really creepy. Have you ever had any other experiences with paranormal stuff? Like before? Not really. I've always had a bit of an interest in it. I always thought that these sort of things follow certain people around. Like there's something that's Is this what guys talk person, to each other about? Them to see all the weirdness that others miss out on. You just say that with a lot of affection. I don't know. It's just kind of been my thing for a while. Conspiracies, ghosts, missing people, things like that. When did you first get into this sort of thing? I can't remember one thing that really pulled me in. My parents always fell asleep watching TV. They used to sneak into their room and watch those missing persons shows while they were sleeping. Once your mom finally got internet to Frankton, I started checking out some of the more paranormal websites. Oh. Before long, I realized that the information was too scattered. I spent a few weekends learning HTML, and before I knew it, Onism 1999 had over 15,000 hits. She actually week. did make it. That wasn't a joke. Wait, you were involved with making Onism 1999? You didn't know that? I figured that's why you kept talking to me about the missing Asian girl. No, I just needed to get all that off Wait, my didn't chest. Michael bring that up? Look, Michael, I need to be entirely honest with you, but... Yeah, just promise me you won't think I'm insane or anything. We're, okay, we're well past enough. that, Alex. What did you lie about? I met the girl who went missing. Her name is Sammy. I think Asian being capitalized is correct. Cat, the abandoned Isn't factory, it? and I found her there. She had been looking for her cat. I just assumed the cat hung out there and she had gone in to try and find him when he didn't go back home. But the thing is, she said some really strange stuff. Stuff about living in the factory, pretending not to know what elevators were. Well, okay, maybe not pretending. I think she really didn't know what they were. There were weird gaps in her knowledge that I had interpreted as her being quirky, but now I wonder if there was actually something really wrong with her. 
You saw her yesterday, right? Sore. So you saw her after she went missing? That's actually a good thing, Alex. This means she wasn't taken by some serial killer or a rapist. It means she was swallowed up by a being made of stars and planets. How is that better? <laughs> the actual conclusion is that Alex is just the kidnapper. <laughs> so what was her last name? Did she tell you that much? Maybe we can check online for a missing persons report. You could call the police and tell them you know where the video was taken. I don't know. Oh yeah, fuck. Still Chat point that you can see Alex's that... neck like, jiggles when he talks what, because his dialogue spray goes down Dude, all the way to the neck. I don't know. That would be a pretty specific dream. So you think you went into the factory, came home, and then had a really realistic dream where you met a missing girl you hadn't seen before? But... <sighs> you see, she didn't exactly look like the girl in the video. She didn't? There was something skeletal about her appearance. Something otherworldly. I couldn't notice because of the low-poly art style, Alex. Yeah. Dude, just forget I said it. Did the pictures upload? Yeah. Let me pull them up. How is this possible? They completely distorted the photos! Holy shit! Okay, well, yeah. This is pretty otherworldly. <laughs> it was as if Hi, someone Alex. cracked an egg over my head. And what trickled out was hot dread. A feeling of pure anxiety. What is specific simile? All of my fears were confirmed. What I was Oh, I had it in autoplay, I think. There was no doubt about it. Oh, that's why they wouldn't shut up. Okay, I accidentally enabled, like, autoplay. I was like, okay, I guess they're streaming for me now. I have no agency. Uh. Yeah. We. Yes, Alex. Yes, that you, you were frightened. That was a tip for, like, four frames. Uploaded the photos to Onism 1999 and waited for an explanation. One of those is just going to be my IP address. We had our doubters, but more people wanted to believe than not. And with each reply, Sammy got pushed further away from the forefront of the discussion. What exactly was the photo of? It'd be nice to see, like, I explained what the, the photo was. was. The same one from the elevator girl video. That everyone was more concerned by the creepy figures in the photo. But what creepy figures? Each time my little mailbox turned red, I slowly realized that everyone on this forum wanted the content to be true. Like, I was there for it, but I don't know what he's talking about. The photo of the star man? That's only one, that's... Is that a creepy figure? That's just a fucking galaxy monster sitting in a room. A few people tried to explain why the photos were distorted. But most people believed it to be ghosts. Or the devil. Or other stupid things like that. The four second tip explained the whole plot. Damn it. Oh, I said four frames. If it was four seconds, I could have read it. I considered myself something of a philosopher in college. Yeah. I thought I had answers. But now that I've come face to face with the otherworldly. Joke's on you, Alex. I did that in middle school. I know now that every person who tells you about spirituality, dead people and all that have no idea what they're talking about. Someone told a lie and it somehow stuck. I told the truth and it just gets muddied up by that same ancient myth. With the exception of my post, most of the things on that forum seemed like lies. It wasn't until about two weeks after my post when a user posted something about a girl who could rip holes in time and space. Two weeks? We Two weeks skipped? What? Two weeks? During a monologue? We've but lapsed two weeks into the future, apparently. I wouldn't have believed it myself, but he had photos. And we had seen the girl before. The pacing is incredibly strange. Uh, the tip. So you realize we've seen this chick before. But wait, right? no, this isn't two weeks in the future anymore. This is still the same scene. Or is it? Oh, really? Where? She wait. He was monologuing for two weeks. <laughs> I knew you'd get there eventually. It's that old lady from the arcade. I think this is two weeks in the future. They're just sitting in the exact same spot, doing the exact same thing as two weeks ago. Jeez, enough of that old crap. She's probably the, our age. They pressed the Skyrim wait key and, and input two weeks and just like tick, 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 tick. With like the, the, the seasons changed around them. And they're still here. 
posting on the Supernatural forum, but poo-pooing people who say the ghosts are real is a funny character shot. <laughs> it is it's kind of funny, yeah. It's, it's very specific. Like, I, I've seen real Supernatural shit. Your, your Supernatural shit is bullshit. Like, you're all fake. I've seen the real ghost. It's a really interesting way to take it. Like, you, you believe less in Supernatural conspiracies because you've personally seen it, and you know that the uh, existing ones are inaccurate. Don't let me in with you 20 songs. Oh. I have a bright future ahead of me. Is this his character theme or something? Like, why saxophone? Oh, if only you knew. Just wait till you're done with college. You'll be... You, you'll, your face will get slightly more anti-aliased, and then who'll be laughing then, Michael? Boring and fat like the rest of your graduating class? I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, I will continue to be my interesting, slim, nubile self. Fuck, he's nubile. Nubile. <laughs> they just go statement. back. Anyway, <laughs> why did they slide off the bottom of the screen? That was like I was editing for a second. Wow, it's just so unbelievable. Is he a high schooler? I think he's supposed to be like, yeah, like nineteen or something. What is the likelihood that this is a thing? It's incredibly unlikely. But since we've got nothing better to do, let's say we visit Ye Old Arcade for some air hockey and interview an interdimensional traveler. So wait, the plot, the plot is that they waited two weeks and then some random person posted a photo on the forum or a post on the forum about an unrelated girl who could bend space-time and that was the girl from the arcade in their own town. Who posted the story? Did they also live here? Like, do we not know them? Where did the information come from? It's it's like Papyrus calling every phone number sequentially until he gets frisks. It's like they just had to sit at their computers for two weeks until by random chance someone gave the lead to them on the on the forum through an unrelated coincidence. <laughs> That's so fucking weird. And it happened to be like right outside their house. Like they could have just gone outside themselves and done it. Most people on the forum live near here since Michael invented it? That's not really how the internet works, is it? Is that how the internet worked in the 90s? You you went door to door and handed out URLs on like rolled up newspapers? Alex's mom recently brought the internet. Well, that doesn't matter about to that though. That's a funny specification, by the way, is Alex's mom personally did it. It's like Mayor Holiday personally installing the traffic lights. Hey, it's this guy. You know how to get to the park? All the old guys say the park is the place to be. Are, are you the old lady's husband? You're labeled missing husband in the UI, so I think, can I just like, push you over? Apparently not. So the reason it railroaded us into going to the arcade a second ago was just to show that that one girl behind the counter so that we'd know who she was when she came up like 10 seconds later after the two-week time skip. I, I I see, I understand, but it it doesn't make sense. Maybe it's Maybelline. Why did you post that? They didn't know anything about her, they just drooled over her, but yes. Oh, cutscene, cutscene. So, you gonna talk to her? Are you kidding me? That's totally your job. Just man up and say something to her. I... Nah, I, I don't think I should. Cool looking game. It'd be, uh, good for you to learn to talk to girls before you go away to college. I know how to talk to girls, but she is a senior citizen, man. What is she, like, 27? Ew. That's your thing, man. <laughs> They're diegetically screaming the lines and she could hear. I told you to cut it out with the age crap. <laughs> She's probably no older than 24. It, it's, it's actually retroactively funny if she can and hear besides, them. Besides, aren't you the nubile one? You're much more desirable. Hmm, yes, that's true. This is the original gamer girl, you're right. Back in the old days, you had to hunt for gamer girls at the arcade. In this this smelly, body odor drenched arcade with the laser tag lighting. 
Listen here, boys. We have a zero creeping on women policy here. It's normally not an issue because no women go here, but... If you'd like to ogle some women, I'm sure your mothers would love it if you were home in time for supper. Duh! It's not that. <laughs> it's just we have this photo of you that we were... You've been taking photos of me? He's eeking. Wow. You guys are even more screwed Oh, it's a mis misunderstanding. Oh, I was gonna get it at this one, guys. I was gonna get it at this one. Can't say you'd be the first pervs like thrown out of this place. Torch. Most paints are toxic. Therefore, drink as much as possible. Ah! Something about mysterious Bella. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> All right. Apparently, that's what you do. Uh. Uh, fight, defeat, beat her, strike her. She also monologues, great. Why is that one so hard? It seems easy. <laughs> okay, I get the mini game. Fuck. She only takes one damage, holy shit. Why is she so strong? She's gotta be over leveled to join your party. Mysterious Vela, that's her full like legal name. This one's hard. All but critical hit. How much damage did that even do? But now I have to mash? Oh my god. I died in real life. 88 damage. Ah. Uh, perfect. Come on. Knock her out in one hit. She's invincible. Unwindable. So the, the nano machines harden in response to weirdos yeeking around. Okay, okay, we give in. Just, he's off. We didn't mean to be creepy. Then why were you taking photographs of me? Hey, we didn't take the photos. Someone on the internet did. Someone who also lives in this town and is, I don't know, statistically probably standing in the same room with us right now, hypothetically speaking. Someone on the internet? What are you talking about? If you'd stop slamming our heads together for one minute, we'd love to explain. <sighs> okay. There's this website where people post conspiracies and other weird things, and there's this photo of you, like, exploding things with your mind. Where was the photo taken? That's what I'm getting hung up on. Exploding things with my mind? Like, was she on vacation to Vermont that week? I haven't done that in a while, so I'm sure it's an old photo. So you're not denying that you can do that? Of course I can't. Not with my mind, at least. This goes against all the better judgment I have in me, but can you take me to a computer to show me these photos? Did you see the photo? No, we did not. I have a feeling they're like, they're somehow working with like limited art assets here, which is strange because like the world seems to be pretty, you know, lavishly designed. But yeah, they seem sure. like reluctant to actually show you visual here. examples of things. But first... DDR. Please DDR. Please! Okay. Ski ball? No. I don't want to fuck with that guy. Can I play any of these? Bummer. Looking for answers? Too bad! The hint is now gone. Can I steal a bike? Save.
There's a secret baseball mini game in the arcade. Really? Well, I gotta find it. Oh, is that a ticket on the floor? I spotted something. I obtained a dollar. Hell yeah. The cameras. Whoa. Whoa. Woo. Wet school. What? What do you mean? What school? Where? Do you live here? Do you have parents? Never mind. Uh. Baseball. 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 Give me the baseball. Gamer chick. She's clearly seven years old. No way. I can't lose. <laughs> These kids all look like the. <laughs> The fucking dream cartoon kid uh, from the song. Blonde Gamer. Pew pew! They're all the same guy. They're, they're the, the, the point of the mask children. I, I don't even know what the, how the fuck to refer to that. Ah, I'm, I'm trapped in the camera. Uh, wait, can I... I'm playing DDR, like, extra diegetically. Look at him go. <laughs> ah. Okay, I don't, I don't think there's a baseball mini game somehow. D is the girl in our pocket now? Did we absorb her biomass? I guess we go back to my house. It would be a lot nicer if there was like a public computer or something instead of just my bedroom. Them's the brakes though. Summon panda in the arcade. I can do that in the overworld, I forgot. Like I can just make a fucking panda. What do you think of that? What do you think of that dipshit? I made a panda. Yeah? He's on your head now. Someone opened a dark fountain in the town's computer lab. That is too bad. Oh, at least it's in our living room. Well, that's me. Just... I don't know when these were taken. How exactly do you explain all the blowing stuff up with your mind things? Can you really do that? How, what is the photo of? Like, I can't picture what this photo would actually depict here. How do you depict the act of someone blowing something up with their mind? It's like you'd get that as a, a charade hint and just be stumped immediately. How do you depict that? It's not exactly with my mind. I use sound. Remember when I kicked your ass earlier? I use the sound of my keytar to deal physical damage. Very well. I will go along with this. If you study the physical properties of sound, you can learn enough about acoustics to both heal and damage objects orally. Very well. I will go along with this. did you want to do this. something like that? Oh, years of private practice and studying, really. Huh. So tell me more about this website. Maybe what that's what all those vocal coach and YouTube channels let you do. Basically, it's a place on the internet for people to talk about conspiracies, the occult, and anything supernatural. <laughs> Seems like something boys would like. Do you recognize the location from these photos? It's confirmed. That is what guys talk about when they're together. That's behind the old grocery store. Obviously, you've been there before. Wait, there's a grocery store? Hmm. Interesting. Where's the grocery store? I still need to pick up some celery. Uh, what's your name, by the way? I can My see it on the dialogue box. Um, it's interesting to meet you. It's a, it's a name? I'm guessing you're a cameraman, and this is your sidekick, Ginger Boy? Usually I go by Alex. Only my mom is allowed to call me Ginger Boy. It's a zinger, Alex. She really gets us. You really would be my sidekick, Alex. Cameraman by day, Michael by night. 
continuing with, with the persona metaphor, this guy is like, um, who's the dipshit, like the blonde guy from Persona 4? The, uh, the, the first, the first dude. He's kind of the same guy as that, I think. Right. So, why do you two spend all your time on such odd websites? Yosuke? Uh, no, that's from Persona 5. He's not Yosuke. He's not, he's not cool enough to be Yosuke. Michael and I spent the next hour or so recounting the events of me finding Sammy, and us running into the star creatures inside of the old factory. It, it would take an hour, realistically, yeah. Ryuji is Persona 5, but I said Persona 4. But isn't Yusuke from Persona 5? But... But no, the, the, the guy from Persona 4, who is like Ryuji, but in Persona 4. That's the guy, I mean. What, Yosuke and Yusuke are different people? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> they really just made two guys whose names differ by one vowel sound. All right. As we told the story, Ellen just looked into my eyes and never reacted. I first began with trepidation. As it went on, I could tell she was doing her best to understand my story. Yosuke is the dude who has a scrap romance arc, the true crime of P4. D didn't that dude like devolve more and more into like weird goblining out over like uh, the, I don't know, <laughs> another Persona 4 character with the lust arc is what I mean. Something felt familiar about her, but not in the I've met her sort of way, something deeper. I dated a girl in college who was a women and gender studies major. She told me that she believed men and women were all the same at our core. Wait, I, I missed how we got into this. Why are you talking about that your... That we were all made of the same elements. Not just on a physical level, but in a metaphysical level. She was a strong believer in spirituality. Although she'd be the first to tell you she wasn't religious. <laughs> she told me she believed everyone had soulmates. Plural. A series of people we were compatible with. In her theory, this applied to friendship as well as romantic relationships. That's really cool, Alex, but who asked? She said that when the universe was created, all matter was one object. And that since we're all matter, we are all the same. She said that she believes our soulmates were cut from the same section of that initial piece of matter. Okay, how long does this go on for? That unexpected feeling of familiarity you feel when you meet someone for the first time means you were meant to meet. This reminds me of that time I got stuck on a shift at the university library with a girl who just talked about like astrology for four hours straight. It was really awkward. I personally didn't believe it. I still don't think she has all her facts straight. But every time I feel what I felt when Vela looked in my eyes, I thought of this explanation. That's your first thought. Did you manage to speak with the entities? All right, she knows about the entities now. The entities? Uh, I guess you mean the star creatures. <laughs> Dork just says, dude's kind of simping. <laughs> Three words to replace all of that information. <laughs> dude's kind of simping. Yes, those are the ones. Yeah. No, we were too busy running for our lives. So well, actually, we went back to look several times. Did you try and take photographs of them, Michael? Yeah, let me pull them up. Vela told us things. Confusing things. Things that, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't have believed. Wait, she's telling you confusing things? You're the one dropping that we went to see the fucking Starman in the Void Beyond Time in the Abandoned Factory. What does she have to say to you that you don't believe? The way she spoke seemed two-sided. As if for a few moments, a side of her that she was trying to keep hidden was visible. And as soon as we noticed, she made to cover herself up. It would be nice to have seen that myself. She made jokes more often than she was serious. But when the serious aspect of her personality appeared, I was convinced that's who she really was. It's like the, more fascinating than the information she was giving us. It's like a Wikipedia article describing Sans. That's what we're reading. We're reading the Undertale wiki right now. That's the thing with people, isn't it? 
You can show them all the mysteries of the universe, but if they're distracted by the human element of the tale, they'll shift all of their attention there. self Which is why it's a good thing that none of the characters in the story feel like people. humans. You know? That's just how people are. I agree, Alex. My experience with them is limited, but what I've observed was powerful. So she knows about the entities. I understand that what I'm about to tell you will sound like a lie, so I ask you to look past but the But Alex just narrated the all truth behind them. She's going to tell us anyway. A short time ago, I entered into a dark place. We just rewound. Physically and metaphysically. While I was there, I encountered the entities for the first time. What Dork is drawing the parallel between this and Conkery Homestuck. Is that the one? Who the fuck was was he like the car cat ancestor? The the whole fucking flash was a, a fever dream. I've forgotten most of it. He's the one that just like rambled on like social justice rants for incredible lengths of time, yeah. I can't say what about their presence was so striking to me. But the moment I saw them, I felt something. Something that was weighted. Like their bodies took up the entirety of the room, as if they were the room. That's cool. At first, I approached one and we spoke. However, the contents of the conversation isn't important to the story. Something I said upset it, and it tried to grab me. It was almost like a mother trying to smother its child. Does that happen often? The pain was beyond description. It scared me to death. The entity was incredibly heavy. I managed to break free, but the weight of the thing remained on me. And for the entirety of the following week, it was as if someone was twisting a drill inside me. My head would throb, and the pain felt bone deep. You probably can't imagine what it was like, you two, but just the thought of the pain now brings tears to my eyes. I reflected on her story. I wanted to reply, but something inside me told me to let the words hang in the air. So instead, I filled the silence by monologuing toward the screen. It was as if the longer the pause between her words and mine, the more truth they carried. Luckily, I could allow for a very long pause. That's horrifying. But can you explain what you mean by entered a dark place? Or more importantly, physically and metaphysically? <laughs> Cut to David Lynch saying, no. I can understand doing it physically and mentally, but I need some help with the meta part. Just play Undertale. Metaphysical is a word. An adjective. Oh god, she's actually said. going to explain it. It means pertaining to or of the nature of metaphysics. Metaphysics is the branch of philosophy that includes the first principles, includes ontology and cosmology, and is intimately connected with epistemology. True. True, though. Epistemology is, of course, a branch of philosophy that investigates the origin, nature, methods, and limits of human knowledge. Thank you for the definition which I already knew. I was looking for something more concrete, more tangible. Oh yeah, I ship it. These two. OTP. I ship it. Let's go. I'm afraid that's all I feel comfortable telling you. They're perfect for each other. I don't other. know you at all, and to reveal something so personal seems like I'd be opening myself up to vulnerability. Do you mean to imply that you found a way to exist inside of a metaphysical space? That you... Almost like some sort of... Headspace? I don't know. Like some sort of... <laughs> dark world? I don't know. Like some sort of... <laughs> palace? I don't know. Enough! I don't need to talk about this with you. It makes me uncomfortable. Don't you get that? Okay, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to piss you off. The Dark World from Link to the Past, yeah. Look, I need to get back to the arcade. I was technically in the middle Remnants of the harking in chat? Where are you harking? I'm gonna write my number down. Call me if you see any more interesting comments on my photos or have a run-in with the entities. I just realized she kind of has like Sy Sylvester Stallone face. Like only half of her mouth opens. Oh, wait. I have one more question before you go. All right. How did you get to be so powerful? The music. Like both of us on and barely broke a sweat. The music changes seemingly at random. <laughs> you act as if that's impressive. Look, 
I've trained myself in the metaphysical space, inside of the mind, mind dungeon. dungeon. I like you two, so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Here's Some Holly kind of metaverse? Call it if you ever want to open your mind and expand your battle abilities. That's all I'll say for now. The guy on the other end can explain more. His name is Gaster. And the Mind Dungeon is now available. Do I want to go to the Mind Dungeon? It's vital. Okay, we're gonna have to visit the Mind Dungeon. The way I look at it, we have two things we need to do. Fuck's sake, man. I'm glad Sherlock Holmes never invited Watts into his Mind Dungeon. That would have been really kind of a, a strange episode. If we want to hang out with Vela again, we're going to need to train ourselves. We should be at least level 5. He didn't say that, because that would have broken the fourth wall, but that's what he would have said if he could have said that. Also, if we want to call her, we're going to need to search Onism 1999 for some interesting posts. I'm Alex. I've been living in a mind dungeon for as long as I can remember. Okay, simple enough. Go grind and then give Villa a call. <laughs> Go grind. Yeah, but don't forget to search Onism 1999 for some good posts. I'm not going to. That sounds She'll dumb. She'll probably hang up on you and kick our butts again if we don't have anything cool. Is that a game mechanic? Browsing fucking cool 4chan? Hang out with someone like her? Nope! I'm still growing and you're an overgrown man-child who can barely pick up a record. And also, my mouth looks like a turtle, kinda. It's kinda it's funny. So let's head out of Frankton and try to find some things to beat up. Sounds good. We should stock up on some healing items at the burger joint before heading out. Why is there just a grinding arc? Why are we actually supposed to go grind? What, what's the point of that? I thought this was a quirky, earthbound inspired RPG. You're not supposed to take inspiration from that part. Fuck off. I'm leaving. Hey! Just calling to see if you figured it out. It's every analog horror tape. I would love to just come out and say it, but I think it would scare you to death. And that would ruin everything. Nope. I haven't figured anything out. Look, if you're just gonna keep calling me and say vague, creepy shit, you should at least tell me your name. Oh, it's your best childhood friend. Lowie the flower. Who's that to when you met me? We were kids. I think losing my religion by I am had just become a big hit. My mom didn't want me listening to it because she was afraid it would turn me into a bad kid or something. I went over to your house and we listened to it on your stereo for hours. My mom came to pick me up from your house, heard the song, and freaked out. How can you not remember that? It was the funniest thing. The story was so specific. Right. It sounded so familiar. I can put the controller down while he does his it. thing. It was like I had read it in a book somewhere or watched it on a TV show. But still, no particular name or date came to mind. Yeah, you're right. You probably wouldn't remember that. Look, I'm going to keep calling you until you remember me. Remember what you used to say. Everything happens for a reason. That reason is nothing happens for any reason. The fuck? What a weirdo. <laughs> the most concise piece of Alec dialogue so far. He really nailed it. What a weirdo. That's really cringe. <laughs> Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? The game. Alright, it is now time to go grind in the field for level 5. I'm going. The reason that everything happens for a reason is that no reason is there for anything to happen for no reason, which is why everything happens for a reason reasonlessly. Sort of what he said. How do I get up there? 
Oh, I bet the cat can do it. There's a rat on there, which means it'll interact with my cat peripheral. Beautiful. You step on the rat. That's really cute, actually. I like that. It's like the egg in Omori. If you think about the mess, you cook that mess. Running shoes. Oh, do those make me go fast, though? Or do they just make me run from battle more? What does speed do? Is it is it like overworld speed? Because that's the best item in the game, if that's the case. Did it? I don't know if it's a placebo or not. I feel like it may be faster, but I'd, I have no idea. I have to time it, alright? I'll st Oh wait, shit. No, go back. Oh, I have to time the shoes. Shit. Shit. Okay, I want to use these posts as like um, a metric, but I can't go too far that direction. Okay, I'll start here. And I'll time it to the beats. I'll do eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got to the tree in eight beats with the shoes. If I take the shoes off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. There's no difference in speed. Oh well. The shoes do nothing. <laughs> I'm assuming speed is like a stat in battle that determines whether you go first or not, but I frankly don't give a damn. Forest meadow. What's in here? Oh, hello. That one clearing from Link to the Past? Um, lyrics. Why? Um, I need a Pokemon who knows Bic later to get past these. That's a very Omori obstacle, gotta say. Also a very earthbound obstacle, coincidentally. Speed determines whether you can dodge them. That's weird. The monster gun level 2. Oh. Good thing they've labeled them. The big rat. It's here. With the fucking rad battle music. I thought the city went into a karaoke stance. Poor. Hmm. Oh yeah, we're back to the mouth open technique. I missed that. He's the giant rat who makes all the rules. It's him. Yeah. God, even Micah looks like he's doing the hide the pain herald face or something. The music is good in this game, yeah. The music is usually good, even if a game isn't. It often has good music. That's just kind of how it works. Uh, the skull. It's coming. It's coming. I guess I'm here to fight the skull. Oh yeah, that's the skull. <laughs> Wait, the way that's mixed, it makes me think that I made the noise, even though that's physically impossible. I know I didn't make a sound, but it sounds like I did. It sounds like the voice is coming from inside my own head. I don't know how they achieved that.
Michael's got the moves. I learned what mono audio sounds like on stereo headphones. That's not what mono is. I know what mono is. That's that's like they fucking did the uh, head-related transfer function to put it inside your skull. Or, um... No, I guess head-related transfer function puts it outside of your skull. It's weird. It sounds binaural and shit is what I'm saying. Feel my power, lame-ass humans. Human monster race conflict confirmed. I'm so much better at dodging the attacks than I am at timing the real attacks. Well, I say getting a perfect attack, so... They, they put the Eek audio right into your brain. It's neural linked in. He used a karate stance or something. One million XP. Has XP been a thing before? Like, I don't remember even seeing this. We haven't leveled up a single time, right? Unless you level up without it telling you? Yeah, it's like a realistic knocking sound. That's what I'm, tr I'm trying to say. You should be able to hear it if you're wearing headphones. Yet another battle song. Come on, one shot at Alex. Big attack! Michael seems significantly stronger than Alex. That was a reduced attack? What the fuck? These guys are cracked. I have to dodge, otherwise I die. What's your skill? Damage enemies. Is it like an AoE? Okay, I'm not gonna waste the AoE on the random skull. Fuck! Nice zero hit com combo, Michael. They managed to dodge the zero hit combo. That's really impressive. Perfect. Ouchie ouch. Okay, do that again. I know what I'm doing this time. Wait, only two hits? How do I do more hits? Just dodge every attack. Easy game. Shit. Well. There's like a a very faint amen break in the background somewhere. Uh, I guess Alex died. I could revive him. Um, I think you can buy this from the vending machine, so it's not like it's rare. Alex is ready to fight again. Michael's untouchable, he's a god. He also doesn't have a nose. Is that why his art is weird? Is because he doesn't have a nose? Shit. Alex, you really fucked up. Shit. This has gotten old pretty fast. Alex has succumbed to critical yeek levels. He yeeks too hard and for too long. We did it. I got extra 2 XP. Alright, let's defeat the boss. Eat these shitty things. Looks like they have a one minimum one HP of healing, which is nice. Mm. 
We yeeked it. Consider getting your micronutrients. Something about micronutrients. Love micronutrients. My favorite. Don't, don't even think about hearing about those macronutrients. Don't let the doctors try to sell you on their macronutrient bullshit. It's all about the micro. Kablooey. One million damage. Oh, we got Dodge Master Alex back on the scene. Despite how doofy the monologues were, I, I, I much prefer that to uh, just this for the next 20 minutes. I might just put it onto story mode. At least with Earthbound, you can play it for like some degree of like old school gamer cred, but... Yeek. Really? What's this? Do we get married here? Oh. We did it. We won. Okay. This game lets you, you navigate to the Mine Palace to level up. Oh, you have to talk to, like, Melina to level up. Okay. Gotcha. That was like directions to bake a pizza. Those are pretty funny tips, but unfortunately they, they appear for six frames each. You really have to read fast. Okay, where's the mind palace? Um, do I have a phone? I actually have to go to a phone. There's no cell phones in the 90s. What was there? Mind dungeon. Please come in. Oh, this this is where that screenshot comes from. It's um Krang Brain in the Vat. You want to change the way your mind works. Oh, that's how they okay. Reduced monologues recommended. <laughs> No, don't don't try to tempt me down the path of this of sin. Okay, who's this? Encourage your friends to level up. Encourage them? What do you mean? Michael is now level two. What? What? That's that's all that happens? You have to talk to the robot, then you just level up? There's not even like an animation? He's he's now level three. Okay, can I, how how many times can I do it? Just forever? Yep, all right. I guess by grinding they just meant pressing the robot over and over again. Yep, all right, level five. This is the debug room. <laughs> all right, level six. Who's the, the bird? Is this the one from the opening? Oh, Marlene. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. No, seriously, I'm fine. Please don't fret. My I voice wasn't that mean, far off. Although, that's just the name my parents gave me. Please call me Crow. It was pretty far off, but although it could have been worse. most people just call me Kay. You look confused. May I ask why? I'm playing oh, Geek. you don't say. Please forgive my rudeness. I don't mean to pry, but I can't help myself. Welcome to the Dungeon of the Mind. I imagine this is your first time here. Ah, I see. I see. Where should I begin? Well, first I should begin by saying in the fight between you and the Mind Dungeon, Back the Mind Dungeon. Oh. For all intents and purposes, the Mind Dungeon is the only thing that truly exists. Everything else is just shattered fragments of time and matter. I, I don't know if this is lore space. or like a metaphorical Remember tutorial. To save often, 
One advantage in keeping a diary is that you become aware, with reassuring clarity, of the changes in which you constantly suffer. Plus, it's never fun to lose progress. Well, good luck. I've this sounds like G-Man? I feel like this guy would have won the Gaster the voice competition that Mooks had in the server. I just have a feeling. I'm not really sure what I mean by that either. Lastly, in my pseudo-philosophical rantings, I forgot to mention something vital. Like this is a you may have heard Nick Nocturne vibes, you know. Dream. You should but be running like a like I should remind a spooky you, podcast. When you kill an enemy, it's dead forever. Killing enemies gives you experience points. Spend those experience points to open doors inside the mind dungeon. Oh. Remember though. You can decide not to kill any enemy and avoid the battle altogether. But we have to grind However, to level five. Doing so might not be wise all the time. Since you'll want to find experience points to spend on character upgrades. The lonesome dung eater. Crow got real excited there. Isn't this just the the Fallout Four perks screen? Hello? What's that? You can't be bothered. Did I just choose for you? No. Plus two. Plus one. Plus three. What is this shit? Pick the biggest number, Alex. Oh, you get to- this is each level you get to allocate a number to each stat. Okay. Um, damage, obviously. I found a strike on. My stra encased by three. Um. Wait, this isn't the actual HP number. This is the base HP stat, which probably scales through some abstract formula with the HP number. Okay. Uh, pee -pee. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of build I want for, uh, for Alex here. Um... Attack and defense are good. But two points in... HP? Glass cannon. Too late, I leveled HP. There? I did it. What happens now? You wish to level up, it will cost 100 XP. I have 600. Oh my god. We're gonna be here for a while. Only you can decide how you will grow from here. Choose wisely. This is an interesting system, I guess. What's this? Party found skill icon. I learned time energy. What does that mean? Alright, give a little bit of speed. I want to be able to dodge attacks. You have to level adaptability. Um, more attack, of course. Why did my speed go up so much? That was a plus 0.5. Can I just dump them all into strength? No, I can't. PP? I, yeah? I did it. The song is grating, but you like it? I think this is a version of the main theme. 
100. They don't increase in cost? How fucking deep is this dungeon? Is it gonna take an hour to walk back up? Two, strength. Oh yeah, glass cannon Alex. Here he comes. Uh, they're all plus one. Luck. Speed. Speed increases by four. Why does speed go up so fast? Or is it increasing to four? I'm not sure. Little bit of pee pee. You warp up, don't worry. Okay, that's good. Uh, we could be here for a while otherwise. I'm actually kind of hoping that it scales multiplicatively. If they're all 100, we could be here for a while. It looks like they're kind of all 100, though. <laughs> Are these randomly generated numbers? Like, why is it like this? Smooth jazz. You like jazz? I like jazz. Yes, Alex. They're all 100. What, do enemies just not scale in XP value then? How does that work? Okay, luck for those sick crit hits. Critical hits. And speed for something. Alright. We've got three more of these to go. Stream reading the entire script of the boom movie? Starting now, maybe? Like we could be here for a while. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that bumblebees should be able to fly. Their wings are too small to bear the weight of their fat little bodies. But of course, the bees fly anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Did I get it? What's my accuracy? Oh, enemies die for good, you can't grind weaklings. Oh, they're a finite resource. I guess that makes sense. So you, you can't go to Kaled and kill the big dragon for 90,000 souls in the early game. Kinda makes sense, I guess? It's weird though. Glamour shot. Cool, love glamour. Even more so, inflicting death by it onto my enemies. Always level strength. Wait, why is there a bonus? I just noticed that. You get a bonus for leveling certain stats and I've just been not noticing that this whole time? Shit. I I've been leveling like a dipshit. I completely missed the plot. My build is fucked now. Two more. Run Ruined. Ooh, a big plus two, look at that. I'm putting this into strength anyway. The bonus is applied to whatever, right? We hit up luck. We hit up speed. Maybe level health once, because I don't want to die. <laughs> Talk to the crow to auto-assign, but otherwise this whole system would go to waste. What a shame that would be. Big speed dump, damn. It's probably Toby Fox just speaking into your ear there for some reason. It's probably just him. Why is it always speed and luck that get the bonuses? I don't, how does it work? I don't get it. Your face is screwed up. Mug shot. I don't have enough XP, thank god. What level am I now? Like 20? Uh, yes, do, do actually. Ha! 
Oh, I'm free. I'm free. Okay. Thank God. Save. I'm saving those data. How do I leave? Exit mine dungeon. There we go. Okay, I, I've returned a new man. Look at me. I know I look the same, but I have a much higher strength stat. Oh, I can get that treasure chest. Secret passage. Oh, the money tree does grow back. Nice. They're ten dollars now. Oh, yeah. I think I'll be rewarded if I leave it enough foliage to grow back, though. I think if I over-harvest the tree, I'll be punished. We have to live in tune with nature. A milkshake. Cool. Check the menus. It would tell you what the devs want you to do next. Oh. But... They never did that in Earthbound, so I'll be fine. Um, because all that the devs wanted me to do next was to grind to level 5 and then look for posts on onism.net. Which, by the way, where does that name come from? It's a weird name. Earthbound did have a hint, man. I don't know about you, but I, you know. I feel stronger. I think you can see my biceps now. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not really worried about how I look. I'm more concerned about how I feel. Yeah, you would say that. Ignoring that, do you think we're strong enough to call Vela up? Probably not, but might as well give it a shot if we can find anything good on Onism. If you Why like did the voice day? sound like that? Well, the, the voice actors have to work, work with what they're given. And on that day, the direction came with a note that said, uh, during this line, the character is pissing and shitting and coming. So... He read it. That's his job. Hey, Michael. Check this out. Someone sent me a PM. Hey, man. Uh, I saw in your post about the uh, elevator girl and the factory she went missing in. My sister vanished a few weeks ago. There was some uh, screwed up things with her disappearance, too. If you're interested in checking out where she was uh, last seen, you should come to Windtown. It's east of the factory the elevator girl was last seen in. So, what do you think? That's interesting enough to bother Vela about? Yeah, probably not bad. These guys are definitely degenerates. <laughs> Scathing criticism by chat. The d <laughs> The direction was north, south, east, and west. Find your own way. Here's your line. Oh, you mean for the voice acting, not referring to the uh, the message specifying map directions. Where do these doors lead to? Like, where does this one go? Oh, he has a backyard. Check that out. That's a suburban American backyard if I've ever seen one. Look at that vast swath of unused, pointlessly maintained grass. with um, Cheeto dust on it for some reason. These are actual voice actors. Yeah, you can tell they're voice actors. They they seem to know what they're doing, but um, uh, actors, they can only sound really good when they're working with good material too. Um, I need the bomb bag, I understand. Do Americans have, uh, yards have flat platforms? That's very, no, they're usually just completely flat. Some properties are built onto, like, uh, I don't know, there's like a rock behind them or something, so they have a, a bumpy back here. So now we go to the arcade, I guess, and talk to Velma, I mean Vela. How's this guy's zine going, by the way? It's been, I don't know, six months in-game? Hey, how is that magazine coming? 
Oh, it's great. Got all the stuff written, mostly. Well, it's mostly a bunch of ideas floating around inside me head, but it's coming together. Should have finished the issue number one any day. Okay, cool. So, like, next month I should be able to pick it up? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Next month, sure. Oh, yeah. Dividends. It's gonna pay dividends. You forgot about the accent? It's a skill issue. Oh no! <laughs> Such a dipshit. It should just run you over and then leave you in the family guy death pose. That would be really funny. Why is the arcade sign so fucking anti-aliased? None of the other signs are like that. Look at how stretched those pixels are. So use panda, someone said. Not cat. Yep. This is baseball. We're really, I'm really feeling the baseball now. The season just started, eh? My parents were so desperate for more baseball in their lives that they were literally watching spring training, which apparently has never even been televised until this year. As if there's not enough baseball uh, during the rest of the season. Um, I'm not sure how to access the baseball mini game here, guys. Uh, maybe Panda wants to play DDR with me, though. Hmm, no. Amazing chest ahead? Where? Oh, there she is. How did she talk again? Hey, Alex, I'm working right now. Give me a call later when you get home. Oh. Oh, I have to call her. I, <laughs> I was working with, like... RPG logic, you have to go to the person and, and press the X button. Okay, can I call you now? I can't call her from the paper? <laughs> you told you the hint menu would help? I can do it without the hint menu, damn it. This game would benefit from a DDR minigame, it really would, Mel. Cool embankment, bro. Is that just... They, they cut off the property line there? It's just dirt? This guy, like, lives in front of my house, by the way. He just loiters here. That would be really awkward to have, like, a Kickstarter backer who, who just lives directly behind your place of business and, like, physically walks past you every day and checks in. So now I can call her from the story progression phone. Ring, 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 uh, hey ring, Bella. ring, ring, banana it's phone. Alex. Some kid sent us an email saying his sister vanished. Really? Yeah, said it was similar to the elevator girl's disappearance. Okay, and he wants us to come check it out? I'll meet you at the Franken bus stop. That's the best way to get there without a car. <sighs> you want to leave now? Yes. I don't have work till tomorrow afternoon, so it would be best for me to do it today, so I can get some sleep. Fair enough. Oh, and Alex, I thought you should know. The elevator girl has a name. Sammy. Her name is Semi Park. I was able oh. to get some information no, it is on Semi. her. I'll share it with you in person. Semi Park, huh? Park? It's spelled P-A-K. I feel like the voice actors don't know how to, what her name is either. Silk Song Wen? <laughs> Their team cherries and their kiosk. Uh, there's uh, some of you are Australian, right? Go find Team Cherry and ask. Wherever they're camped out, like whatever public park they have a tent in, just go ask them. Oh, the ghost. 
I feel like in a different game that would actually be slightly unnerving, but this is just, it's like not at all for some reason. Like it happens and I perceive that it happened like as a memory, but it never actually, it, it's never directly perceived somehow. Pack has an invisible R, so is it is it just actually pronounced Park? Huh. It's like Pock. It sounds the same if you say it like a, in a sufficiently English accent, Pock. Um, she said the bus stop, right? Do I have a map? I'm not sure where the bus stop would be, but I'm assuming it's in like the, the right part of the town. Oh, I want the soccer ball. Well, Miss Park. The bus stop is in the left part. Oh, oh, that was where Alex started. You know, the further the game progresses and the further the brain rot sits in, the more I'm tempted to just call Alex Yeek. Like, I, I keep seeing Alex written and wanting to pronounce it Yeek, and it's like, what? Um, was that like, who's around here? No. The welcome home sign? I don't remember where I started. It's Yeek from Yeek. It's just like Zelda from Zelda. No, the, the advice was useless. I forgot where I where the game started. I thought it said Bitch Street. PK Bitch Street. I guess I'll save the game. Omori from Omori, true. It wasn't here. And Metroid from Metroid. Um... What, a, what the fuck the bus stops look like in this godforsaken land? Oh, there it is. Okay. It was further forward than I thought. Okay, you boys ready? I got us the tickets already. We just take this bus to the first stop outside Frankton, and then it's just a four-mile walk to Intown. Oh, four miles? That's... that's pretty far. Alex would you get it out. If you'd like to pay for it, go ahead. We could always call your mom. No, no. Walking's fine. It's, uh, good for your body. Oh, yeah, we got Villa. When we sat on the bus with Villa and began to talk, it felt as if she was a different person. The edge to her personality had dulled a little bit. She seemed almost happy to see us. She has resting anger face. We just leaving Frankton when she told us what she learned about Sammy. She looks furious. Sammy, Sammy Park was a 23-year-old Korean American who had moved to Frankton from the city. She was an only child and lived with her mother until she moved to Frankton on March 2nd for her job. She was some sort of legal cleric and hadn't even begun working. Cleric? When she vanished. Apparently, the organization is that a mistake or just an alternate pronunciation? TV Korean news show. The friend who got her the job did the reporting. The police have no leads. It is currently being treated as a missing persons case. Where exactly did you find out all this? I read about it in a Korean newspaper. Are you Korean? No. Do I look Korean? Uh, it's hard to say. You look vaguely ethnic. Vaguely ethnic? <laughs> really? Is that a quote? That's what you're going with? <sighs> Maybe it'd be best if you just didn't mention race again. Somehow it comes off so awkward when you do it. I, I just meant, like, you know, exotic. Yeah. None of yeah. the other girls around here look like Make you. it waste. Stop. 
please just stop. This is seriously uncomfortable now, Alex. Anyway, my boss at the Franklin <laughs> The Arcadia Latino Spoken beauties are back, Chad. And he always keeps newspapers around. I saw the picture of Sammy and asked him about the story. I called the police and asked them if they'd seen the video, and they said that the detective in charge of the case would get back to me shortly. This was four days ago. I find it unlikely he ever will. I'm not surprised, really. <sighs> it's almost like no one cares that she's missing. I'll check through more newspapers, though, see if there are any leads. Might not be a bad idea to try and talk to the woman who reported her missing after we visit the guy in Windtown. Oh, he's I didn't back. say it at the time. But something felt off. There's like different reverb when he's monologuing. I, I understand Sammy now. Sammy, I met was strange. I think it's intentional. She didn't seem like the kind of girl who could have grown up in a city, moved to a small town, and worked for a television station. People who don't know what elevators are usually aren't capable of such tasks. Well, if the building out no, didn't have an elevator in it, you think of that? You think of that out? The newspaper it may have looked the same, but there was a difference there. You could feel it. Maybe they both just had the same name. It'd be really funny. Alex says the negative riz and it's still wow. dropping. So how far are we again from Windtown? Four miles. Not too far. Even Four I remember that and I'm a fucking here. screamer, Alex. We don't need to cross any more highways, so if we approach one, we're going the wrong way. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. So the only directions are don't cross the highway? Most panic attacks... Oh, okay. Wait, I could have walked here, probably. I mean, what level is that monster den? Oh wait, I'm not allowed to cross the highway, that's right. Uh, it was a quick four miles. It's Autumn Village, here we go. It has the graveyard. Oh, most paints are toxic. I read it as most panic attacks. Yeah, there were vocals in that track. They just sort of randomly occur. Oh, I can control the character. Nice. I'm allowed to push the character into a cutscene. Hey, look! We're in Chicago! <laughs> Did you just laugh? <laughs> I think this is the first time I've heard you do that. Damn. I do it all the time. It was a zinger. Well, usually it's in my head. And normally it's aimed at you too. Ow. Did this guy tell you where to meet him specifically? Uh, well... Crap. No, he didn't. He just said wind town. <laughs> Good luck. Well then, I guess this is where we start asking any late night street crawlers for information. It sounds like the theme of a western? A little bit? It, it sounds a bit like Vorjak, like it's going to break into the New World Symphony theme any second. No, oh, no I'm thinking of Holst, like the Jupiter. How do you propose we do that? Find the nearest person and ask them about the girl who disappeared here recently. Pretty easy, actually. Oh, like Shenmue, okay. Just be direct, Alex. They won't bite. Well, maybe they won't. This town is pretty suspect. What? Okay, sussy enough. town? Sussy? How, what, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? That's a weird thing to say. It's the mystery machine. This seems like a strange place to park this thing. Alex has character development that makes him worse. <laughs> ha! A person. He has... Hand door hook car door. Car door hand hook car door. Shady character. You looking for some dumb missing kid, huh? What makes you think I know anything? Besides my two hook hands. Wait. Uh, what? What the fuck? Th these mini games are getting more abstract by the second. 12 damage from the hand door, court, car door hand hook car door attack. Um, the best character? <laughs> what is- I learned like 50 new skills. Panda beta. Um, put the target to sleep. Do it. Deploy the jazz, Alex. Press X on the color- oh my god. Oh, it's hard.
Okay, uh... She is strong. Banish a soul survivor from the battle to a random floor of the mine dungeon. Well, way to spoil your future set pieces game. Um, let's beat down. Pull back, release on the green. Oh, release. I thought it meant press the button for some reason. Okay. God, this guy thinks we suck. We're being real prissies right now. Um, hurt the foe's self-image. What is this, Omori? Sure. Smile for the camera, baby. What? The photo it's a bad photo though. It's supposed to be out of focus. Well that works. Okay, just attack the fucking dude. I'm too bad at this game. Even that shitty attack did 7 damage, that's a good sign. He's weak to music, it took 18 damage, good, good, good. It was too bad of a photo. Circle, square. She died, ah. Uh. But she resists hook hands. God, he's strong. Why is he so strong? Take a while, wow. Okay, circle. He can't defeat us, but he is tanky as fuck. He used beatdown for lack of anything more interesting to try. Perfect 10 hit combo. 30 damage, that is very high. Okay. The grinding helped. What did you come back to? We're, uh, I don't know. We're, we're investigating a missing person by beating up random citizens of this town. Well, that seems easy. The other ones just max out at like two and three hits, because the. Mm. I don't know how to make those any better. We're fighting someone named Shady Guy. Yeah, that's his legal name. This could take a while, is the perfect description of this game. Great. I'm so glad. I can spam some skills though. There we go, if you do it a little bit more rhythmically, instead of just looking at the graphic, it's easier. That one's absurdly easy. What is time energy? Do we have time energy? I didn't notice that. He's dead now. We killed him. What you get for having prosthetic hands? We took his hands, dude. We took his hands. Well, that was quite the beatdown, kid. You're not so bad. Thanks. I haven't been hit like that since pre-K. Let's see. Are you talking about that girl who hung out by the grocery store? No idea where she lived. I think her mom worked the day shift at the 777 West of here. Well, now we know. 
Um, the most important information was that there is a grocery store in this town. We can finally obtain the groceries. Um, can I equip his hands? Uh, the cat is here. Oh, milk not even that good. A good enough approximation of fingers. Hook hands. They're an other. They give you strength. Okay. Uh, I guess Michael can equip the fucking hook hands. That'll help him take photos. Pina, the cat is here. I don't even know what I'm referencing. I'm just assuming that's supposed to be Family Guy. Hook hand. Oh, I never put Alex's propeller hat on. There you go. Alex can pull off a beanie. The other ones, I don't trust him. Uh, the spare graphic t-shirt, I guess. Um, yet another graphic t-shirt. Everyone's wearing gamer t-shirts. Lucky rabbit foot, I guess. Peter, the sole survivor is here. Uh... So her mom worked at the Sevens store, the 7-Eleven. This rundown mini-mart seems to be closed for the night. It's nighttime? Oh my god. <laughs> She's cracked out. Did that shift? I need to hit something. She's coming. Complains about her day. Fuck, they're strong. It's actually much harder to survive this because she has the normal mini game. Okay, we know that spamming beatdown is sort of the way to deal damage now, though. You don't even know what to say anymore. Oh my god, she's a tank. Why is she so strong? What the fuck? Run, run immediately. She's invincible. What the fuck do you do about that? Unavoidable chin move! Okay, you try to run. If I jumped over that, I would just get hit uh, as well. I can't move side to side. What do you do? Is that random or is it like, can you actually avoid that somehow? The cashier actively smelled like cigarettes. Alex died. We have to run. Can I duck? Uh, apparently, nope. I don't think so. The green rod is not enough to rival Halloween hack, but it's getting there. Please run, Michael. You have to escape. She smells like cigarettes. Please! Oh, somehow it, okay, it blew up that time. Heal thyself! Oh fuck, the curb is too high. I have to get closer to the cashier. This is fucked, man. Save the game. I don't want to fight her, that'll take an hour. Can I buy, um... I don't know. It's the same guy. He teleports? Strolling Bones. A classic rock album from the 70s. Uh, it's better, I assume? Or, not really, it's... It has higher defense, but the same or less strength. Which doesn't really appeal, to be honest. Teleports. He is Sans. Correct, chat. You've identified the Sansian character. Uh, 
Oh, Michael was teasing him about being fat, but like, until the repercussions hit, it's hard to take seriously. Um. Wide hitbox tree again. Damn it. Oh? Oh? Though I child. What the fuck, Closure? Single conductor. Divorce isn't so bad. I prefer being alone. You should get married when you grow up, just so you can experience the bliss of divorce. Awesome. Birdly elemental character. Umerous, I should say, not specifically birdly. I guess no one's home. This tree has like a, a button on it? What is that? Hey, we're in America. I didn't know that. Who would have thought? Angsty customer. You got the stuff. Please tell me you got the stuff. Do you have it? Yeah, I got the stuff. You have filthy liar. Come back when you actually have it. Maybe we weren't in America before and now we are. This is what, what America is like. It's like the, uh, we're into opioid town now. The cemetery. Let's see what's up. Kerry Matzer. Kerry Ma Are these puns? Do they do the pun cemetery? Kerry Matzer? Kerry Matzer? I don't get it. Oh, it's just Satoru Iwata. Satoru Iwata is just here. He's dead. He, he lived in this town. What the fuck? Okay. Do they patch him in? I guess don't read too much into it. These are the Kickstarter backers. Maybe Satoru Iwata just donated $5 to their Kickstarter. And that's the only reason he's here. Jerry Kaufman, a humanist. Good to know. Project offering. Is that some other fucking Kickstarter that died? Dandy was a masculine man who eventually took his own life due to societal explanations, expectations, and naming conventions. These... I feel like these aren't the funniest graveyard puns. Alright, PJF, we're happy you did. Fuck that guy, I guess. Rip project offering. This one just... Oh, there's a secret code here? Wait, no, they, it's just 877. What does that mean? 8877? Is that a password? Here lies Andrew Allenson and Brian Allenson, who worked themselves to death on this game. Unfortunate. <laughs> they put the Awata Memorial in the shitpost graveyard. Why not? Uh, what the fuck is this? What is this, also a... Uh a lonely roadside memorial. The name is washed away from the rain. It's in a tunnel. Actually, last time I was in uh, Toronto, uh, we drove past this, like, m massive monument on the side of the highway, which is where Tim Horton died in a car crash. Who... I don't know if that name means anything to people outside Canada, but he's like, Tim Hortons is the restaurant chain named after that guy. It's like the most ubiquitous, like Dunkin' Donuts equivalent. It was kind of surreal. It's like, whoa, that's that's the guy, Tim Horton himself? It's like John Fortnite. Tim Horton was a, yes, he was a hockey player, I think. $10 in the trash can, even in the opium den town. 
You'd think the pickers would have found that by now. In Buffalo, you have the donut place? You mean Tim Hortons? I think it, exp it got bought by an American, like, parent company, so maybe it's in America now. This is a different mobile home. My brothers are playing in the park. I'm not allowed to join them because I'm a spaz. I'm also not allowed to talk to strangers. That's worrying. Uh, this town kind of sucks. I'm not sure what the deal is with this place. It kind of seems like it sucks. I missed the past three hours. Have you met Yuri of the Wind yet? No. Who is that? Do I have to fight that fucking cashier to make progress? She seems like a super boss. Optimistic youth. My big brother would have gone pro if it wasn't for his accident. I guess that's optimistic. Is spaz an offensive term? I've heard someone in the chat said you can't say that in the UK. I'm not entirely sure myself. Oh, this is the divorce mascot. Okay, we don't care about the divorce guy. Let's go fucking fight the cashier, I guess. At full health. Is she gonna hit something? You have to- okay, clutch. I have to dodge. This is now like a Souls boss. One hit and you're fucking wrecked. I can put her to sleep, maybe? Seems like a hard attack to hit, though. Oh, I got it. Nice. <laughs> Stupid little record throw. She is taking a nap. They look so angelic. Did the pronoun change been sentence? What if the twist was that she counts as a sole survivor and I could banish her? I hope she doesn't wake up if I put her to sleep. That would suck. Oh, it, that time it gave me a different combo? Okay. I guess she's not that much stronger than the... The hook guy. Oh, she did wake up. Fuck. Dude, he died in one hit! He died in one hit! For fuck's sake. Is Alex just useful? He's weak to cigarettes? Boost morale. What does it do, though? Is it a buff? Is it a heal? Fuck! It does the whole animation, then it misses. God damn it. Dude, she's so powerful! Um... Just beat down. It seems like you're not really penalized for missing them. Alex is deathly allergic to the smell of cigarette. Well, there's one beatdown minigame I can do. She's weak to Velma, I mean Vela.
What, what if I take a, a bad mugshot? So a fantastic photo. Wait, see if I take the photo too good, her power increases. God damn it. You have to dodge it. No, no, Alex. You had to dodge the attack. Fuck, fuck Alex. You can stay dead. Um, this is like a desperate struggle for survival. God damn it. The circle's impossible. I can't do it. Okay, who's she gonna dodge? Oh, clutch. Michael's hanging on by a thread. You just have to keep DPS up and ignore Alex's death. If you hold down L2, I can slow down the minigames? What? Why is that a thing? I'm out of PP, shit. Maybe if I take a full heal, I can survive? I can take a hit at full health, I think. Clutch, clutch, clutch. She always has to be playing the guitar even if she's not attacking. <laughs> You're like really intent about it. Ah! What happened to her like exploding things with sound waves? She just seems to be hitting things with the guitar. Was that bullshit? Were we pranked? Oh, it's time energy. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Everything's on the left side of the screen, so I never even looked up there. Huh. Let's try it. It didn't do anything. Oh, it's L2! I pressed L1. Well, shit. I think it's better to use for dodging. I don't have any PP left. Perfect. Why is it called time energy? It's like such a, a bombastic way of putting it. You could have called it like focus points or something. It seems to demand an explanation now for why the characters have time energy power. Michael's face is punchable. It is, yeah. For some reason. Impossible! Why can't I do the circle? It was so easy with the triangle button. Do you not use PP? If... Well, sure. I could have slowed it down. It would be nice if the animations were a bit faster. I feel like they're no slower than Pokemon or something. God knows people like Pokemon. One more try. Fuck! I slowed it down and screwed myself up. Huh. Okay, just use it for dodging. Easy win, just use it for dodging. Alright. Vela's carrying here with her easy as shit <laughs> combo attack. She is like invincible. She has so much health. That is the circle button, right? I'm pressing the right button. Makes fun of the entire party. Oh god. What? He just fell off. He's dead. Okay, well shit. It's up to you, Vela. Not enough PP to beat down. Ah! Just solo. Ah! 
Slowing down would be really good for Alex's combo. True, it would. It would. I forget if the game ever mentioned that mechanic or not. Like, maybe it didn't, I zoned out. I literally never noticed that part of the UI. Perfect, you're dead. You're done for. Dirt nap. Alright, <laughs> no, no one gets any XP because they're- no, they're back. Okay, they're good. <laughs> they're like, yeah, we helped. Birch beer. I've heard of that, actually. Is that like root beer? May have just got my ass handed to me by a bunch of wastoids. But boy. Boy. Oh boy. I feel so alive right now. So how can I help the poor girl? Her mom got fired from here. I haven't seen her in weeks. I hear now she mostly works nights, if you know what I mean. My daughter used to see her at the playground. You can talk to some of the kids there. It's southeast of here. Heal thyself. Well, that was a trial. It's been almost six hours already? Holy shit. It's a two week time skip in real life. I'll save the game. I'm wondering if it's even worth taking a break at this point or just going for a bit longer than calling it. Uh, so go to the park to ask about park. <laughs> you know, if you know what I mean. We came here hoping to find quarters, then realized that money is a social construct created to oppress us. Got any change? You're a communist, and yet you exist! Oh, it's the mask kid again. Want to be caught? Reach for the sky! Oh, he's serious. He's going to shoot us. Guess it checks out. Um, he's just shooting us. I have a feeling it's really important to dodge those. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's get B-Panda. Maybe it's stronger if we had A-Panda, but he's probably- his rates are too expensive. Panda is protecting each member of the party individually. How strong is this fucking kid? Did did his health even move? I didn't see. Okay, I'm afraid of the mug shot this time because it can buff the fucking time enemy. For the camera, baby. What are you supposed to do then? Just like that? It is a bad photo. Okay. I made him sick. He's like vomiting. Violently vomiting right now. Let's see how much I can mash if I slow down time. Oh my god, that's really fucking strong. Even though oh, I missed the red, I still got 14 hits. That's not much damage though. Why so little damage? Why doesn't he have a health bar? Uh, am I stuck in the battle against a Skyrim child NPC who, who can't die because it would increase the game's age rating? Why? It's impossible now! It was so easy and now I haven't- I've failed that every single time for like five in a row. He's gonna vomit. He's vomiting like Birdby against a hospital wall. Hand is too strong. Ah. 
It's because he's not weak to the disc. Does he have a health bar? No, but he's dead now. Okay. Wow, mister. When I grow up, I want to be strong, just like you. So, were you looking for someone? Do you mean that strange girl that hung around the graveyard? I wasn't allowed to talk to her. Maybe some of those weird vampire kids can give you more details. Check the graveyard. East is she here? Or is it west? I always mix those two up. I should have stayed in school and not been left-handed. <laughs> we just fell off the cliff. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Yeah, that, that was Ralsei, I guess. I drive a Mercedes Benz. Whoa! Okay, I've learned to heal thyself uh, before talking to any individual in this town, because they will open fire. For his neutral special, Ralsei wields a gun. Gun attacks are effective against enemies who are weak to guns. Who the hell are you? You're looking for Carrie? You'll have to beat that out of me. Yeah, you know, expect it to be honest. Pip, if someone asks you a question, it's often a good idea to beat the shit out of them. Punk chick attack. Game is trivial with time energy. Damn. What's it, just bongos? Just bongos are the soundtrack now. Let's try the time energy enhanced beatdown again, that was really good. Shit. It seems to- I screwed up more using the time energy even if it is stronger. I guess I'm rushing her down now and not dealing with the ads. It's just bongos, alright. Wait, I can use photo shoot to do an AoE, I think. Yeah. Uh, wait. X? What, what was I doing there? I couldn't tell what the minigame was. They resist photography, shit. Incoming skull attack. Dodged flawlessly. This is the music your dad listens to. <laughs> it's kind of based, actually. What era was this music being produced in? Is this like late 70s jazz fusion or something, which is like this? I don't need time energy. What's happened in the story so far? Oh my god, how do I describe it? So it's like Alex Yeek went to the abandoned factory because he was following a cat who stole his grocery list, maybe. The abandoned factory had the time void, the dark world inside it, but he didn't really acknowledge it as such. Um, and inside the, the dark world was a girl named Sammy who claimed to live in there and didn't know anything about the outside world, except when convenient to make conversation. Um, and then, as they were taking the elevator to leave the building, she got sucked out of the elevator by the soul survivor, who's a galactic being of some sort. Um, and then she disappeared, then Alex went home and was real confused about that. Um, and then woke up the next day, and had no intention of actually going back or following up on that at all. But a, a, a sentient panda statue he found in the factory appeared and yelled at him to go save Sammy instead of sleeping in past two o'clock in the afternoon and so he eventually did but in doing so he bumped into his old friend I guess named Michael who's like in high school still and he invented 4chan or something like a or the x board on 4chan by accident um, and also he just happened to start a conversation about the missing girl who was the same girl that Alex saw in the factory but had gone missing like the day prior and it just happened to have been posted about going missing in an elevator 
like a couple days ago, which was a reference to a real-life missing persons case um, that happened where a girl went into an elevator and then was found dead in a water tank days later, but that's irrelevant. Um, and then uh, Ye uh, Alex Yeek freaks out because it's the same girl that he met, but after she went missing, but also in an elevator when she went missing. Um, and then uh, they freak out and then um, they go and decide to be supernatural detectives on 4chan for two weeks. They sit at the computer for two weeks straight. And then after those two weeks elapse, um, a random person from the internet posts a photo of a girl with time psychic powers um, who happens to be the girl at the arcade in their town. It's unclear who took the photo or how, um, so, but yeah, two weeks until that happens, and they go to the arcade, which is a five-minute walk away, uh, ask the girl, um, and then she beats them up for being, uh, like, uh, creeps or something, and then she goes back to their house with them, and then sees the photo and goes, oh yes, that's because I have sonic powers that I learned from, like, I, I like, YouTube tutorials, I guess. Uh, it's not psychic powers, I just use my so sound blasts. Um, and, but then she also knows about the, the, the dark world, right? So she also, she, is, like, seems to know about the, the abandoned factory having these, like, cosmic entities, but she doesn't really specify much about it. She just sort of like vaguely alludes to it and said that she has this supernatural encounter with one and she seems to be some sort of like kind of Ghostbuster like vigilante ghostbuster, I guess and she says get to level 5 then meet me at the uh, Then then check it's 4chan again And then so we grinded up to level 5 and in, in, in the mind palace which she unlocked for us um, because she's like a psychic uh, Jedi or something and then we we went back to 4chan and then someone else unrelated posted another post about um, uh, some f lead on the missing girl in Windtown which is like a four mile walk to the west of where we were so we went to the bus and then we're in Windtown beating up crack addicts for information that's the story I hope that was a good summary by the way um, I have to beat the next crack addict up, I guess. The music stops being bongos at some point, too. Oh, the record hit the load in twice there. Cool. That's a lot of damage! I wonder if I have to beat up the skull still after she goes down. Oh, she's resistant to that. Uh, it's what? Well, it's broken, I can't do it. The minigame is broken now. Fuck. I forgot what button I had to press. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, but Alex is resistant. Eat fist normies? <laughs> no way that was a term in the 90s. Oh, she's fucking dead. R.I.P. Velma. I mean Vela. The skeleton appear! Oh, look at that. Ba what? I screwed up the easy part. She died. She fucking died, man. Oh, I stopped to kill the skulls. Bummer. It, it doesn't work. I, I swear it's broken. Like, I thought it was just bad at first, but now I'm pretty sure, like, something is just wrong. It's the same minigame that I was doing before. Vela, yes, Vela is dramatically weaker now that she's a party member, of course. The skeleton coming out! God, they're tanky as well. Okay, you're banned from using special attacks. Uh, whatever the fuck your name was. Michael. Alex is the only one who can deal damage here. God, I've, I've become terrible at dodging as well. Yeah. 
my, my rant can be to rejoin my Discord server. I'm not sure how those correlate, but cool. I'm glad to hear it. They're, they're fucking stronger than the woman was. Can I, like, run from the fight and the woman will still be dead? Invincible Mike. Perfect. You're going down. Watch uh, Alex's ultimate weapon is just going to be never going to give you up on vinyl. The, the, the world quivers at the thought. Ouchie ouch. No one saw it coming. Except the Joker from Persona 5. That's his name, right? The Joker? How postmodern has it been so far? I'd say it's just more post sanity. I'm not sure what the fuck it is. Because of copyright, it'll be called I am never going to give you a <laughs> Well, shouldn't be yeah, yeah, yeah. Should, should be yes, yes, yes. Yeah, if you want to know about Carrie, you should talk to her brother. I think they live south of here. But their health is always locked by a big fancy gate. Mom says you need to do something pretty bad to have a nice house like the Mancers got. Or do they have a secret entrance in the gravestone like the Zelda dungeon? Harry Manser. Oh wait, wasn't Carrie Carrie the one we were looking for? If she's like dead, then that kinda... I forget who Carrie was supposed to be. Is that the girl's mom? I've kind of lost the plot actually between all the battles. That's just a fence. Missing sister, fancy house gate, and a well Deltarune reference. Or is it a Yeek reference? Toby Fox worked on this game. He could have stolen the source code and the script at the same time. That's how it works. To write a song for the game, you have to be added to the Git repo. Is that the fancy house? Is that what they meant by the big fancy gate? Like a normal ass fence? Can you just jump over the fence, you dipshit? Just go over the fence. I can jump from above, but I'm not sure if I can jump over that little tiny wooden pillar. Come on, Alex. Come on, you're killing me here. Maybe there is a, uh, like a secret passage under the gravestone. The gate is rusted and won't budge. Go heal? Yeah, I should heal you, right? I need to find Necromancer to get Carrymancer, yeah. Secret graveyard. Maybe use Panda on the gravestone to unlock the secret graveyard baseball mini game. It was this one, right? Panda, go! It does nothing, shit. Oh, wait, I have Panda. I can use Panda to bridge gaps. I completely forgot about that. Um, I don't think that helps me here, though. I can only drop down here. And, like, this doesn't really accomplish anything, does it? I can stand on its head. <laughs> or not, okay. What if I throw a cat at it? Hmm. 
pick the lock. The cat does not know how to do that. Wait, what's back here? No new camera angles, that's for sure. Oh, a chest, though. Silver bracelet, nice. Amazing chest ahead indeed. What's over here? Nothing. I really feel like the solution should be to jump over those those hammered down posts there. But how do I do that? I can't get over them. Unless I can push the table or something. I like super duper can't get over those little tiny posts. Is there a gap in the fence up here? The veggie straws are blocking my way. This is a, a metaphor for the inability to alleviate our financial- or elevate our financial class. It's so postmodern. Very. Um, Alex, just step on top of the log. I'm begging you. Come on, man. Who's this fuck? He also has a gun. Future robber. Give me your wallet if you wanna live. Oh, is another fucking kid who's gonna shoot me? There's a recipe up there. Yep, he's just coming out swinging. Aw, oh, fuck you. Oh my god, this is the strongest of all. This kid is nutty. Deploy the panda. He has voice acting for that line only. It's, it's really funny. Who's giving all the kids guns? That's what I'm asking. If I try to BLJ, <laughs> I should actually. Banish the sole survivor. Do it. Do it, Velma. Okay, decent damage from Vela. That, that helps. This guy's banned from using a special attack until the end of time, currently. Glam a shot. Oh yeah. All the powers increased. With awesome power he strikes, but the panda tanks it. He shoots like twice though, he's so strong. What the fuck? Dude, panda's gonna go down. This guy's terrifying. The other guy had like a, a, a you know, a revolver or something. This guy's got a semi-auto. I'm gonna spam on his ass, gonna morb on him. Good enough. It's still a record. Only 19 damage from all that? Fuck. Okay, Vela's gotta be the one. Know that she is the one! Okay, do a more billion damage, please. Please let that buff be worth something. It sucked. The buff is not worth anything. Okay. That's too bad. Or He's immune to cameras too. Shit. That's not poetic skill. That's a gun. I think the game just put bug down there. I'm not sure. Could a Tass one-shot any boss with that attack? Probably. I'm curious if anyone Tasses Yeek. Or, or even if anyone speedruns Yeek. I gotta check that, actually. Perfect. It already ended. The last one turn and does nothing. Okay, wonderful. Can we even beat this kid? Oh, okay. He's dead. Good, good, good. 
and stay dead, Velocimus. <laughs> They're not defeated. They're not knocked out. They are dead. Until they talk to you afterward. Pew, pew, pew. I didn't hang out with that weirdo. Glad she's gone. She ain't coming back. That's what Randy said. Randy Savage, that is. Randy's my mom's new boyfriend. I hope he becomes my dad. He, his punches don't hurt as much. Jesus, fuck. Then again, it don't feel as much love in them, neither. This town, man. Uh, very cool. It's like if every... Every person in the town is Kuno from Disco Elysium. Fuck, I should be voicing them all as Kuno. What am I doing? That's a huge missed opportunity. Family guy jokes? Yeah, really. Yeah, if you want to know about Kerry, you should talk to her brother. I think they live to the south of there. But their house is always locked by a big fancy gate. Mom says you need to do something pretty bad to have a nice house like the man has got. It's not Onion Son, it's Kuno. It would sound more like Kuno if he was swearing every sentence, but. The fuck does Kuno know where a rake is? I'm so sad they apparently got rid of that uh, those voice lines for the uh, the final cut of Disco Elysium, like they replaced them with some other dude. I couldn't imagine anyone doing the job better. Those are my favorite lines in the game. I thought this was new, but no, it's old. Okay, maybe there's a secret if I put the panda down here. Tell him about the elevator, Kuno. What? <laughs> Alex, you fucked up. I, I don't see how this would help anyway, to be honest. Maybe you leave the town? Doesn't the original peak the mic? Good! That's Kuno Core. If he's voice acting on, like, you know, a lethal dose of speed, he should be peaking the mic. Kuno's like Kuno's dad! Doesn't give a fuck about anything! I haven't checked the door of this house yet. Knock, knock. I guess no one's home. Oh, that's too bad. Have I been into the 7-Eleven yet? Or oh, it's closed, wasn't it? Yeah, it's closed. Talk to the guy at the bottom of the town. I will try. Oh, I should heal first, though. Please save and heal. Very good idea. Check the bathroom. There's only one bathroom in this game and Alex refuses to use it. Even after being told to shower. What an idiot. Save before the game crashes again. It's unusual that a game would have a crash in it. Like that so far after launch. I haven't checked behind the store. Or maybe I have, I don't know. Oh, there we go. I got a noodles and ketchup. Fucking, that's disgusting. That's a thing, theoretically, right? But, like, what human would actually eat that? Like, spaghetti with ketchup sauce? Like, I've heard that exists. Okay, at the south of the town, all the way at the bottom, there's a guy. Oh, what the fuck? The happy mask salesman is just on, a, on a stump up here. What's he doing? First, my daughter moved to this low-income commune six weeks ago. I'm just here helping her settle in. I wish she would have just let me pay her Frankton rent. This is a, a commune, okay. I guess they are communists, and yet they exist. What, there was a path here the whole time? What the fuck? I, I didn't know this existed. The camera angle was locking me. Oh, no, I have been down here. I just didn't talk to this guy, maybe. Oh, dear. You looking for the manse's house, huh? Why did she give you a key to? 
My wife says I need to get rid of the key if I ever want to see my daughter again. But I'd rather die than let someone else see my beautiful leggy candy. Again, I should have voiced him as Kuno. It would have been funny. <laughs> okay. That was close? I felt like that was close. Uh, you know, you know what? I'm just gonna run and uh, and heal myself. Like first turn death. I don't, I don't feel like dealing with that so much. Wait, what? That was the mini game was different that time. What can I say? It's like a, the next spot. Wait, I pressed the button though. W what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Why is the drunk so hard to dodge? No! Everyone's weak to him. And the, the, the run mini game. Wait, wait, mash it? What do I do? Oh, it's a. What the fuck? It's like a triple jump? I'm gonna party wipe on the fucking drunk guy. Oh no, Alex is resistant to alcoholism. That's nice. Okay. What? I, when the skull comes onto the screen, you can't jump. It, it eats the input. I don't get what that minigame even is. Okay. Alex is now... Wait, that wasn't even a dodge. I just offended. This guy is fucking nuts. What do I do? What do I do? Wait, did that fast forward? I pressed the wrong button and fast forward to what the fuck. Uh, okay, Alex, solo the boss. Just do it. Maybe he has one health. Maybe he has a heart attack after one hit. He didn't. He didn't have a heart attack. <laughs> cool! I died. That was the first death of the game, yeah. Would you like to continue? Good for you, I guess. Is it good for me? Wait, I'm back in the battle? No, 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 I wanna... Why does it put you back in the battle? Am I soft block until I beat this guy? The answer is yes. It's a rhetorical question. He still does so much fucking damage! Okay, deploy the panda. We need the panda. And the barrier. Yes, he's protecting all of us. Very nice panda, thank you. Please be weak to Kitars. I think he's resistant to it. That was a crit for 10. I think he's resistant to everything but Alex. You okay, try to debuff him at Smile least, do something. Camera, what? <laughs> okay, Panda can take him for a while though, for some reason. Deploy the super move, let's go. They should do a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! Okay. I guess he's beat down, even if it's not effective. You gotta wait until he makes the funny face? What? 52? Wow! He's weak to it. Using the spam time slow technique, he can do some good damage. Okay, let's... Stock Alex's PP pee -pee up. We gotta inflate that PP pee -pee all the way to the top, um, so we can keep spamming a special attack. She's there. It is fountain soda. You can't tell if it's the song or Alex shouting. 
Haha, <laughs> you said pee pee. Oh, I did. The panda is doing good work. Oh no, it, as soon as he uses an AoE, the panda like tanks. Like, that's unfortunate. Or I guess the panda always tanks, but I meant it in a different sense. Okay, if we gen some time energy, do it again. Fuck! I had to miss the important one. Kablooey. Just attack, you useless dipshit, Michael. God, he sucks. He takes a swig. I just realized this is the Juzo the Drunkard boss fight from Sekiro. Oh, I should have healed Alex's PP pee -pee again. I forgot he only had seven. Damn it. This entire game feels like a mobile game ad. I wouldn't go that far. I think it looks pretty decent still. Okay. Heal Alex. Just keep feeding Alex soda until you win. I have to outdrink the drunkard. That's how it works. Uh, fountain soda. There we go. He's drinking. But oh, you can't attack as long as he's drinking, though. This is fine. He's trying to do the blue light special, but it sucks ass. I have to be careful. The energy's gonna run out now. Good 15 hit combo. Please kill him. Yeah, he's dead now. Okay. What is this nightmare mine senses behold? Called Yeek? May you heard of it? Most paints are toxic. Fine. Oh. Fine, you make some sense into me! Take this key! My wife thanks you! They live in the house that's fenced off! I don't think they like visitors! Why is he so shaky? It's uncanny. That's what happens if you drink alcohol. Wait, why is it like this? Why am I here? Did the game crash again? It made a noise. What the fuck? Is this the cutscene or is the camera stuck? Oh, I'm here! The camera just fucked up. Okay, I... I didn't think it crashed because it was still making noises. But yeah, because I should save. Another lucky rabbit's foot. Might as well equip it. She has one. He has the door car hand hook car door. What is the silver bracelet? It's just a debuff? Don't you look pretty? It's a challenge run item? Of course. Sounds good. Oh, is that just because I'm unequipping the gold bracelet? I think I just buffs HP by like two or something. That's probably it. Heh. I don't know. Oh, it's strength down? Well, fuck that. The game looks broken even when working as intended. I think the animation style is fine, it's weird. Has anyone played Sable? That's a game with a similar, like, ultra low frame rate animation style. Which, um... I didn't really like in that game, to be honest. I think it actually looks better here, because everything else is so stylized. Alright, we saved after the uh, Drunkard super boss fight. I could have been leveling up this whole time. 
But I kind of don't want to because it takes forever. Sable is a really weird game, actually. That's... I played that full thing. It's probably the glitchiest game I've ever played to completion. Which is a weird accolade. That game was so fucking broken when I played it. It was actually like a piece of shit. Like it, I got soft locked in just menus. Like going through dialogue choices, I got soft locked. Um, but it was decent in some other ways. Rather strange game. The single slave slot makes you anxious. Oh, yeah. I guess I could get soft locked or something. Well, next time I save, I will save in multiple slots. I guess. I'm getting the sense that this is some kind of prostitute here. Well, I guess this is the place. So, do we just knock? Let's give it a try. Worst comes to worst, he's sleeping and we wake him up. Who are you guys? Oh, it's this guy. Maybe there was no prostitute. Maybe just something about the dialogue made me think that. Oh, dead sister guy, cool. He also has a slightly different face. Different art style, I mean. Maybe it's the hair gloss? I'm Alex. I come from the internet. Oh, round of applause. That's a line. Everyone clap for Alex's line. You got the whole yurt laughing with that one, buddy. Oh, one sec. Come in. That's your response to that? Not like, fuck, get out of here? So, hey, yeah, I'm Rory, but you probably figured that much out on your own. Actually, I had no clue. I, I thought that you were Carrie or something. If not, why would I be letting you into my room? Anyway, what are your names? His hair is a hood, but they changed it to hair. Oh, fuck, you're right. Why is it? Now, now that you've mentioned that, like, I can't unsee it. It just looks like he's wearing a a weird, like, rain hood. Like a yellow plastic hood. I'm Alex. This is Vela and Michael. I appreciate how nice Alex's portrait art looks compared to some of the other... They're a bit weird. No, I mean, what are your screen names? That's how I know all of you, so that'll be more beneficial. Oh wait, we know this guy? Oh, I forgot why we came here in the first place. We were trying to meet a dude who posts on 4chan. I completely forgot about that. Right, that was the plot. Oh, I'm SNESman99. I think that's the first time I've had to say that out loud. <laughs> uh, Michael is Veraformer, and Vela isn't cool enough to go on the message board. Veraformer? What even is... Okay. Hey, aren't you that girl? With the, the mind who powers? The one post about the girl who's ripping up holes in reality in his town? In whose town? She lives in our town. I am. But don't believe everything you read on the internet. You boys take that stuff too seriously. But she does have sonic mind powers. Like, that's real. Hey, I invented lying on the internet, so no need to warn me. Oh, really? Anyway, I'll have my eyes on you. Face, he's a troll. This guy's a troll. Don't need you ripping a hole in my basement with your mind powers or whatever the hell it is you do. Well, then just remain on my good side. So, Rory, tell us about your sister. When did she disappear? My sister. She vanished about three weeks ago. Went to school one day, left school, and now she's gone. If there's a school here? No crazy elevator video of her either. She's just gone. Oh. Did your parents get the police involved? No. My parents aren't exactly what you call proactive. They aren't the types that jump to their kids' defense when they're in trouble. Do you think it would be okay if we talked to them? Something about Vela's talk sprite pausing on that first frame for like a second before she talks is just... She looks like she's about to ask if she can have an extra cookie after dinner or something. I don't know. It's like a very plaintive face. Cole, do you care about this guy's dead sister? We haven't even had a chance yet, Outsum. We haven't even had a chance to care. No, that wouldn't be okay. It's complicated. I see. Well, who else knows that she's missing? Is the Mafia involved? 
This is extremely serious. A teenage girl goes missing and someone needs to be doing something about it. This guy is just Noelle if she was human and a guy and had a completely different personality. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, but it's... Yeah. Okay. You're right. Where do we begin? I guess my sister being missing is a bad thing, I guess, if you like put it that way. Well, my sister Carrie started acting weird a few months back. The, she, she was, was in having the... trouble with some girls at school, but nothing she couldn't handle. She's already in the graveyard. Is that is that like some sort of inherited name? Is that her grandma who's also named Carrie? I, I, I don't know. So one day, things get really weird when I find her in the attic. She was holding some of her baby toys, stuff that's been boxed up for years. I asked her what she was doing, and she said she needed them for gifts. Gifts for kids who had less than she did. So then she left. She took seven things with her. After she vanished, I went around looking for her, and I found her toys scattered everywhere. Anyway, the weird thing is, each place a toy was found, an accident happened there shortly after. One oh? of the toys was left at an underpass, and the next day, a kid was killed when a car hit him. And I know that sounds like a coincidence, but then at a train station, a woman was robbed, and the guy who grabbed her purse ran into the tracks and got hit by, not the train, but a cop car that lost control and plowed into him. A train station? What is the physical dimensions of this train station? Like, you're at a platform, the train comes through the platform, where was the cop car? Was it driving along the tracks? <laughs> like in Grand Theft Auto? How does that work? Or, or was it like a completely flat, like, open train station, like like in an old western or something, and the cop car careened off the road a mile away, and then hit... okay. Yeek was completed long before that was revealed in Petska. <laughs> Are we speculating that this is like pet scop spoilers here? Anyway, this old lady had a heart attack and died the next day at the grocery store right on top of a sewage cap where another toy had been found. On top of a sewage cap. You can't tell me all of that is a coincidence. He's eekin. He's eekin. Did anything happen to you personally when you went to these locations? Were you the one who found the toys? I... yeah. Yeah, to both. But let me... okay, let's just go to the places. I think it'd be best for me to show you myself. Rory's joined the party, yeah. When we finally left Rory's house, it was evening. That was a short one that time. Thank you, Alex. He's going. Wait, he's also dresses like Freddy Krueger? Isn't that Michael's shirt? Oh, wait, there's a, the cosmic deity. Does anyone else see the cosmic deity? Michael has the Christian shirt. I thought it was... Huh. Are they the same shirt? What cosmic I deity? I have this theory about physicality and the nature of our universe. Oh, good. It has a lot to do with the temporal nature of our body. Sounds great. I'm so excited to hear it. Basically, I think we all have a set number of days to be in our bodies. And they usually end with our bodies being destroyed. Is there any particular reason? But sometimes, very rarely, we leave our bodies without dying. Cool. And also, Gerson is the knight. What exactly happened here, Rory? What makes you say this? Okay, forget that for now. I can't explain it right now. Let's continue the tour. Yeah, good plan, Rory. Good plan, Rory. Just be like the nature of reality. Oh wait, I was showing you some gravestones. God, he's fast. Yeah. Daytona. Well, at least they don't make you like wait for the followers to catch up in this game. The elemental composition of the human body can be looked at from the point of view of either mass composition or atomic composition. What? 
Oh, you mean percentage by mass versus percentage by atoms? That does make sense. The adult male human body is approximately 57% water, and water is 11% hydrogen by mass, but 67% if you count atoms. 66, repeating, to be accurate. Most of the mass of the human body is oxygen, but most of the atoms in the human body are hydrogen atoms. Cool, and? What we want and? to forget is the soul when we talk about our <laughs> Okay, I think this is supposed to be funny. I don't really believe in souls in a religious sense. I like to think about the soul as our mind. Have you ever imagined what it would be like if you successfully performed a brain transplant, but when the person woke up, they were exactly the same? Like, the brain is a physical part of the conscious, but the moment it's in a new body, the old soul, brain, or whatever, enters back into the body and poof. We're back to being ourselves. I dearly hope this isn't plot relevant and he's just really in character as like a brain poisoned ex dweller, but. Do people really know that the brain contains our thoughts? Yeah, and before you tell me about the science behind it, I know you're right. I just think about this from time to time. You're a bit off on both your science and metaphysics, but no. you're onto something. I don't want to hear about it, Villa. Don't continue the conversation. Oh, shoot him down. She didn't mock him. In my head, the rational part of my brain was already thinking of a variety of corrections to his ideas. Yeah. But after this week, I knew pretty much anything was possible. Even so, probably not that. I can't do it here. Okay, let's go to the next spot. I'll try it. What are you trying to do? You were just showing us, like, where the artifacts were, right? Sometimes it feels like my sister is still in her room upstairs. And I don't mean to suggest that I forget that she isn't there. It goes beyond that. There are times where I feel like she's physically there. Like, in the same way I can feel my foot is attached to my leg without <laughs> actually having to touch it with my hand. Where's the scene where she starved due to the lack of groceries? You've had lots of soda to drink since then. But she isn't here right now. There is one more place we can check. Let's go back to the overpass. Couldn't you have fucking told us there? Rory, you sodding tic tac. I'm gonna beat him there. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot where it was. Damn it. It's been two weeks without groceries. Maybe he got groceries during the time skip? Maybe he showered during the time skip? Who can say? This is right. I think I can do it here. What the fuck? He unzips his pants? Okay, someone lift the sewer cap with me. You want to go down there? Sewer level. Oh, yeah. Yes, I think that would be a good idea. Boys, give him a hand. Okay, so what I'm about to say Pizza might sewer. sound crazy, but I can prove my theory down here. I think my sister's soul is down here, so let's look for it. Rory, I think you might be a bit... Okay, no, let's look for her. I just want you to prepare yourself that what you find down here might not be her. Is this what happens in real life if you meet someone you met on 4chan? Whatever but I know it's her. Toilet sister? <laughs> Why is that funny? This is the yeah, more brightly lit sewer than the town. They have like, clearly all the funding for the low income commune went into the sewer system. Is that a door? No, oh, there's a guy blocking it, fuck. Yeah, just look at my sister, she's in a toilet, I ain't got time to explain. It's- it's the pizza sewers, literally it's the pizza sewers. We're fighting the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the pizza sewers. Alright. Let's see which one's weak to, uh, that's a- That's shit, that's a pile of poo. 
All right, we're now playing the Binding of Isaac. That was a big one. 24, new record. Please be weak so I can get a good number. No, it was resistant, fuck. Wasted. I said no anchovies! The attack with bitch and strength. What? what the fuck is he fighting with? A picket sign? What is that? What does the sign say? Why does he look like a... a, a Muppet now? He knows pacifism. I can protect Alex. Vela. No, he, Vela. The poo reeks of flatulence. It's quite impressive. Oh, good. Oh my God! If you miss one, you just get wrecked. He's a tank. What does the sign say? I haven't had time to read it. Okay, the, uh, the, uh... The rat is resistant to... Oh, no, wait. Fuck. I thought it was Alex, but I'm not. Right in the manhole. Oh, it's weak. Okay. Got so many party members now. All right, attack the, the turtle, Alex. Let's go. Fuck. Oh. <coughs> the tortoise is also resistant to records. That's no good. Open your eyes to the sight of something. One day I'll read it. Oh, maybe speed uh, determines how fast that goes. I just noticed that it has different speeds. Open your eyes to the sign of the times. It means something to someone. PP swap. It's a very unique technique, Rory. Um, I'd love to learn about it later. Why can't I... Is it everyone? He Michael. just tanks for the whole party? That seems kind of good, actually. <laughs> Rory's kind of like a god gamer, actually. Wow. Why does the art for that one minigame look like, looks like it comes from a, an early 2000s flash site? And the other ones are completely different. A <laughs> new bottom surgery deck just dropped. God, look at how fucking big Michael's forehead is, though. Jesus Christ. Uh, do photo shoot, even though I'd, I have no idea what happened last time I did this. Like, X? What is the objective there? Just pressing it rhythmically? That seems very bad. Attack the feculence. That's a big one. Yeah, 56 damage. Big one. Big one. Go to shell. You mash the button? Mashing doesn't seem to work, though. Nice. Look out for number one! <laughs> I think it's number two. You're t the enemy is feces. Mm -hmm. 
go to shell. Chat really likes the, uh, maybe, maybe Cubby Fox also wrote that one line. They, they, they brought him in for that. Okay, let's see if the minigame works again. As long as it's triangle, it works, but any other key seems to, like, automatically miss, I swear. I probably should have leveled up, but this is taking a long time. But apparently I'm... I can just dodge every attack at will, so it doesn't matter. Michael! Ouchie ouch. On days like this, kids like you should be burning in a shell. Ba ba boom. We got a turkey sandwich. What the fuck's in here? Dungeon- oh, it was mandatory at least, that's good. I don't suppose there's a water fountain down here? I'll save the game, yeah. Just a pancake will never be forgotten. Really not, because the- ouchie ouch. Now lives just like a permanent module of my brain. It just runs on a loop in the background. Portopati. It's a fight. Of course it's a fight. It's the same fucking enemies as last time. I'm so excited to fight them again. Except I have no PP now to fight in an intelligent way. <laughs> Better drink some soda. I should have leveled up his PP more, damn it. Enlarge yourself. Oh, she gets hit hard by the rats, it seems like. Rather bad. Dodge or die, but we dodged. Um, use your skills. Probably not useful. Continue to be Look pacifist. One. Does it? Does he say something relevant there? Or is it just random? Yeah, she's weak to rat type damage. Did I not take any breaks? No, I forgot. I got too caught up in the yeek tsunami, the sheer tide of charisma this game brought with it. Um, I guess I just couldn't look away. Continue to beat down. Probably should have healed, but you know. Okay, maybe Michael can use an item. I have so much Ambrosia, I just use that. We have like MIDI Skrillex playing. This is like weirdo music. With a, a koto or something, that Japanese stringed instrument. Okay, we know that um, Alex is effective at defeating the shits. Fuck! The poo is dead but still stinks. Ouch. Look out for number one. Okay. Uh, oh wait, no, beat down. These rats are just so fucking tanky. Okay, try the mini game again. Should I just press triangle no matter what? I swear to god, it's just like showing the wrong button. I'm going to try that next time.
I don't know what else to do. They're strong against record type attacks. Oh, but I used one anyway. Because I'm dumb, I guess. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, but uh, what's his name? Marie tanks for me still. Nice of him. Michael. The pipes are literally from Mario. Yes, it's a subtle Mario reference. It's a reference to the fact that Mario was a game. Ah! Really, that that graphic looks like it's from CoolMathGames.net or something. Resistant the cameras. You hate to see it. Oh my god. Go on without me. Oh bro, he fucking died while I wasn't looking. I was like, oh he's not taking much damage, he'll be fine. He wasn't fine. Cool math games was this shit. Or Sticky Ninja. I forget that one. I think I always played like the pool simulator. Um, can I use the toilet now? What even was that? Was there no point to that at all? Well, that's cool. You know what? I'm gonna go to the mine dungeon and see if I can level everyone up by tediously pressing the robot over and over and over again. Who is saying that? Okay, no. <laughs> what a weird sample. The voice sounds a tiny bit like Joseph Anderson. That's gonna slowly drain my, I don't know, mental energy over time. I guess I just keep pressing the button until I can't anymore. Is that- I still don't know if there's a limit to this, by the way. He's never told me no. Is it doing anything? Or is it stop? I don't think it does anything anymore. Let's do the mind palace. I only have 200 XP after all that bullshit with all the, the crackheads and the, the kids with guns and the... Really? I see you settled into the mine dungeon quite well. Have you met the librarian? No. Oh, I guess you wouldn't. She's on floor 15. There is a girl who minds the place all by herself. She minds the mind Tell dungeon? Her the crow told you to come read old memories. Is it like a boss rush? She will show you the rest. Before you go, I feel like I should warn you about that girl. <laughs> Birdly is the volunteer librarian. Ask whatever questions you want, but remember, she may not answer. That doesn't sound very bad, to be honest. Like, I'm not sure you really need to warn me about there that. There are things I cannot say, and things she certainly can't. However, keep asking questions. Gaster Crow. Ask as many as you can think of. Apparently. Apparently this is how Gaster talks. That yeah. will be your job. Whenever you're not in the dungeon of the mind, you are free to do as you like. Understand? No. The, the more times the sample plays, the more it sounds like Joseph Anderson. What the fuck? Uh, 
Okay. LP toss. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, go for the bonuses, of course. Luck and speed. Why is it always luck and speed? Is there something... I don't fully understand this system, do I? I'm gonna upgrade PP. LP toss is super good. Oh, okay. Get PP to use the LP toss. PP LP. This door has eyes. Very cool. They're all plus one. Does this just mean that Alex has like a naturally high speed and luck stat or something? Let's put some points into PP here. Oh, I can't put any more. Healing song. Wow. I don't have any more money. I mean, XP. Quite a few viewers this stream, similar to the uh, the fan fiction streams. Actually, people seem to want to watch Yeek. Who would have thought? Okay, we should be yoked out of our minds now, and all the enemies will be easy babies. I hope. Uh, although I still probably haven't been healed since the last fight, have I? Oh, we have somehow. What, what actually is leveling up what heals you? That seems like quite strong if it does. What does PP stand for? Peepus points, of course. I hope so. You're still going? Yep. Um, probably I'll end soon. I just wanted to see what was, this dungeon seemed like it would be ending soon. I want to see the toilet sister. Uh, five? At all foes, 5 PP. That seems nutty. Let's try it. Press X to fire it. What? Oh, I just mashed the X button? Is that it? I don't know if there's, like, tactics to this. Hellacious. Oh. Unrelated, would I ever stream Celeste again like the Strawberry Gem? Maybe? It just seems like there's other things that are... that have been taking priority, you know? Um, I still haven't beaten nearly all the levels in Strawberry Jam, so I could stream it again. Remember to slow down time? I could. Oh, it's a healing song for her, I see. That's quite good. A uh, heal is good. Actually, I can cast that on uh, Alex right now. Is it the same as Sammy's version? Or is yes, yeah, square, square, triangle, triangle, circle, 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 X, X. L2? Oh god, there's an extra one. Cheeky. Michael! Michael! There he is. I guess I'll try mashing harder this time. Oh, you do have to mash. Right in the manhole. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Okay, defeat the shit, Alex. You must defeat the shit. Come on. Fuck. That's way overkill for this little shit here. You can use the time energy to abuse the LP toss. Oh, cool. Did they both miss? Uh, 
Having the tank is very nice. He's dead. Gnarly. Rory just stands there and looks angsty. Yeah, Michael and Rory just have two different variants of the, the Freddy Krueger and or Chris Chan shirt. They really are just both wearing the scrapey red shirts. Ladder cinematic. Go. Alex, just crouch down. Can I use the cat? Use the cat. Oh, it actually worked. Huh. A top hat. Ooh, 15. Ooh. What's a top hat do? Open your eyes sign. Uh, that's good. Actually, defense for Rory makes sense, because he's tanking. Flannel shirt. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Pile on all the HP stuff to Rory. That seems good. Okay, the Zelda boulders. Oh wait, who knows how to defeat the Zelda boulders? I have something that should help us clear these rocks. It's a tool called an amp. I'm going to lend you this old boss. I'm going to lend you this old... Oh, base. Base. It's a base. Crank it up to 11 and strum the strings and la-di-da, the rocks will explode. Oh? You lugged that all the way here, eh? Something is strange about this rock. Oh, it's a tool. I know what tools are. Produces crazy feedback, starting to break through some walls and rocks. Oh. It's a bit quieter than I'd hoped it would be. <laughs> Sick solo, dude! It's the uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde NES title screen theme. Underappreciated banger. Why does she need to give it to Alex? Because Alex is the only model that exists in the overworld. This goes hard? It does. This is so engaging. I'm engaged out of my gourd right now. That was a cool room. Oh, there's a bunch of the Moya heads over there still. Riveting. It's almost as much fun as the the pylons from Amori. Oh, Rory's gonna teach us strength now after you learned cut. I've got a tool that'll help you here, I think. It's called Hair Whip. It's my signature move. Basically, you let your bangs fall into your eyes and jerk your head forward while torquing your shoulders. If you do this just right, you should be able to cut through small bushes. Alex's hair is not going to pull it off. I don't know what, what he's thinking. Wait, what is the haircut going to accomplish? Like, it, it's still it's still going to be like a, a trunk growing out of the ground, right? Jesus, fuck. What a curse. That's like a Hylix animation. Ew. That's not hair, dude. You got a tentacle. That's so fucking weird. It's, it implies, like, how much hair does he have curled over in that little, like, um, it's, it's not any particular haircut. It's like, it must just be densely packed in there. It's actually three feet long. Okay, deploy the cat. You know how this works. $20. All right. Oops. Not the right one. Put the hair back and forth. 
<laughs> that was one of the postmodernist attacks of all time. Turkey sandwich and lemonade. Oh, yeah. Good eatin's down in the sewers. Can I use these to attack enemies? No. What about the hair whip? No. Okay, I might as well get the cat at least. Landroll AX7 Keytar. Oh, that sounds good. I wonder who could use it. It's shitty luck. But HP and strength up slightly. What does luck even do? I don't, I don't think I've seen any critical hits from Vela, so might as well. She's lacking a hat. I don't have any more hats, though. Oh. Ooh, a zip-up hoodie. It's bitter, so I equip it. There we go. Oh, I shouldn't give her the luck buffing item in that case. Try something else, like, I don't know, make the luck even worse. Second time you thought the schmoove and gaster was part of the game. <laughs> yeah, I forgot those were there, actually. I moved them back up to be more prominent after the, uh... Because they cover Elden Ring's HUD, I moved them further down. Alright, who are we fighting now? Who is here? The same thing as last time. Very cool. Swap party member. Is this like turn order? Or what does that do? I only have two PP left. Shit. I might as well focus down the poo. Ah, oh, shit, it wore off. Probably still enough to kill it. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, there was another input? What happened? There's never been another input before. He just died. Okay. Uh, Rory didn't even have a chance to take a turn. Alex has died in one hit. Bella. Yeah, that's her. That's what this character's name is. Okay, I guess revive Mr. Yeek. Where's the smelling salts gone? What the fuck is a smelling salt, by the way? It's presumably some sort of compound that you smell to regain consciousness, but like, what? what is it? I've never seen one in real life. Do they exist? I don't know who's gonna go next. I might as well just take an item. Take a slice of that deep dish shit. That's how Alex eats pizza. He points upward dramatically. Okay, let's pay attention to the minigame this time. They, they made it better, but it's also harder, I guess? Oh yeah, seems like that. I wonder what gates that. I didn't, like, get anything that explicitly said that it would, uh, upgrade the minigame. Rory's too tanky now. Can't get past him. Out for number one. Alex needs to stay dead. Better like that. Um, sure. Photo. No, there's no point doing that. Okay, <laughs> just pressing triangle doesn't work either. I don't know what the fuck the deal is with that attack. It just doesn't work. Of the rat. Ba ba boom. Well, now she just like one shots the rats, and they're trivial. 
Well, what changed, actually? That's like a very distinct change. It's a fucking black goo here. Piss off black goo. Can I just avoid that? Oh no, it's, it stays. What is this music? It's very intense. This seems familiar. Okay, can I, can I swap to someone else first? I, I can only swap to Alex. Never mind. That's not gonna work. Maybe he just one-shots it with a perfect attack? Yes! Alright, that's good. Not enough TP damage. Toby would really be shitting in his pants. Oh, fuck. The enemy variety is amazing and unique. It's about the same as an Undertale, to be honest. You still have to fight the same enemy like five times, but... You spend a lot longer fighting them. Okay, be all pacifist and shit, I guess. Whatever. Photo shoot. You're mashing so hard. I have to learn to like roll, roll the controller like the Tetris pros. Still no PP, I forgot about that. <laughs> the same problem from last turn still exists, who would have thought? doesn't even have a chance Michael. to be pacifist. We're just dodging everything. It be Michael. Okay, just give her some fucking uh, something. What is it? The lemonade? Yeah. Okay, it's enough for two beatdowns, which... Actually, just finish off the rat first, never mind. Fucking kill it, please, God, please kill it. <laughs> Metopia of all things achieves the vibe this game is going for better. Never played it, never even seen it. I have no idea what that game is, but sounds cool. Uh, can I fall off into the sewer? I can't. Some places you can fall off, but not here. Another dungeon key. Oh. Would have been hard to miss that one. Oh god, they keep going forever. This is like Earthbound, god. Maybe I will just call it here. Like, it's been seven hours. I'm tired. This dungeon could go on for like another hour at this rate. Um, am I having fun? Uh, not, not a huge amount. I'm not sure what I'm feeling anymore. This, um, hmm. I, I don't know. This game's, uh, despite everything I'd heard, it's it's kind of worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> Somehow it's worse than I thought. E even despite hearing nothing but people shitting on it forever. Uh, 
Like the... It's like papyrus is spaghetti. The taste is indescribable. I'm not sure exactly what the fuck the takeaway is from this, um... The, this first seven hours here. Other than, yep, that sure is yeek. Like, the story is just kind of surreal, dreamlike nonsense. It's... You can't really even tell what... The characters explain what they're thinking for, like hours at a time, but you still don't know what they're ever thinking. It's like, how does that work? How does it do that? And I said earlier, like, things happen in the story, but it feels like they didn't happen. Somehow. Just because of how, like, hazy and dreamlike everything is. It's yeeky. Yeah. Like, what is yeek about? I'm not sure. Supernatural bullshit. I think that's the best summary so far. Yeek is about supernatural bullshit and presumably Alex's psychology? Although it's hard to tell exactly what about Alex's psychology yet. It's clearly supposed to be like some sort of criticism on Alex's character but I'm not sure what it is. It's very strange. I was actually really surprised. Um, this game on Steam has like a mostly positive rating, which I was expecting to go in there and see it like fucking just negative, just in the dumps, but it seems to be like decently well rated, which is very strange. Like. Do people just kind of play this and and just be like, yeah, it was all right, and then give it a thumbs up, and and they haven't heard about the um like all the the reputation of it. If any y'all want to watch content, says Outsin. Well, what's the content? I wait, I wait with bated breath. Oh no, it's it was previously. Doc is still playing Desert Bus on the Discord. <laughs> Wait, he started slightly before I did, right? And I've been going for seven hours, so he must almost have a point by now, right? Oh, most Steam reviews are, pe are people saying it's great for the meme. Really? That many? Like, I guess there's a, a game's only get a few thousand reviews, so that's small enough that, like, um, a brigade could actually tip the scales. That's hilarious. Oh, we got a point. Good, good job. I wonder who had more fun, you or me. You have one point. I mean, I'd be surprised if you had more than one point. Ugh. But yeah. I'm done with Yeek now. I'll keep streaming it. Um, I don't know how long this game will take. I heard someone say it'll take ten fucking streams. I hope not. But, um, if, if so, I'll just break it up with some other things. I'll, I'll break it up with some Celeste. Maybe some fan fiction so it doesn't become just this for the next, like, three months. There is fan art. Oh, okay, I should pick the fan art. Uh, hmm. So... Oh, shit, that's Tesla Yeek. Yikes. Wow, okay. That's something. I see what you mean about it looking like your dad. Not that I know what your dad looks like, but that looks like someone's dad. There he is. Yeek Tesla. That's <laughs> fucking weird. It's been super fun. I don't normally participate in chat like this, but it was pretty cool. Well, I'm glad. I don't watch streams much either, to be honest. It's fun occasionally. That's very good. Who, who drew that? That was Walter the Frog. That, that's actually a pretty good piece of art. I like that. Uh, and there's two above that one, is there? Okay. Oh, this one is for the, um, this is for the bull Birdly run. This is the last stream. Here we go. This, this is Birdly becoming Elden Lord. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. That's by Neb thing. The, the previous stream viewers will get that, I suppose. 
Oh shit, unrelated, but Shattuck just posted the intro to the uh, the next love web. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I hear that one's coming out maybe in the next two weeks sometime, huh? Uh, okay, I think I've scrolled too far up now for any more. Was it just the, um, the Yeek Tesla? Oh no, wait, there's a Mooks here. There's a Mooks here. Okay. I almost missed that. I just saw Gaster and I was like, yep, yeah, that's just Mooks doing their thing. But no, there's Yeek. <laughs> there's Alex here as well. Oh, it's just Gaster is the phone guy. Sure. Okay. Canon now. And he also sounds like King Harkonnen. Uh, we also have Anime Girl Gaster, which I, I don't know if that's related to Yeek, but it's it sure is getting shown on stream now. That's wonderful, Mooks. Uh, <laughs> was that part of the stream, Anime Girl Gaster? I don't even remember that. It was deleted. Uh, my local memory filled up with Yeek. And there's an Outsin piece later, apparently. Where's the Outsin? Oh, here it is. Yeek Doodles. I love the Outsin Doodles. <laughs> That's the morph. Me anamorphing into an Alex. Jesus. Uh, Alex's horrifying tombstone molar teeth. Every tooth in his mouth is a molar. That's kind of unique. Um, the, the weird, uncanny gray men of the town? Yeah. Why, why do they all look like that? <laughs> um, Alex carefully studying the elephant porn he got sent by his 4chan buddies. His 1999 AOL 4chan buddies. Um, and then, of course, yeah. No problem here. <laughs> He says in the Bill Cipher psycho realm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, that's good. What a unique... The, uh... What a unique set of images. It, it really is the fingerprint of each stream, is the Outsin uh, doodle art. And this one is just like... Weird faces and elephant porn. <laughs> That's the stream. This is what 1999 was, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Um, I guess the stream's over now. Goodbye, everyone. That was fun.